Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to finals day. It's Sunday here at Insomnia 57, and we're getting started bright and early. I say early, it's about quarter past 11, but once you take into account the fact that A, we've lost an hour last night, and B, thanks to the pub quiz, I'm pretty sure everyone here is feeling like they've lost about three or four hours last night. We've just about made it here in one piece. You guys ready for some Dota? That's actually a cheer that's about three times as loud as I was expecting. Well done to all of you, by the way, for getting up for this. This is gonna be pretty awesome. We have two teams that have battled their way through the bracket. Uh, we have Team CEX and we've got Xenex that are coming through the lower bracket as well. They've more or less played non-stop since Friday. In fact, these guys were on the stage playing the 3v3 on Friday, so it looks like they're not taking a break at all during the whole weekend. We have a full day of esports on the esports stage, and it's going to be final after final after final. So there's non-stop action here. We're going to be starting off with Dota 2. And first, before we get into anything else, uh, we're going to have a chat with the players. But just before we do, we took a chat with them just a little bit earlier, and we got their thoughts about what the finals were going to be like and what their journey here was like. I think it's been the roughest road to the finals thus far. The competition has increased over time, and uh, yeah, we've had some really strong opponents, but we've managed to work our way through them, and here we are. Prior to this event, we were, I've personally been in teams that have won I-56, I-55. The same roster won I-56 uh, pretty convincingly, and I would hope, given our practice regimen, that we can at least expect to win this one. Uh, leading up to the finals, it was a bit of a struggle. We got put into loser's bracket by CX Gaming, of course. We did manage to take a game off them, and I'm feeling pretty confident that we can take the whole series in the finals. They're all very good at their roles, and they all merge together as a team. And I feel like we've just been lacking that certain, I don't know, team aspect that we needed to beat them the last two finals. But I think we've worked hard, and we've got it finally. I think that the team with a better draft will be the team that's going to win it this time and we've spent a lot of time analysing this patch so I think we've definitely got a very good chance of winning it this time. So there you have it, CEX coming along via the winner's bracket, actually knocking Xenex into the lower bracket as well earlier on in the tournament. Before we get started with the game, just have a quick chat with them. You were reasonably confident uh, in that VT we just saw. And uh, I mean, talk us through, we didn't talk too much about your route through to the finals. You mentioned it was reasonably easy, but at the same time, Xenex did take a game off you and they did take, they basically tried to take the series to you earlier on in the tournament. How worried are you now in the grand final? Um, not worried, but yeah, the, the best of three series we played against them, they played really well. It was a close fought 2-1 victory for us. So hopefully we'll have some good games here and you know, we'll turn out on top. And because you guys have met each other already in the tournament, uh, have you got something special up your sleeve that you're preparing just for the grand final? Obviously, don't tell us what it is, but uh, are you switching up your game or are you basically sticking to what you've done so far? Yeah, we've got some pretty spicy memes lined up, yeah. All right, we're looking forward to seeing them. Best of luck, guys. And over here, Xanax, CEX knocked you into the lower bracket earlier, but like they just mentioned, they were giving you a lot of respect. It was a narrow 2-1 loss. But starting a best of five series 1-0 down is always going to be difficult. Have you got a special game plan? Uh, we might have a few strats in our pockets. Might? Uh, yeah, might. Are techies involved? Maybe. Good. I'm looking forward to it. We know who we're cheering for, folks. No bias whatsoever. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Xenex versus CEX. Now I'm going to be handing you off to your casters to get game number one underway. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Rusts and Fodal. Thank you very much, man. I am excited to be here, Fado. We are going into this El Clasico of UK Dota. What more can you say? I mean, well, last LAN finals, I-56, mm. two teams met. CX came out victorious, but we've already seen these two teams, teams play together in the upper bracket semifinals. And as they've said, it's a, it was a close four game. Like Exactly, yeah. A dominant CX performance, and then like an equally as dominant Xenex performance before CX come and take the series. but. I'm, I'm excited to see the draft more than anything. You saw Ishigo mention how it was going to be really important. We've seen it all through this tournament. Yeah. It's been really important and it's going to be no different here. Yeah, it all comes down to obviously the drafts, what they go into, what they're comfortable with, and what, obviously what they want to give away to the enemy team. Because let's face it, these teams know each other very well. They yeah. know each other's weaknesses. They know pretty much, well, they play each other so much that they're going to have to be dealing with this. Going into this game, well, going into this series, what 
are we hoping to see? Because obviously there's been a lot of Beastmasters, obviously both bands and picks, and we've seen that been pretty much the game winner of the yeah. whole tournament so far. Yeah, I mean, speaking to these teams yesterday and stuff, I think I think heroes which we'd, we'd love to see as a spectator perspective is mm. the Invoker and the Beastmaster, but I'm not sure how much we're going to see it. Like These two teams True. both know those heroes are very strong and have been... You know, they've been, they've been the game changers, yeah. yeah exactly. So, I mean, I think first game, those two heroes are going to be banned out for sure. Whether they'll mix it up as the series goes on and say, right, mm. we're going to let you have this, but I would say they might have some chats lined up. Well, as well said, he does have some spicy memes spicy in his pocket. Memes. Yeah, yeah I'm well, looking forward to them. I'm very excited to see what he means. So, uh, yeah, in regards to the actual games, though, looking at the series, I think it could be close. It, uh, we've had it before, and obviously Xenix, let's face it, they're the, always the number two normally. Let's yeah. see if they can actually turn it always around this time. Always a bride made, never the bride. Exactly. But. So we'll be looking at what's going on in here. And obviously this is the journey so far, so let's actually talk through what's uh, been going on. Obviously with the group stages, we weren't able to cover every game naturally as uh, casting through, but looking at the upper bracket run. So zero game sense, kind of the uh, the unknown, the underdogs who were going in through this. Obviously uh, they did have to face up against Perilous Ruin. Yeah, uh, and we should mention they did take yes. two games off of CEX, CEX being our top seed, it took two games off them in the group stage. Mm. Meaning that they took the so like number one C coming out of those groups, and uh, that's why ZX and CX met not in the upper bracket final, but in the upper bracket semi final. Or we yes. expect to normally see them. And uh, yeah, as you, as you were saying, so they did take games off CX. Obviously, they did have uh, the sort of rematch before, and it was a yeah. rather closer, uh, well, not closer, more one sided game for CX where yeah. they did take the one win off zero game sense. But uh, talking about the other uh, other teams who have had their run, obviously, Perilous Ruin, again, uh, they did manage to uh, take some games, unfortunately, not able to make it further. Um, Looking at uh, Xenix's uh, pl uh, playthrough, they did uh, go up against T-Bags, and then obviously, yeah, they did have to face CEX and then have that drop down into uh, being able to fight them again. Yeah. But the uh, upper bracket run, is there anything that really surprised you here? Apart from obviously, as you said, the zero game sense to win uh, upset. Yeah, I think zero game sense are the, the big like, surprise story. Mm. Like, we didn't know much about them coming into this tournament. And, yeah. you know, they came in instantly impressed in the group stage. Yeah, taking two two nil off CEX, like that's a that's a big victory. Um, going through the, bra the upper bracket as they did, you know, they had some some different Dota to what we're used to seeing in the UK. Like they played a lot yeah. of like Medusa. Uh, they had they had a Pudge against CEX. Yeah, like, and it actually worked almost really single handedly well. won the game for them. Uh, and then like up against up against Rise Gaming, that was a really really close game. Like mm. Rise Gaming in that in that series would have any Mega Creeps for about thirty minutes, I think, before finally succumbing to zero game sense in the second game. So. Rise Gaming as well. We should mention our um, our fourth place team. Uh, yes, they they went out in a in a two nil series to Zenex last night. Yeah, and uh, to be fair to them, uh, the first game did go to I want to say sixty minutes, seventy minutes, or seventy, 70, minutes. 70 minutes, minutes, yeah. minute game. So, but we saw a, we saw a great performance. I got a shout out to Mute Two Four Two in that game. Mute Two Four Two playing Titan at six zero and forty assists. The unkillable beast. Yeah. Let's see if he can actually do it again in this series. Because I gotta say, he has been MVP in some of my games. Yeah. Obviously, there was the Beastmaster game where we were cast him. Yeah, we that was up, that. up against the extra game they won. Yeah, it was it was looking a bit shaky for for Zenex early on, but. He was able to hit level six on Beastmaster, and from there the game became entirely controlled by them. Exactly, and well, I, I do want to obviously give props to uh, Mute in that game, but I gotta say, Beastmaster was forced to play like Sven, and what could you do when the ball's on you and you're yeah. Sven? You're just being kited around. It's uh, it's like impossible. I and think that's the thing to say. It's a different way of playing against a Beastmaster Sven than we saw mm. Zenex play here in uh, I-56. You know. When they, when they played against them, they, they let him farm and they dealt with him later. Whereas this time, you know, they took the game into his jungle. Uh, they, they kept smoke ganking him. They kept the pressure up during daytime mm -hmm. against the Night Stalker when there's like, there's no chance of a turnaround onto them. So yeah, yeah, uh, it's good to see them play as like slightly different. They can, they can't just sit back and farm. They can come bring it to CEX and take the fight to them. And yeah, that's going to be important. Obviously, they got to fight on their terms, fight and pressure, and make sure, obviously, like Bisa, yeah. incredibly efficient with his farm. So you want to be able to shut him down. And obviously, Ryan as well. So yeah. there's always a sense of someone's going to get something in these games. So it's yeah, we, should, we should talk about the CEX players as well, I guess. Yes, like, yeah. Bisa Some playing the, the carry, names. Ryan yeah. playing the mid. What more can you say, what man? What more can you say? Like, these are two guys, both 7K MMR. Like, I think, I think they're the top two MMR players in the UK. Yeah, yeah, I think you're I right at the so. moment, yeah. So obviously so. these are big, big names to yeah. the UK Dota. Yeah. And um, well, let's see if they can get the win. <laughs> let's see if they can get the win. 
Yeah, and well, saying that though, uh, looking through Xenix's, if we're talking actual MMRs as well, yeah. uh, me, uh, oh, well, actually, I was going to say he was about the 6.5. I think obviously he's fallen he did, dramatically. He did hit the 7k. Oh, he did uh, hit the 7k. Hit the 7K. Oh, okay. mark, yeah. Fair play. So again, these players yeah. are, you know, they, they do know their Dota, and we are actually into the draft now. So let's uh, have a look at these first bads. Again, nothing that uh, surprising for CEX. We said about the Invoker, we don't want to see yeah. them uh, be get, uh, getting through with that and they will ban out the Doom for Zedex. But that's probably because they have been playing it a lot. Yeah, Welp on well the Doom has done Doom, yeah. a lot of Dota. Again, again in that series against Zenex, we saw mm. we saw Welp with, with, a, with a Purge, actually, a really underused yes. creep on the, on the Doom. And I gotta to say, effect. it's a uh, uh, four or five second duration for a ridiculous, like, uh, how much you could use that in a one long fight. Purge is just incredibly useful. And it's great up against the Sven as well. Mm. You can Purge off a of Warcry. Yep, as well as obviously, yeah, the slowing is obviously a secondary effect to being able to take off that war cry, that uh, plus armor. Yeah, but and there's, yeah, there's, there's the team, uh, the team of second pick banning out Invoker Beastmaster. It, it, it just makes sense. You're yeah. going to give something away. You don't want to make it these two heroes. No. And so, <coughs> sorry, Karen. so so Zenex like they they talk about like mechanic for heroes, the mm. the Beastmaster and the Invoker are two of them. Yeah. They've also got the Faceless Void. Mm -hmm. And the Earth Spirit, both pseudo heroes. They prioritize this hero really early on in the, in the draft. The Faceless Void, I think, is what they're thinking about. I think go oh, with the Earth Spirit, Earth Spirit instead. Okay. So uh, they do have a filthy Earth Spirit spammer. Rather than pick, I'm going to say yeah. spammer because, I mean, pseudo loves his Earth Spirit. And uh, it's a hero which is uh, ridiculously effective. It does everything stuns, uh, silences, yeah, obviously the slower you're being able to roll forward, you're maneuverable, you've got your armor, you're doing damage. It's just like. Yeah, it's yeah too good. But uh, looking at the next pick up from CEX, they will take the Outworld Devourer again. Yeah, not not a big surprise. A I think, very good hero here. Yeah, I, I think you know in the series before we saw Team Zenix ban out mm. the Outworld Devourer over the Invoker. Yeah, but this time they're first bit. But I think we'll see the Invoker ban prioritized over the Outworld Devourer now. I think you could deal mm. with an Outworld Devourer a, a bit better yeah. than an Invoker. Also. Uh, uh, we've been looking at when uh, CEX had the Invoker, Team ZX were always taking that Faceless Void because time dilation on Invoker is yeah. so nice, especially before he has that Yules. It really forces him to uh, play carefully, but obviously we won't be seeing that this time. Uh, when you see an Outward Devourer, though, do you think uh, any heroes in particular scream to his counterpicks? Like, obviously, you've got Nyx, Nyx something is, like Nyx that. Nyx Assassin, yeah. I know yeah. that Team ZX do play it, but I think it's Suda would normally play it for. Yeah, He's exactly. also a versatile player. I'm, I'm not sure if Mute plays it. I imagine, mm. I imagine he would. He's a versatile player. I imagine exactly, he can pick yeah. it up if it's if it's really going to be that good for this game. Something interesting to look at is the, the Zeus ban from Team Xenex. Mm -hmm. We saw them last night coming through the lower bracket, just first two picks Zeus Spectre. Yeah. They obviously don't want that C, um, CEX to be able to pick that with when you have the first two picks. And CEX okay. don't go for the Rasta second pick. I like this. Rasta's actually my favorite hero. So. Favorite is favorite uh, well, okay. I'm I'm yeah. surprised by that. I, I would have thought it was the Ricky for you, dude. But uh, no, the Raster is uh, pretty up there, I guess. Obviously useful. He's got his uh, wards being able to use for both Bush and obviously trying to dominate a team fight. That uh, any hero with an instant hex is yeah. normally up it there is, for me. It is, it is interesting. The CEX actually go for the Shadow Shaman over the Lion that we've been seeing. Yeah, I thought that as well. Especially uh, the Lion being able to just uh, you know it's hex for, finger. It's for burst for damage. It. Mm. It's 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 a comparable amount of CC. But obviously the, the shackles last a bit longer. Yes, but true. they are it's harder to, Yeah, exactly. Uh, and team go for Death Rubber, which we saw Watson's Water last night go 10 and 0 on. Yeah, up against Rise Gaming. So it's a hero that can work out this. very well. Um, and it's another thing as well. You silence an OT before he gets BKB. That's just annoying because it, what's he, how is he going to be doing his attack models? Yeah. How is he going to be able to get anything up? And like OD loses a lot of his strength then. Yeah. So, oh, almost all of his strength. Like, yeah, exactly. He does all of his damage is coming from his his, his arcane orb, mm -hmm. his sanity's eclipse, and obviously there's some damage from the Astro and Prism. But yeah, yeah, that silence until. How would Devourer can get the BKB is going to be going to be big. Xenex going to ban out Lone Druid. Uh, Phoenix ban from CEX. Again, we saw that last mm. night. It should go play that uh, really well up against Rise. Yeah, that was when they were the Death Prophet as well, wasn't it? So obviously the Death yeah. Prophet Phoenix. That has and so Earth much, Spirit, yeah. yeah, has so much team fight control just being through. You're the Exorcism to just kind of have that zone, obviously, when you're going into the push. Then can you really take down the Supernova when you've got Death Prophet with Exorcism, you've got Earth Spirit stunning you all? So yeah, obviously just remove the Phoenixes as, as well. As well, yeah, player. a hero like Outward of Arrow, it's, it's not a 600 speed, range yeah. hero, it's, yeah. a, it's a bit lower. And yeah, as you say, it's an intelligence hero, so its attack speed isn't going to be super high. And Zenix ban out the Chaos Knight. Yeah, Bisa has played yeah. uh, Chaos Knight a few times now, and it, it, it makes sense. So yeah. it's a hero which 
that if you don't uh, maybe necessarily think about it in the lineup, you could be looking at a Chaos Knight with obviously Armlet Heart, etc. Like uh, and just unkillable. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't have the AoE to deal with it, it's, it's very hard very hard to take down the CK. Mm. The Oracle ban I really like from CEX because I think it's a Death Prophet. Obviously, yes. the Oracle ulti false promise, it doubles the healing effect. A hero like Death Prophet with those four spirit siphons, mm. you whack on false promise on Death Prophet, and he can just run in. Spirit siphon four heroes, it's almost impossible to out damage that regen. Death Prophet never needs to auto attack as well, so yeah. you could just be obviously you can, constantly you can. healing us. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah, uh, it's a, again a very uh, wise man there from CX, and th this is just how well they know the team as well. But Obviously, this, le this leaves a couple of heroes open. I mean, the Spectre is still in the pool. True. Te Could be both both of these teams, both these teams are very very confident playing Spectre, and he this is the hero at the moment. Yes, isn't he is. He, yeah. there's, there's Lion as well. Mm -hmm. Which I don't think we're going to see it for CEX. No. Oh, oh and they are going to go for the Tide. They're going to go for the Tide. Okay. Kundra has played this earlier in the tournament. Yeah, true. Right. Uh, he has played it well. Uh, also, like like we were saying on YouTube with you last night, played a really good Tide, so they're going to take that away from Team Xenex as well. And again, up against these two heroes, Death Prophet not likely to get a BKB. True. And all of the Earth Spirit spells uh, can be removed by Kraken Shell. Yes. Like the so Silence, even the, even the ultimate from Earth Spirit could you removed by Kraken Cell, so it's really good up against the Esper. I really like this game. And that was still, yeah, as you say, so him having that Kraken Shell, he'll always be able to get off his Ravage in some shape or form. And it's really important. You just go in with the team fight. You just want, right, this is why I always think with uh, OD, you want to look into something like the Tide Hunter, so you have the Ravage, or yeah. like, for example, the Faces Void, the Chrono, and then that has the fight control. So OD can actually just go and get these auto attacks. We're going to see some very quick picks yeah. there. The Sven from Xanax and Spectres we were talking about from CEX. Probably the two most popular carries yeah. at this event so far. So I don't think there's any surprise we're going to see them both in this first game. Mm. Like, th these are pretty standard picks. Uh, apart from the Shadow Shaman, so yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of bit of a curveball from CEX. He's a pretty standard pick to both his teams so far. Okay, something I want to point out here: uh, before Sven has his BKB, Tidehunter goes in and ravages. Odi gets a few hits off with the uh, stealing intelligence. Will Sven be able to even stun and war uh, Godstrand for Warcry at all? Because obviously his mana pool is going to be so low if he's had some intelligence stolen. No, I, I, and I think Xenex is going to be mm. going to be meat playing for Sven. I don't think Meat's going to look to fight at all before he gets his BKB. Yeah, we saw him do a different build last night with the with the armlet. Mm -hmm. Instead of going for the BKB, he, had, he went armlet and AC up against the, the Medusa Spectre of Rise Gaming. But he's he's gonna have to buy a BKB in this game. There's absolutely yeah. no way he can't like. I mean, it's, it's great against all of these heroes. He, like even up against the Spectre with uh, the Fusal Blade, you imagine come out. You can yep. purge for a cry off. You've got the dispersion damage, and yeah, it's it's just a great item on Sven. It's we might we might see the the classic sort of helm with a Dominator into whether he goes for the armlet this game. I don't know. I know Meep does like armlet a lot. Yeah, I normally see the Sanjin Yasha. Yeah, I think the Sanjin Yasha is a lot more obviously the safe pick, whereas the yeah. armlet's a bit kind of some risk. Is uh, I was going to actually talk about uh, the sports now. We I will see a witch lot yeah. coming out. So you obviously have Cask, uh, Maladate Queen. They're just great spells, and obviously they provide so much for your uh, game, uh, yeah. your gameplay. And I, and I wonder if Team CX realised that Faces Void hasn't been yet. Yes, good point. Very good point. Um, that could still yeah, that could still definitely uh, be an issue if they. Uh, want to be looking into taking something, but looking at Rasta and uh, the Tide, we saw a relatively early Agonims coming out from uh, Mewtwo for 2 in when they played the Tide Hunter, and as we said, it was the big game where he didn't yeah. die, and we saw it being really, really important for kiting a Sven. Yes. And again, we can see that coming out if he has enough of the game. CEX will ban out the Broodmother, but... Uh, Looking at this Broodmother band, obviously, as you say, Sudo uh, does play the Earth Spirit. So, if obviously they shifted up the roles, they could have taken obviously a uh, void into the offlane and have this Earth yeah, Spirit play still this position. The, still, Venetia's Prophet in the pool as well. True. I yeah, don't actually, Venetia's Prophet's good. I think it's too great up against the Spectre, though. No, like, yeah. Obviously, their global, their global presence. We saw, we saw again in the in the Xenex versus Rise Gaming series. This is a first mm. game. Uh, Rise Gaming first picked Venetia's Prophet. Yeah. Instantly, the Zeus Spectre came out from Team Xenex and. There's nothing. There's nothing you can do against that. Like you meet anywhere on the map, that's where you want to be. You want to be on your own on the other side of the map. But suddenly you've got a Spectre Horn and a Zeus Ultimate, and you're just dead. There's, there's, there's almost nothing you can do. Yeah, I. It's something you wouldn't really like. We saw as uh, I want to say it was Rise with the Nature Prophet, and it was against the Zeus Spectre, and he just yeah. fed. I'm, yeah. I'm, I mean, it wasn't even his fault. It's no. just the, the lineup just couldn't work no. with it. Yeah. So, um, looking at this last pick for CX, it's going to be a Bounty Hunter. 
Okay, that's going to be nice. So obviously, you rotate around. You, it's it's important. The sight game. This is one of the reasons why beast pass has been yeah. so important. Like the sight game is so so crucial. Bounty hunter's obviously going to provide that. You get the extra gold for the kills. And spec when he hits that level six, bounty hunter can be scouring out someone. They could get some tracks off. Or, like say for example, a ravage comes out. Spectre then haunts, and you've just won that fight. Yeah, I mean, if you see Demix, you see one hero in a lane. You think, mm. all right, there's not, there's not too much danger here. Suddenly, like you're put you're putting in an astral prism by OD. A bounty hunter comes out of nowhere. Suddenly, Spectre haunts in, mm. or like. You just see a Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman can be on his own. Yeah. Like, open up with a Hex for Shackles. Suddenly Spectre haunts in and there's a mm. like there's a bounty hunter nearby as well. So yeah, this gives him a lot of options. Ganking, especially like trying to kill this Sven in the jungle. Slada, okay, so right. Slada. Again, so uh, obviously having sight against the bounty hunter is kind of nice as well. Minus armor against the OD, obviously forcing their hands. And we are going to be yeah, getting the physical first damage. game. Yeah. So this is going to be a pretty good it, well exciting series as we said it's like the El Clasico of uh, the UK Dota and it's um, it's it's an issue because obviously they do have the uh, one game uh, yeah they do have yeah. one game advantage TCX two coming from the upper bracket, upper bracket. yeah um, looking at this game series looking at the drafts what do we think about uh, the lineups is there anyone we prefer going into it? it's early days to say obviously yeah I mean uh, both these teams are really comfortable with all their hit posts, so I, mm. I think this game's sort of dead even yeah. Right now on draft, I think I maybe slightly prefer Team CEX's lineup with the Spectre and the OD. Mm -hmm. And the Tide, I think it's going to be. A I think bit having the OD and the Spectre yeah. would lead, make that uh, me lean towards them being a potential when it goes into this. But we can't uh, take out how crucial the early game is, how they play it, how much the farm gets shut down, especially Spectre in the laning phase. Yeah. You can obviously do a lot with that. And you have uh, Sven who could potentially go aggressive uh, if you have uh, the Sven running in trying to shut down that early farm. He has some stuns off. But even if you kill him once or twice. Let's face it, how much is that actually going to slow him down? Because yeah. you get that level six, and suddenly you're looking at double kill. You get phase earn. Like, from there, the game's going to be just completely different. Yeah. If you make, if you make one mistake up against a, a team of Spectre, like, mm. that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, he punishes you. He punishes yeah. you for his position, punishes you for obviously taking a fight without five players, because suddenly, like, you could be going in thinking it's, a, a, as you said, a 3v5, and then the Spectre comes out of nowhere, killing you all. And I believe we will be going to the game shortly. And here we go. Good luck. Have fun. Called out. And obviously we do have Xanax vs CEX. It's the first game. CEX taking that uh, first game advantage from obviously uh, coming from the upper bracket. And let us go through the team. So let's just uh, have a look down. Uh, for the Dyer, we have CEX, Kundral on the Tide Hunter. And checking out here, we'll have Cook playing the Rasta. And we'll have Ibiza playing the carry on the Spectre here with Welp on the Bounty Hunter. And of course, Finally. Rhyme in the mid lane on the Outward Devourer. Yeah, so for Xenex, we've got Sudo playing Earth Spirit. As expected, we've got Mew242 two two actually playing the Salada. Obviously, mm. Sudo is a normal offlane player. Yep. But if he goes into the offlane, like into the support role as Earth Spirit, he will play the offlane here. And we'll have another pause. Yeah, well, we've got Watson's Water on the uh, Death Prophet. Watson's Water on the Death Prophet. If you go playing. Which Doctor, and finally, it's going to be me playing Sven. Standard UK yeah. Dota banter. The cause of a disqualification <laughs> already coming out now. Um, obviously, these teams, they actually know each other socially yeah. very well as well. Yeah. They've known each other for years now. They've had these uh, little rivalries with the actual uh, Dota scene. But UK Dota, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a close-knit yeah. thing. But obviously, you know, we're welcoming the people. Yeah. Uh, new teams come along all the time, and it's, uh, it's a lot of good fun. And there we go. We are going to have the uh, resume here. And obviously, we'll have a meep on that Sven, not to take away from him yeah. as well. So, uh, as we were saying with the drafts, I think we both agree now that we do prefer uh, CX's just with the, initial picks. We're going to get the, the D-Ward on, on the Sudo's. Mm -hmm. I know that Welp has been going through replays to look at where of course. Zenex placed, uh, placed their awards. He was doing it this morning. They, they came here, came here earlier. Than Hmm. put Xenex to, to look through their replays from last night. It, and if you're consistent where you place the same wards, that sort of intel is so crucial. Yeah. Uh, me too, too. Could be walking out here, could be a bit of a clash. Well, we'll be going in, and Sudo will roll in onto the rune. There is going to be the imprisonment there. The rune will be snatched by the Earth Spirit, actually. Yeah, he's going to be able to walk away. He's going to be able to attack down with the Orb of Venom, but unfortunately, not going to be able to really uh, follow that up, so Sudo is now going to go back his own way. So a really nice snatch there. And he's actually <laughs> going to drop the lull from you two for two. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it looks oh. like Ryan tried to put uh, yeah, the pursuit on the Astro Prism and accidentally kicked on himself. So. He's going to lose out on 100 gold, which it's important. Is, it is important. It's definitely important. And we see Sula and Welp going up against each other early on, just, just hitting each other, just back and forth. having a little fun. And also, i got to say, shout out to Zambrella, who is going to be uh, doing yeah. our ops this game. So, uh, 
Uh, well, obviously, we will be switching it up, so he will be coming into the cast as well. But he is doing Ops first game, so a big shout out for him here. And looking down, what we've got Kondro doing the anchor smash. Uh, just gets uh, damage out here. Obviously, going to be looking at the farm wise early days. Obviously, first creep clash. But Ichigo's going to be trying to zone him out. Ichigo normally plays it a bit more greedy when they go through this. Um, he normally yeah. tries to get that Ags up fairly quickly. Lots and lots of pulls. Doesn't really worry about too much if, if his core dies. Which, I mean, you know, it is important that you get items, but sometimes you've got to try and be that selfless five. But it looks like he's always wanting to try and get an item or two. Where is he? Well, maybe put down another sentry in mid to deal with the... Uh, yeah, has water, that potential. Water's water just got the deal with the tango. Mm -hmm. And he's going to start walking up, walking up top lane, see if he can harass. Uh, Super's actually going to be up top for, for Xenex here to start off with. We keep seeing this this off laner who would be weak without the help of an additional person. So we have seen it with the Enchantress as well. Obviously here it's going to be the uh, Spear. And it's just so crucial in trying to uh, uh, control people. So if Welp was able to come through with uh, the Harassment to Mewtwo 2. Okay, he does have a Spear. It's going to be the Dagger. That's up with the Orb of Venom. Can they get the Shackles off? Yes, Mewtwo will do some some damage. Uh, this could be trouble. He goes for the stun, holds it. Now he goes to get it off. He's gone down to poison HP. Will sub up. Sudo comes back in. Well, could be taking some more attacks. Obviously, don't have any reveal for him. Mewtwo will 2 does lose his sub. He gets enough HP off onto him. And he's just going to be tangling himself up now. Yeah, really good play there by Mewtwo. He holds off on the stun because he gets mm. a double stun. That ensures he gets away. Like, that's the difference between him living and giving first blood there. So. Yeah. You know, you get no knowing what you're doing in that situation. Yeah. I, the potential for panic is so yeah. high. So it's just you need it's, to be calm and controlled. Especially up, up here on the main stage, like yeah. it's a completely different experience. The nerves do get to yeah. you. And uh, we will see what his war just keep getting that spirit siphon off onto Rhyme. He's pulls back a little bit. He gets a little attack off on the Crypt Swamp, so he's going pretty low. Obviously, there is a south for the Death Prophet. Suda wants to come in. Actually, well tanks it there with the Invis. He's just like, oh, okay, I'm not going in for Rhyme then. That's unfortunate. Obviously, not always there. Well, we'll just walk forward. Obviously, they can't uh, have any more spirit silence for now. And that would have actually been a kill on Rhyme yeah. if he went in there. So yeah. I've got if to say, huge the credit yeah. to Welp for being able to block it. Yeah, we did see yesterday when Mute was playing with Bounty Hunter, actually, but Welp got his smoke cancelled by, yeah. uh, by that. So Again, <laughs> Suda with his rocks. He loves it. We talked about this before. He did drop three. And there's the face. Uh, he did have the three rocks before just dropped on the mid lane. I asked him about it. And he's just like, well, I only need one to roll and yeah. then it'll recharge. I don't care. It's, it's a laugh. So, you know, very important to have fun with it. And also, he said psychological, you know? It's scary yeah. to see loads of rocks suddenly being dropped on you. Yeah, again, you can, like, you can like, draw the face. You can yeah. <laughs> do, like three in a row. You can do a weird, weird triangle. Like. The, the possibilities yeah. are literally, literally endless. endless. If you well, he's only got six, like six rocks. Yeah. So. so six things. Yeah. But we will see uh, me continue to uh, lane up. We do. We want to see just this uh, cleave maxed out. Obviously, a Swiss fan, it's just farm, farm, farm. Yeah. Helm of the Dominator, stack the Ancients, kill the Ancients, get the gold in, try and stay ahead of the Spectre. And uh, yeah. it's important. Like you say, Sven is here. You've got to, you've got to be ahead for mm. it to make the difference on Sven. Trank was now up on time. So, last hit, Spectre is doing really well. Looking at down bot, we do see Kundral just walking out. There's going to be a cast on turn. Obviously, they do have the stun potential. Kundral needs to get that Axe Smash up. He's got to move off to the side. There's not going to be an Axe Smash. It is now out. And obviously, he's taking so little damage. Unfortunately, that Axe Smash is going to eventually fall off him. He's going to be able to walk away. He has been all the Venom up. Again, against the Axe Smash, he's going to still be walking away. This shows how ridiculous the attack he is. And he gets denied! Oh, my word! <laughs> Big play there from Kundral. Really well done. Yeah. Obviously, with the Axe Smash, making sure he held it, because obviously Sven walked off to dodge it. That would have made the difference between yeah. living and dying oh, as well. Again, important to just make sure that they get everyone here and really will uh, big play with Kundra and obviously the Shockwave being able to come through there yeah, so with the deny. Both these, teams, both these teams giving each other nothing early yeah. on in this, in this first game. So important because obviously you have the sort of momentum and it makes a lot of difference with the morale as well. Obviously Sudo could go in, got to be the rocked in to the roll. The roll is off the point though and he's actually going down into the river. That's unfortunate and then that's going to be the uh, Astral. Well, now walking out again, we'll get an all attack off with the Uve and now they're going to try and just focus him down. They do have another sentry on well, but he's going to have to keep walking out. It's going to be first but yes! It it will. Is. Watson's water gets the first brother. That's going to be important for helping this lane. Obviously not onto the rhyme like they were hoping, but at least it's something. As you said, both teams trying to give each other absolutely no ground here. Yeah, and that's the strength of the Spirit Siphon mm. coming out from Death Robert. You're like, you think, oh, I can just walk away from this, but the range is really long. Obviously, it has a slow as well, and he's got a couple of charges. So, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be important an important kill. He, like, he's a, he's only a couple of CS behind Rhymes, and that's going to put him in the lead in terms of net worth and in terms of XP. So. Rhyme. He's going to be really need, needing that lead as well. Yeah, Rhyme is currently third on the last hits, but I've got to say, Beast leading the way, 37 last hits, has this phase already, earns around the corner, and 
Look at what he's just got. Level six. This time for one, the Kunjal will go down bot again, unfortunately. Right, actually, Mute's going to rotate all the way from the yeah. off lane. I mean, Kunjal's not going to have expected that at all. Uh, yeah, true. But as like, we were saying, so Mute does rotate, gets the kill. He's going for that Iron Town, so he can obviously yeah. farm off down bot. Doesn't want to try and be too aggressive up top because he could be punished right yeah, so it and looks then like die. We're going to see Mute come into more of this like support Slardar role mm -hmm. for now. He's got a couple of levels up, so he can actually use a sprint and a couple of levels of stun to make an impact. We're going to see Sudo move into this off lane. XP. Yeah. He's, yeah, really important. He needs to hit that level three. And I gotta say though, I'm not sure it's too wise, especially oh, I, giving Spectre too much space, but giving the beast a Spectre too yes. much space. Uh, I mean, yeah. we, we saw them yesterday. They did address the bead. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be again. It's gonna be that timing. Like we saw yesterday, it was the beast master level six. Mm -hmm. Here, I think we're gonna have to wait for like. I mean, we've got we've got the death pop of this game. So the tower push potential is there, and they can apply pressure that way. Maybe oh, that control way. there. It's a bit of stun overlap, but they really want to keep Mew 2 2 alive. There's the anchor smash. Actually, doesn't come out, and they get another kill. 3-0 for Xanix, but now this is going to be the horn. They're going to see if they can get anyone else. Here they are. do have the uh, slot on very low. Unfortunately, they don't get it, but they will kill Sudo up at the top rune. So at least they get one return kill, but that's a haunt for it. Yeah. Uh, I just want to take a look quickly. Does, uh, does Beast have his urn yet? Let's go check that out. Yeah, Beast yeah, does, does so have his urn. Yeah, two urn charges, and that's really important. Yeah. That means, that means the next fight he comes into, he's going to have the, both those urn charges, and he can put out a lot more damage. Like, we saw it yesterday. It made the difference um, mm. with, uh, with the Sunray, I think it was, and the urn actually killing off Mute, killing off I think it was. Yeah. It, as you said, that extra uh, damage over time is just so important. Like. Seeing as you're getting it and you're going to be looking to get that first horn, get, make sure you get something. So they do get a kill, but now Walter's Ward's going to be in trouble. He's going to get hit up. Are they going to be able to get in prison? So could get in range. They might not even need it. That's the stun. Only hits on one, but Walter's Ward's still walking away. They're now going to hex up. Pseudo, Pseudo's now being shackled, and that's going to be one kill. Rhyme able to get a second one. Pseudo looking to do something, but he's actually got no mana. He's running out of everything. That's a double kill for Rhyme, and now it's 3-3. Three, three. Okay, so... They rotate to the mid lane, they get some more kills, they help out Rhyme's farm, and that's just some more gold going their way as well. Yeah, great rotation cook on the Shadow mm. Shaman. Like, we saw the power of the, sha of the Shackles and the Hex. It's a really, really long disable. And when Odie's just hitting you, sealing the brain. Yeah. We saw Sudo, he puts the rock down, and then he's like, oh, um, I can't do anything. Yeah. <sighs> Unfortunate. And obviously, uh, they did have. They did have a bit of a lead. Meep's now got his hand with the Dominator, so that range cube is going to just be off on one down the river. Yeah. Ichigo has hit that level six mark, so that is going to be that death ward. And uh, he's building towards those treads now on Sven. So, very close. But I do still think, as the game progresses, CEX are going to be looking to uh, just put on a lot of pressure. Okay, uh, what can Zenix do? They can obviously gather up, push, use the death of it. They haven't got the ult yet now, actually, so they yeah. could be looking to go for a tower. Treads now onto the OD, and it looks like uh, obviously Spectre's picking up that full one, so Beast is going to be having that and getting that brace of for his drum as well. Yeah, Zenix do have to be really careful pushing towers though, now that Kunjal's level 6 on Tide. Like, mm. They've got the Ravage, they've got the Sanity's Eclipse, and they've got the Horn. Yeah, that is. If Kunjal can land the Ravage, I don't know how much turnaround potential there is for Zenix, because the, dam the damage coming out from Horn and Sanity's Eclipse is huge. It really, really is. Like, that is going to be enough to just kill you. Whoever's caught in it is going to get killed, yeah, but they are now going to smoke up. So let's see what they can find here. Let's see if they catch anyone else out. Okay, me two for two. Walking in, Visa. Doesn't know what's going on here. There's going to be the stun. That's the initial stun. The follow up with the cask and the death ward. Visa, unfortunately, is actually going to get knocked away here. Sudo will actually. Okay, right. I'm not sure I'm there, but then there's a ravage on three, and now that's going to be enough. They're going to be able to get the stun off onto two. Try and run away there. Nice stun from you, two for two. Sudo. Now he's looking at TB now. He's going to be able to escape. But can they get the prison? No, I'm wrong side of the tree, so he's not able to get that off. And I got to say, for a second, I thought that Spectre yeah. was just going to be gone because he was kicked away. So almost a big mistake. <laughs> yeah, but I mean. Can we give credit to Sudo for kicking in with a cask and it bouncing? Yeah, okay, I mean, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll say he's being next level. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll give him credit for I mean, for like that. we've said, entering into the mind of Sudo is, is a dangerous, is a dangerous dark place, place. But we'll give him credit for that one. And also, like, again, Mute 242 with a two-man stun. He, he doesn't hit both heroes there, they die. Oh, mid lane, Walter's War. He's already popped his exorcism and he will go down, so he doesn't actually get anything for it. And we will see the uh, tier one bot all in. So uh, Rainy needs to get to tower. And Beast and Co see this out, and they will be blocking it with a ward now. Yeah, it's being, it's being pinged out by Mewtwo for two. So, unfortunately for CX, we don't really have a hero that can mm. take these agents. I mean, they have Tide Hunter, but it's going to take them a bit too long, I think, to safely take it. Um, a, a big important thing there was like, you've got the two big ultimates from both mm. teams. You've got the Exorcism and the Ravage. Both of them were used, and they didn't get anything out of it. 
So it's kind of like it's kind of like a hard reset. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like okay, as long as both teams are getting up yeah. for it, okay, I understand your point. Um, and there is another one going off yeah. here. Let's see yes. what they can get going off. There we go. Addressing, addressing the bean. Yeah. Well, we said about they have to do it, but and we, they are going to. If we look at the bean, he's well, gonna... uh, he will get the smoke off one, but there is now going to be some pings out, and obviously Bisa being a lot more cautious now, just going to be heading back. Let's see if they can catch anything out. It looks like the the ganks are a wash, and this agent stack's going getting ready to yeah. be taken now. Yeah, it was, it, it got into the deal with it by Zanax. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, you have to, really. Yeah. Obviously, you want to be ahead there, and Welp's actually going to be coming in. Doesn't have anything on him, but there are, they will know he's there now. And obviously, this uh, Spirit Siren just being maxed out is very important, and now he's going to be able to start taking silence. Yeah, I wonder if Beep's going to head over now. Like, he's in the vicinity. It looks like he's going to head over now, take this ancient stack with his god strength. Yeah, he's picking it out. Really important. As you can see, there's nothing in the XP no. either side. We're 11 minutes in, and... It's so crucial, these uh, next movements. There's Meep going to clear it now. And you can see uh, he's already top of the net worth with 5.4k. But oh, here we go. Up top, the uh, Mutie will do. We'll get one star. But now Ryan taking that death ward. But he's already using the prism, so he can't stop it. He actually takes the full one, so he's dead. What's more, going to be slowing down. Control, Control doesn't have it. His ravage for three seconds. We see Sula go solo. That's going to be the Shuriken. No trap there onto him. Welp's going to be walking this away. Obviously, Welp's not level 6 yet. He's still walking around in circles. He's just being seen. Is he going to be able to get out of stuff? No, he won't. It's a double kill for him. Control will now ravage. And Beast comes in as well. Is that enough to turn this fight? What's more, still with a side, but can he turn Around with Prince when we get killed. No, he can't. Kondral goes low, but obviously able to get that Ravage off. Beast comes in. They do lose three either side. And obviously, oh, big ol' that's being used, but Beast doesn't lose anything from the fight. Yeah. More XP, more gold, and that was a nice fight for Kondral. I believe really there's near enough a K goal there going uh, their way. And uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, un it's unfortunate for Xenex that spending his low farming his creeps, like he can't come yeah. in and make a difference. And again, we don't get the exorcism off as well. Mm -hmm. But Kundra holding a Ravage until, until Horn Suffer was really important as well, so they, they do get a kill on the Death Prophet. You two will too. Getting shackled up, Sudo can obviously help out his teammate there, now they're going to be able to turn it. Cook in trouble, he's just going to go down, unfortunately. Obviously Beast was like, yeah, I'll come in, but then two people uh, additional on this fight, you're like, okay, no, I'm going to back out. I've got my face, I've got my arm, got my drums, going to be looking at my next item, 1.2k health on him, so. And that's the danger of trying to kill a hero on the back tier one tower. Yeah, you know and, the TB And it's also, coming. like, we talked about with Shadow Shaman. Rhyme in trouble, he's going to go down again. Watson's War just able to put that pressure on, obviously, yeah, for the stun coming through. Yeah, yeah. MEP is going to go for the armlet again. Nice. And this is unpocked. This tier one tower is going to be going to be taken down. Like Odie's dead. There's no ravage, no horn. Thank you. This is a fetch. There's a ridiculous amount yeah. now. So there we are. Going to actually have a pause out here. So hopefully it won't be too long of a pause now. Let's uh, just take a look at the network source that's happening. Seven K onto the spend, as we said. Difference is uh, pretty high. But let's. Uh, yeah. Well, what do you think of the game so far? Obviously, early days. Thirteen minutes yeah. in. I mean, I think after that last last little engagement there in the tower, mm -hmm. I think Xenix have a slight lead. Obviously, we've got the ancient stack as well to talk about, but I mean, Spectre's such a such a force to be reckoned with late game. Exactly, you can, yeah. You never count it out. And it, until this blink dagger comes up on mute as well, they're going to find it a little mm -hmm. bit harder to to engage fights how they want. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't quite have a range of a ravage. Yeah, obviously it's. Uh big issue taking into these fights. Talking about items which are going to be coming out, Death Prophet working towards the Yules. When they get that, a uh, lot more uh, control able to deal with, obviously, the Rasta. You can have got another cancel. Obviously, he's got science already, but if that's already been used, you can now have an extra cancel on the Shackles. Um, Tower-wise, haven't seen that many pushes. Haven't seen that many exes and used, obviously, yeah. apart from the one which is currently going. Um, hopefully, right, so... Uh, we're going back in. Okay, yeah. brilliant stuff. Okay, Uzu, right. Uzu haven't seen the Shadow Shaman Woods used to push a tower yet. True. We've, we've seen him, seen him in, in the fight at the top room, but yeah, but we haven't really seen a group up from CEX. I mm -hmm. don't think they want to be grouping up quite yet anyway. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of ways found from Xenix as well with the Paralyzing Cast, the Earth Spirit Spells, and the Crypt Form. So, yeah, I mean, CEX are happy to just farm up with Rhyme and Visa. Well, we are going to see Welp moving around. Obviously, he wanted to build on that mech eventually. But let's see if he can catch anyone else here. There will be a TP out, yeah. unfortunately. So, uh, Sulu has got his level 6. I don't know if you really mentioned that, honestly. He was uh, a bit staffed level, so he just goes into the offlane. And as you said, V2 or 2 able to just go farm elsewhere. Beast has lasted, uh, uh, sorry, Rhyme's last hits at the moment at 67. He's uh, building towards that drum, sir. Obviously, with the drums, it's like, it's worth it for the start, so they are obviously doubling up the, uh, the drums on their team. And uh, they are. You can see five man rotation at the top now. Yeah. As you said, they've got the wards. Yeah. 
Yeah, with with fights like that, okay, they might have no Ravage at the moment, but Kundral's actually, yeah, seven seconds, so that's near enough up now, so they are going to just ward it. Provocation used, obviously, by a bit extra time, and they're just like, okay, Xenix, we'll, we'll just say, let's let him at the tower, see what we can get elsewhere, see what farm we can build up, and we'll try and work from that. He's happy to take that tower, does have some iron charge, I believe, as well, so he can obviously work around that. Yeah, I wonder if they were in a bad position, they could have tried to try to take a trade for Roshan there. Obviously, the Slardar ult and Sven, like, maybe the Exodus is being down is what, what, what forced them to say, like, right, no, we're just yeah. gonna get some farm. They've taken that 2 one tower, they've committed wards and five heroes, like, it's the least important tower in the game as well. Like, yeah, that's you look at, you look at the Dire bot tier one, obviously the position around Roshan is really important, but mm. the Radiant offlane tier one, there, it's... Doesn't have much strategic no. ones. Obviously, there's the control over the Dire jungle, which is still important, but mm. he doesn't have that control over Roshan as well. Yeah, there's now a bling there pitched up on Sven. Um, right, okay, so in regards to items, we want to see that Spectre get a Manta up fairly soon, because obviously you want to be looking at that uh, way of getting rid of the two sciences, because obviously Earth Spirit yeah. and uh, the Spectre, uh, sorry, the Death And also Prophet. the Slardar Ultimate as well. Sla the Slardar Ultimate, disjointing the Sven stun. Yeah. Um, all this stuff, really important, and uh, being able to deal with that with the Manta dodge is very nice. And Blink Daggers all tied. round, so we are going to see a... Uh, some very important items. Did, uh, did we pick up his as well? Uh, the uh, I believe it was the Sven. So uh, so we're gonna see. Yeah, Meep and yeah, it's very very soon yeah. to that bling dagger. So yeah, Meep has got his bling. Zero zero three on him. One hundred fifty nine last hits. Look at that net worth. Yeah. Like, this is what Sven does. Yeah. This is his thing. Yeah, and I mean compared to the game we saw yesterday, he's actually he's actually slightly behind on his last hits from yesterday. Yeah, true. Well, uh, let's see if he's able to try and catch up. Sixteen minutes in. Look at that. I mean, even, well, Beta is still at 106, yeah. and obviously the kills he's got as well. Um, okay. They, they want to go for a, another tower. They do have the Death Prophet Exorcism up. They are ready to go in pretty much every other sense. And Ichigo, before uh, we did watch his uh, Witch Doctor game, and he didn't go for that. Ma uh, we're here until we did just take that Mallet. The Rock will be a little bit off the points, and we'll just be able to dodge to the side. And now we have got Mewtwo 2 on the Slardar taking that Bling Dagger. He's going to be retaining around, seeing if he can find anyone else joining with his team in the mid lane, and they can be trying to get that pressure off. But look who's sitting in the trees. Yeah. Nasty Fantastic little surprise. Really good here. Like, there's, there's almost no chance of him being found. The team is ready to pounce. So, look at the movements. So yeah, look has at the vision game as well. Track. It's going to be important. The stun is on two. The science on two, but unfortunately, falls forward. Now they're going to start up well. Well, to go and immediately die. They're going to be able to walk right down, walk down to try and clear on some of these illusions. But now, Beast is going to be able to run away with the wards already down. Control gets the ravage off on three. And now Meme is getting controlled by the shackles. He's going to be going down as well underneath the wards. Watson's war with the Exorcism up. He's the last man standing. And CX have absolutely dominated this fight. Watson's going to try and run away, but Beast is just tearing him. And you won. Triple kill for the Spectre. And this is just how powerful the Spectre can be. Yeah, and we, we saw there why Sven needs a BKB. Yes. But Shadow Shaman, if that, like, they kill Welp first, I think they really need to be killing the Shadow Shaman first. Just so that the Sven, before he gets a BKB, doesn't get controlled up for the entire fight. Like, sort of full Hex, and the Ravage, and then the Shackles, and there's nothing you can do. I mean, it's not just one of those, oh, there's nothing you can do. It's literally that he can't do anything at all. He's being control control. Now got to get focused up. There's the cast onto him as well. Bounce between that one creep, so he's getting stunned a lot. New 2 for 2 just bashing him up. Where's the kick? So unfortunately, Kondral stayed too long. Will die. There was just the stun, just a good measure in case they need the extra damage. Yeah. So an unnecessary death there, maybe. But they already got so much from that fight. Okay, it's still close with the kills, but that tower nearly goes down. Oh, 130 HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they are going to be able to take that. So that's nice, at least they'll be not giving them the full tower gold. Okay. So that fight. Spectre Horn. It's an issue. How are they going to be able to do a bit? Pseudo taking a lot of damage. That shuriken uh, comes out. Well, in trouble gets stand up. That is going to be a lot of damage going his way. And they proud the old monster as well with the god strength. Sven. Just a couple of hits. Obviously, you've got yeah. armlet on top of that. I, I keep obviously uh, not mentioning that the armlet toggle is uh, really important for getting that extra damage Yeah, now Xenix actually doing something really smart. They're going to group up like... They know there's no Horn, no Saturday's Eclipse, and no Ravage for like another minute. So yeah. they're going to group up again and take this tower with the God's Gem, which has a slightly shorter cooldown. down. Going for that is important. They're going to go, oh, Rhyme actually going to be arm damage. He has got that Veil, which is really important for the stats it provides. Obviously giving that extra armor as well, but now Sudo rolls away. Mew 2 for 2 in trouble with the cast bouncer between them. He is actually just going to die, but they've got to just give that. And that's a four-man stun yeah. just for, well, actually one with was the cast, but it still counts the Horn now comes out. Once War running away, they actually will get the kill on Sudo. 
and Ichigo could be focused up as well. He doesn't have a cast, he does now, but obviously Beast is just like, you know what, I'll play it safe, I'll go my own way. And we have got Meat just farming the jungle. So, some rotation coming through. Let's see if they can catch him off. They do have the, uh, wall close, but obviously they see using in this camp, but they do go the wrong way, unfortunately. Yeah, we're seeing the power of Shadow Shaman again. Mm. They really need to prioritize canceling these shackles, like, YouTube, he, he's stuck there in a, in a, in a massive disable. Like yeah. said, there's nothing you can do when he's in that disable. So he needs like Sudo to help him out, like a death prophet silence or something like that. And this the Exigen actually can oh, into Roshan. Yeah, it's um, first first one of the game. Obviously, uh, they do think something suspicious going on. There's no obviously sight around it, but it's just important to say that there is uh, absolutely no real thing they can do now because look how quickly they're taking Roshan. Welp is obviously here to scout as well. Me 2 for 2 does get a start on. There's the dust with the cast. Actually, cast not bouncing. The Ravage has been used. Only catches on 2. It's going down to walk away. He's going to get uh, tracked up. And Shuriken will go down. Beasts are actually getting the kill, which is, you know, a, a small other thing, but it's nice. Yeah. That's an OD or with the Aegis. Uh, Beast is going to be having that uh, Manta soon. Rhyme, uh, obviously we didn't really talk about the Veil, how nice this is for the stats yeah. provides. Obviously, it uses your Null Talisman, which you start with, uh, giving you extra armor, giving you the... Uh, obviously, buffing up your team as well with just the spell damage is uh, also quite nice. And it gives you another button to press. Yeah. Sudo stuns him, science him, rolls him, wants his wards here as well. They're going to be slowing him down. Rhyme has been a lot of trouble. Unfortunately, that's going to be the Aegis gone already. Maybe a little bit overconfident when you have the uh, Aegis out and you're like, okay, I'm going to close my tier 2 Sudo. Now trying to run away. He's got to roll up in three seconds. No real threat of him dying. He's actually even going to turn around. Goes for the stun, doesn't get it. Control's in trouble. There's going to be Beauty or 2 going in for Rhyme. Remember, he's already died once. Science again. Going to try and roll, walk away. There's going to be the ultimate from Sudo. And it's not quite enough damage unless they get more spirits onto him with the exorcism. No, he's going to be walking his own way. There's now Shaq on Water but that's going to be cancelled. Cook's going to be in trouble. There's the blade for Brian. You two for two. Sally's defense comes out. Is he going to be able to die? Yes, he will. And that's going to be a double kill over there. Meep comes in, just tearing through some people. But Sudo's now going to die as Bisa kills the one and a half. Meep kills the other. So obviously, it's kind of the Sven v uh, Spectre game at the moment. And the Witch Lord's going to try to hit up. So it's a three for two. Horn was used. Ravage yeah. was used. Sally's Eclipse was used. Big cooldowns. Yeah, really great throw from Zenix. Like, mm. you saw as well, they take the Aegis off of Ryan. They instantly back out. They're like, yeah. right, we don't want to do it with the Inter County. They back up. Their cooldowns are up. Like, you get to Big Dagger up again, we get the Silence up again on Death Prophet. We get the, obviously, the Crush. On yeah. Solid, really cool and, and, yeah, he was just going in, just constantly yeah. goes in, blinks in, stuns in. We saw, we saw me one hit, one hit cleave two people down, like, seen a lot of damage. And he has the BKB finish now as well. Really nice. Really Let's cool. have a look at the difference in uh, net worth graphs in a second and just, uh, just see actually what's going on with uh, their teams. But uh, looking at Watson's Water, uh, he is sitting here with his. Uh, Point booster at the moment. We want to be seeing him burst uh, on the next of night. Um, do you want to see an Octoon coming out? Because obviously he does give you the cooldown on recharge as well. Or do you want to see a Bloodstone going into his? Uh, de definitely the Octoon. Yeah. For, for the Death Prophet. Like, it's just too nice, isn't yeah. it, really, with what he can provide. Obviously, or think about Exes and me, the long cooldown as well. It's just you're, you're more effective and constantly. You get you get the healing from, you get more healing from Spirit Side. Yeah, you, true. You get healing from Crystal, you get healing from your Exorcism as mm. well. And, uh, you know, with a, with a Minus Armor coming out from the Amplified damage, like, that's a lot of damage, and therefore, like, a lot of healing. Yeah, like, I, think, I think we're going to see like the Octarine core into maybe the Sheevers. Yeah. But, yeah, it buffs up your hit as well against the, against VOD. Obviously, that Sanity's Eclipse is going to do a little bit less damage. Well, it's uh, it's very important to point out, because that can make the difference between living and dying if it's really, really close. Yeah, but looking at those graphs, difference in XP being absolutely zero. Yeah. This is, I mean, we, we, we know these teams know each other, they play each other. They uh, I mean, This is the finals for yeah. UK Dota, which has been seen many, many times. And it's, and, and it's dead neck and neck. Yeah. This has been one of the closer uh, I-Series as well. Yeah. We've seen the competition has been uh, up there. but fierce. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the net worth on the Sven is currently still in the lead, and that's what we want to see. We don't want to yeah. see the Spectre start to pull ahead. He is quite close. He has obviously got that B, B and that's so important. Yeah. Yeah, we're probably going to see the Chrysalis come out from, from Sven next into the Daedalus. Like, yeah, when he's got that, saw, that's when you We saw the AC it. yesterday, but there's a, a significant less physical damage from CX this time. I really think the Daedalus is important, because, uh, yeah, you'll just leave these two people up. You'll, get, uh, you'll be able to get just an easy one from that. But looking at... Okay. This has spirit. He still has done so much because you think about the uh, the stun coming through to cancel off that shackle from so far away. That's just how yeah. useful the hero is, and he is actually going to be TB into middle get some more XP towards that. V242. Let's check out the Slardar's items quickly. We will be seeing uh, him TB towards top, and we'll go for a uh, well. There's a lot of TBs actually. It looks like they're going to be wanting to try and get something here. Maybe go for some TNT push into going through their jungle, but no, they are just going to just be going their own way now. So, 
Okay. Looking at uh, these teams. As the game goes later, you've got to have stuff like Refresher for a uh, Tidehunter and a yeah. Spectre. That's going to be absolutely insane. And that's a Blink Dagger on OD. Yeah. Very important. Yeah, it is. Obviously, you can pretty much always blink out of Astro Imprisonment, mm -hmm. being that four-second duration. And it's, it's going to have to move around in fights a lot. Like, you can dodge for Sven, you can dodge for dodge for Slada, you can sort of put himself under. I'm not, I'm not sure how a Spirit Siphon with the Astro Imprisonment works, maybe. Cause, and it, yeah, it does continue through the Astro Imprisonment. Like yeah, so, already. right, okay. I see. But maybe, so maybe you can put yourself damaged. under like, yeah. if it's instant or not. But it's actually group up in mid for BKB on Sven. Well, Pro was used, and obviously they just uh, run into the jungle at the moment. Obviously, those tracks are annoying. Not the end of the world. There is a smoke up, but I mean, obviously, they were tracked, yeah. so they do. They realize, realize, they realize this, now, yeah. yeah. So, a waste. But I guess they could still just use this time to run around. Obviously, the Spectre Illusions are just being used to push out. What's more with the double damage? They want to try and finish off this tier two. 371. It's it's tempted to go for it, but obviously with the uh, with the ravage, with your spectre and stuff, you're playing into this. You want to only do it on your own terms because he has got big four stuff. And now, oh, Sue, wrong place, wrong time. But they do drop wards. Bisa, is he actually? Yeah, he's cool. He has to sort of dagger out, but then they are going to go for more. The ravage actually only connects with the wards as well. But is they going to be able to save him? He will use himself up. There's now a stun. Meep comes in with the cleave. He's not actually shackled up this time. They are going to try and fix him down. Cooks in trouble. There's going to be the ward as well. Rhyme, he should be dying. Actually able to get away extremely low meme to the platoon can go for the blink stun onto him rhyme turns around realizes he has to just focus him down meme then blinks gets the kill the dagger will actually connect onto both of them and now beast is just going to go into the trees now meep still standing he gets one stun off obviously still has that gosh as well as the uh oh unfortunately not able to get more hits that sure can just uh, interfere with him obviously with the track they get the major move to as well beast go toe to toe with me are they able to finish him off itchigo comes in with the all attacks and beast able to just get out of it really nice play there obviously has the earn as well and itchigo will go down obviously he stays around to try and support his teammate but Bisa stands his ground fights backs yeah. out to the end of the god strength just you know uh, fades and they play that well yeah and that's all about catching out Sudo like we see from the fight recap Sudo isn't able to get anything off like if he gets any of his spells off there in that fight Xenex win the fight like we saw how low Bisa was just one more that disabled damage done yeah. from Sven but look at look at it again from Spectre as well yeah like, true 3000 damage and like we saw the OD go down mm -hmm. from from me but like Spectre's a whole, a whole much harder hero to bring down, and he's going to be picking up now. It's going to be even harder. Yeah, really hard. Like we've seen how much damage he was doing with just that. He's now yeah. 12, 12, one, one and seven. Seven. Visa game. Uh, Right, okay, we said about the Sven wanting to always be ahead of the network, but look at how close it is now. Bisa is going to overtake him, and when this happens, I think Xenix are in a whole world of pain. Like, we, I haven't even really been mentioning Rhyme that much, but if uh, he gets a BKB, his stuns are yeah. going to be just out the window, and he's going to be able to just tear through people as well. Yeah, I wonder if Watson's War on the death moment is also going to look down that route for the BKB. Obviously, yeah. like, he gets hit by the Ravage. He's able to use himself up. He's going to finish the Octrine Core first. He's already got most of the item, but mm. I wonder if a BKB is going to be his next choice. Like, it completely stops the OD's damage as he well. He does just buy an Alan Ogre, to... uh, Ogre Club, so it looks like yeah. he's going All for right. it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe even before he finishes the odd drink, just Probably realizing have the how booster, important yeah. it is. Yeah, keep the soul booster. Uh, right. I don't want to say uh, so much what's war, but I think it's been a disappointing Death Prophet game because he hasn't really been able to go that, you know, get every, something every time for the exorcism. Well, goes to run away. Actually, she was just looking for the uh, other people here, just throwing kicks out. But unfortunately, they don't have any reveal. And well, will be TP and uh, does have wards and centuries, as well as his guarding grooves. We talk about all the time guarding grooves with the use, but yeah. the actual um, the, the armor, armor. Up, up against the exorcism and the ammo by damage is going to be huge. Really and it means he can he can use it to dispel the silence mm. from Earth Spirit and Death Prophet as well. And he's going to continue just to arm away like a mad one. Looking at uh, the bot lane, the Radiant are all together down here. And obviously, the Curse is flying out as well, but. They look into the next Roshan, then maybe try and take a fight off that. Witch Dodger's nearly got a mech. They have got another ward out here. Uh, obviously trying to keep... The site game is important. Really important to control this, especially with a bounty hunter. It does uh, force a bit more of your economy because you just got to just have these sentries down. Crystal's on Sven. He didn't have that last fight, am I correct? No, yeah. Yeah. So that would have made the difference between killing yeah. uh, sir, the Spectre. Yeah, but Xenix position this time is a lot better. They've hmm. just got Watson's War out in front, so... He's the only one we could take Matt Ravage. We saw him last time, he was the only one we could take Ravage, but look at Sudo this time. Way Here far in the we back. go, there's going to be the Horn style out. Now Kandra Wolves forward wants to go for the Ravage, and he gets it on a lot, and he actually stops Sudo's roll, and that is so good. The CX are just absolutely destroying this fight. Once War goes down, Sven 
just runs. Archie comes back in, goes for the stun. Oh my god, Mewtwo on two with the crush piece is gonna go down here. Is it enough? No, he's not. He's able to escape it. And now that's gonna be the track. Oh, they will actually turn around with the BKB. Meep with the armor toggle. Are you kidding me? He's still standing his ground. He's gonna try and get his heads off, but there's gonna be the break forward. And maybe he needs to keep toggling if he wants to get this off. The god strength is gonna be fading. Obviously, the radiance burn. The sh oh, the shuriken. Okay, seeing as how bad that fight went to start with, me <laughs> able to get anything back at all, I salute that. And yeah, look, I look at, that. at that damage. Like, oh my god. Huge stun from Mute242 as yeah. well, and a huge stun from Meep. Like. Seeing as they lost three heroes, yeah. the Witch Doctor, Sudal on the uh, Earth Sphere, and uh, Death Prophet straight away, they go down. And then to salvage three kills, yeah. and one of those onto the OD from that, mm. I'm going to give them a lot of credit there. It's yeah. the, uh, what can we get from this play? But we're seeing Xenix just have, they have, they have nothing to do with his Ravage. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. They need to either try and initiate a fight onto the Titan, but, but it's so hard because it's Kraken Shell. Really I think, I think their best choice is silence up and the Titan and then just, just ignore him if yeah. they can, because as soon as that Kraken Shell pops, the, the Ravage is going to come out. And, you know, we've got we to gotta think, like, obviously the Death Prophet's going to go for the BKB. Mute 242 probably going to pick up a BKB of his end as well. When those items come out, I think they're going to have a lot better time. Like, we haven't actually seen yet as well. We amplified damage up on Spectre with me hitting him. Because, I mean, that, yeah. that's a hell of a lot more damage as well. That would make the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Again, though, did you see how, like, BC yeah. was just able to move around? Obviously, uh, be earning himself up straight away. And he's getting tankier and tankier. And Sven is having a hard time. Because that BKB fell off him. Yeah. Then, obviously, you got the Raiden's Burn. You got the Mischance. Chance. And look at that difference in net worth. It, it was very close. But a couple of good fights. And CEX are just 7,500. And an important thing to note is that the Spectral Dagger, mm. if, you, if, you man if you BKB after it's already on you, it doesn't get dispelled. Yes, yeah, so... The timings of it is important, but and, that's and maybe, and maybe this is the disadvantage. Obviously, the damage coming out from the armlet is huge, but maybe this is the disadvantage of not going with that Sanjay Yasha, getting that extra move speed, is you can get kited a little bit easier. You're a big advocate of it, and I do, I agree, with, I do agree with you here, actually, man. Like, obviously, having the extra ability. But then again, without like, the armlet, last fight... Is the damage going to be as much? Yeah. yeah. And the armlet toggling is huge as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, obviously, they do have, the, like, some burst with the shuriken, etc. I, I think it's a six and a half a dozen thing. Like, there's, yeah. a, there's advantages of both, but... Obviously, if you're confident with the armlet toggling, we saw Meep try to bear, like, the urn as well, but it makes it so, it makes it so much harder. Yeah, to Radiance to urn, you've and got to take into account yeah. things like the Shuriken bouncing and whatnot, so they are going to just be going for this now. And obviously, Ward's drop, look how quickly they are. There are going to be some movements, but will they be able to get to pay in time? We're looking at half health onto this, and they are going to move in. They know something's up. They know that things are happening now. Ward's down with theirs now. The Haunts are slowing down. Kondral comes in with the Ravage again. Mewtwo will too. The uh, Hex up shackled as well. He goes down. Sudo's now been glimmered, but he's going to be dying. Gets a stun size of the Rhyme. The uh, uh, Death Prophet's already popped Exorcism again. This is a fight they've just lost. As well as losing the fight, Exodus has been used. So what can they do? Meet me to run away. Doesn't have his pink dagger up, but now Ryan's going to... Ah, that was close. That was very close. Kondral, though, with the dagger. They do still see Meep. Is he going to be able to get away? Yes, he should. And, uh, man. CX. Yeah, really great fight from CX. Deciding to initiate onto Xenex. Yeah. First of all, the Haunt cancels all the blinks on Xenex. Like for Sven, mm. for Slardar. They can't, they can't go in there. I, I think this is and just... And then Kondral instantly with a Ravage. Like, no hesitation, bam. Like, Meep couldn't get the BKB up before. He wasn't expecting that Ravage out of nowhere. I think this is the thing with, like, letting the Spectre go away because... <sighs> I mean, in the draft, this is. Yeah. Like, I, I don't want to say it's too much of a mistake because their, their lineup's good and they have done well. And obviously, they're doing quite well into it. But thinking of the Blinks, thinking about how they take the fights, you've got the Ravage always coming in. They're always on the battlefield immediately. Then you've got the uh, Haunt as well. People are just going to be dying. It's too difficult to be able yeah. to take control. And now there's a heart up onto the Spectre. Yeah. Man. Um, right, okay, they didn't bother giving Beast the Aegis, because obviously he's only died once, and this was early. He doesn't need to have the Aegis. Give it to Ryan, who's obviously constantly getting, uh, not caught, but constantly getting cleaved up by the Sven. And uh, they're not going to be able to take a fight very easily. They're going to try and go for a tier 2 here middle. Ravage, how long we got on the cooldown from Ravage here on Kundra? Let's check that out. 53 seconds. So they have an, uh, an opening. Yeah, the Exorcism is going to be about the same cooldown as that Ravage, though. Mm. So, I mean, they're thinking about, right, we don't have Exorcism, but you don't have Horn and Ravage, but you can tell that they're scared to take the fight. Like, up against the Aegis, it's, it's still a difficult fight, and, like, the Horn's going to come up in 10 seconds. Like, and now there's a BKB on OD as well. Okay. BKB on OD. This is the problem, because he was near enough unkillable. Obviously, now it's literally just Death Ward and the God Strength on Sven. That's going to yeah. be wet. All right. So, Sudo. Oh, look at that. Beast that comes straight in. Stops Sudo rolling up. And he goes to Glimmer Cave, but unfortunately, he was tracked up by Welp. And they can't afford to throw away kills like this. Okay, Haunt was used, but now yeah. this is looking at uh, more towers. 
Smoke. TX are going to group up. And oh, they're looking towards the bottom tower, actually, rather than the middle tower. Yeah, going to be going for this. And there's now a blink dagger onto Welp as well. So they all gather up together and they are going to just be pushing. Has got a plate mill as well on that spectre. So again, as you said, amplify damage. Just a little minus armor. Yeah. Getting uh, something like this plate mill just to counter that to Very important. Another thing we haven't really talked about is how important it is. B242, Blinkson gets the start. There's the amplify damage on him as well. The death wards have been put down, but now they're going to just go down. The ravage will connect on swim, and now Ichigo and Watson are in trouble. They are getting focused up. Meat Watson coming. He's probably got him, but now he's been in prison. The bat lines, they are losing absolutely everyone and getting nothing back in return. Watson's war with the exorcism doesn't even get one kill, and now Meep's in a lot of trouble. He, he can't go 1v the world, can he? Aegis is uh, still up as well, so. They did use Ravage, but okay, Meep's now being in prison. The Dagger was thrown out as well. Rhyme is just standing there, just able to zone him back. Obviously, he could throw out the Veil, but there's your tracked up. And I mean, this is going to be looking at Racks. This could be looking at more than one Racks as well. Uh, even the buybacks, they can't buy back these other heroes, so they can't come into the fight. And I, 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 what can you do? Yeah, it's weird, weird with Zenix. Like, they try and catch him by surprise, hmm. taking the fight over Tier 2 with Super Down, but Meep's not able to get in and, and do any damage. And, like, we just see, without, without these BKBs, the Ravage is too much for them. Really, really is. We are going to see the uh, rotation out towards this mid tier, so just go tower to tower, get the safe. Don't really go like too risky up high ground to try and go into anything. Bounty Hunter hasn't picked up his Bling Dagger, but even that, he just bought his Bling Dagger, and now he's got 2k gold. Shows the benefits of, obviously, they've got 33 kills in a 35 minute game with a Bounty Hunter. That's a lot of gold yeah. in their way. Mew 2 for 2 could be in trouble, getting uh, all dubbed. That's actually going to be the size of Eclipse. And that's just Slardar dead. That's again 50 seconds. No buyback. Rhyme and actually gets in prison. That's going to be the form forward. It goes down. That's Sudo's going to be down as well. Cooks that through. They've used BKB. They could pop Godstrom a turn, but they realize this fight is nearly all but over. It gets the start off. He pops his Godstrom now. Turns around, tries to kill Beast, but he can't do it. He's now hexed up, killed. And this is the buyback from Sven. But what has he got left? He used his BKB, uses Godstrom. GG called. They've just called it there now, realizing that CX will be taking this first game in the series. Well played to them. Yeah, really solid. I think. Again, like we said, we favored CR. Yeah, he draft a lot. And I think the Tide Hunter, like, they never had anything to deal with a Ravage. Yeah, I, it, it showed. Like, they were able to do so much. And I'm, I'm fortunate to uh, Zanix going through that game. Obviously, they were already at one game uh, disadvantage because uh, CX coming through that, uh, obviously, the upper bracket. And into this best of five, the pressure is now yeah. really going to be on them to come back in this next game. But we saw, like, how close some of these fights were. With, with Beast nearly dying, like a couple of hundred damage more. Yeah. And, and it could have been a different story. Well, a couple of hundred damage here and there, but they were lacking it, so unfortunately they weren't able to get out through this. Okay, so this is 2 0 now up to CEX. The CEX, yeah. And I'm afraid Zenix are really going to have to pull out all the stops to be able to do this now. Whether they can, we're not too sure, but obviously they have had some. Some pretty good games, some yeah. close games, and they have been able to take games off CEX. So yeah. It's not like they can't do it. You definitely can't count them out yet. Yeah, that's 100% true. I mean, that was the first game. That was sort of standard from both teams. Now yeah. I think they're going to feel each other out a bit more in a draft. Like, they haven't really we might see the Spectre band out. Exactly. I think that really was the issue. Obviously, couple that up with Control, obviously always having the Blink Ravages yeah. catching people out. Then you have the uh, the Haunts coming through, constantly just killing off. Like, people like the supports, like Ichigo yeah. on the, uh, what can you do on a Witch Doctor when you're just getting hit by a uh, Spectre by Illusions? And then, yeah, that's just you dead every time. Really, really hard stuff for them to achieve now. So, uh, we are going to be going into the next game fairly soon, obviously. This is a short, short break between yeah. teams. And uh, I think we're going to be having some highlights, so we can go to them shortly and uh, go through what happens. So, let's uh, have a look at what's happening here on the screen. Obviously, we do see Sudo getting shackled up. That was the Sunny Eclipse. Yeah. This was early into the game, eight minutes in, and this is where CEX started to come back and actually get some kills. And obviously, really important for the middle. Right, this is the first like major team fight we see. Like, Kundrul and Ryan really positioning to dodge that. Like, you two blinks on Kundrul, but look, you can't focus a Tide Hunter down. All right, we're going to see here, like, Cook gets off a great war trap, mm. hex onto Meep, Ravage comes out, shackles, it's and just there's controlled. nothing they can do. It's just completely controlled. Able, unable to do anything. Ryan obviously takes a lot of damage from Watson's War, but again controls him with that imprisonment. And uh, it's just, yeah, they lose Whelp. Just lose Whelp. They get four people, and that's the fifth kill there. And that is the full team wipe, which was so important for them. But uh, let's have a look at this one here. Obviously, Cook gets caught out and dies very quickly. Me 2 2 with a nice blink onto the well. But then the Sane Eclipse comes around, turns it around. Again, the Spectre Horn. Nice gets, uh, from me, again, the double start yeah. off with his God Strength. Able to get some kills. Very, very important. 
And then we have the fight down here near the secret shop. What's his war was obviously running. There was the nice four stop in. Only yeah. caught one person with the Ravage, I must admit. But then there's the Yules up, and Mute 2 2 comes through with a big stun. Meep then comes in with the Blink Dagger. Cobble that up with the Death Ward. Conjure then goes down. And this is where the. See, this shows how close these fights were, yeah. really, right? And a really important play from Rhyme there. Like, putting BZ in the Astro Imprisonment while mm. BK beating God's Champ up hitting him. Like, just kiting the Sven. We keep talking about the Sven and kiting yep. him. All these abilities, like, they make a big difference. Something I want to point out as well, that last fight, the Spectre Dagger was on me. He blinked yeah. behind and actually killed off uh, the Mute 242. So, I mean, obviously he was still going to die anyway because the Spectre was going to yeah. run him down, but it, his death was a little bit sooner. So down here, I mean, obviously, oh. this was the big stun from Mute 242. And obviously, this is when Meep and Mute to pretty much came back to fire. Beast able to get yeah. away, comes back look in. How low, look he how goes low, low and then to Armlet Toggles, turns around, gets some kills, and that was really nice from yeah. Mute. To be able to return that, I mean, look, obviously, he still look, dies the now. The Spectral Dagger is so important here. We yeah. see for BKB on the Spectral Dagger, he's 271 move speed. That's and this so is why he's able to be kited. Like, they have a track move speed as well. Mm. Like, Sven slowed up and everyone else is moving fast. Yeah, and it all comes down to you've got to play stay away from the big strong yeah. man who's trying to yeah. beat you up. And if you can stay away from the God Strength Sven, you can deal with it. But it, It's what we always say. If a Sven hit, hits you, you're going to die. Yeah. You need to not get hit. Exactly. Don't get part. hit and that's fine. Yeah. Well, it's not always that simple. It's, it's, for Floyd, the it's for Floyd Mayweather game. Yeah. <laughs> well, as long as these uh, haymakers don't come out from yeah. me, it's all fine. Yeah. But when it comes into this uh, fight and obviously controlling Sven, sometimes with your draft, you don't actually have the ability to deal with it. And that's going to be when obviously, yeah. uh, it, it falls apart. But thankfully there with the tracks, the actual movement speed, it helps out and all this stuff, we'll yeah. be able to deal with it. But looking at the li lineups for next game, I think we probably won't see stuff like the uh, Spectre maybe being let through because it was such mm. a uh, important... Factor. Yeah, I think if we see a Spectre, it's going to have to be picked in the first phase. Right, okay. We're going to be going for a very short break, short I believe. Break, yeah. And then, uh, so stick around. We're we'll going into our next game very soon. Hello. Welcome back to Dota 2 here at Insomnia 57. I'm going to be replacing uh, Rust and stuff. So, I mean, and I'm Zambrella, joined by Faldor once again. Yeah, Steve, Steve's been related to camera duty now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but... So you were you were obviously spectating the first game. Like, what, what were your thoughts on it? We haven't had your thoughts on that first game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I, firstly, very enjoyable. It yeah. was pretty close. Like for the first, well, like 20, 25 minutes, uh, XP the gold graph to sit in right that middle line. Uh, this, I think the trouble was the Spectre did just get quite a lot early on. Did manage to what was it like 13 and one? Yeah. Something like that in the end. Oh, oh, we're into a drop. I'm, I'm yeah. going to continue talking about the first yeah. game. Yeah. But. The, the Sven, I mean, when he jumped in and like after they lost three heroes and got three kills on his own, that showed the power of what Sven can do. And they just needed more opportunities like that, I think. Yeah, but as I say, like, when, when you've got this Sven running, running around at like 250 move speed and everyone's dodging around him with track move speed doing like 400, like, yeah. it's going to be so frustrating when you're playing that Sven. Like, you just want to you just want to hit something, but yeah. you can't. And uh, I yeah, so I mean, going, going into, into this game now, that's the something I want to talk about in the first game. Oh, really? Okay. I think the Bounty Hunter was really yeah. instrumental in their win. Yeah. Just because they were taking, e well, they were taking even fights, but when, yeah. the, when they did win a team fight, you know, one kill extra, or even just like getting equal kills, yeah. the Bounty Hunter gives you so much more. Mm. And I'll be curious to see if they want to go back for it. Yeah. So, shall we get into this draft? Uh, is this yeah, the and same I think bands again? It is the same bands, the only difference being that this time CEX are going to ban out the Zeus, and ZX are going to ban out the Evoca, so that's a swap. And yeah, this time CEX, our first pick, they go for the OD straight away again. It did work out pretty well yeah. for them. It wasn't like pub stompy like level we've we've come no. to know in our pubs, but it was still very yeah. strong. And Xenex was probably exactly the same way with Earth Spirit. So I'm wondering if Xenex are thinking about picking up a Spectre early on, or if they're going to go down like another one of their comfort picks. Have you seen spell. a what bad it? Spectre game though? Not not I'm very not few. Very few. Very so few. I think even if. <sighs> I feel like they have to go for it. They don't want to give it away. Like we, we did see Xenex playing up against Rise Gaming yesterday with a Spectre Nature Profit combo. That's true. When, that's true. when they, had the, they had the Sven and they just, they just ran and killed all the towers. They had the Sven, Death Profit again, but you know, going up against CEX, CEX had to ravage this time as their tool to defend towers. And we saw Xenex had nothing to do with it, right? So this time we go for the same opening. I'm wondering if we're going to see either the Tide Pick or the Tide Ban here. It might well do. Shadow Xenex. Shaman, what's gonna, where yeah. has this hero come from? I mean, we we saw last game. It was it was just so effective at locking down like the Sven and yeah, the shackles do they do so much for you, as well as like the, we talked about the insta hex and yeah, it, it says something the CX are prioritizing it the shadow shaman over the lion. Yeah. We've seen the lion be dominant all throughout the tournament, 
and like in, in the wider Dota scene in general. So the fact that they're going to prioritize the Shadow Shaman here means yeah. that like they want they want rewards to help them with Roshan, to help push towers. I think that's a big thing. For, like we saw when they're picking this t these teams with not much physical damage. Like we've got the OD, we can do some good damage against Roshan. The Spectre is not not the greatest hero, but you add in those Serpent Wards killing Roshan, suddenly yeah. it's a lot easier. They are radiant this time, though. And so. uh, again, I think this is also like they've learned. Xenex's high ground defense is is almost legendary. Yeah. Like suddenly <laughs> yeah. you add a Shadow Shaman into the mix, it's a hell of a lot easier. So I think this is why we're prioritizing this hero over the Lion. It offers just about the same things, but it has that added tower push potential as well. Yeah, oh, I like it. And even the Oracle ban from CX, I just guess the purge yeah. from of the shadows. No, it's the um, it's it's again the full performance with the Death Prophet and the Spirit Siphon. Oh, uh, that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, and again, they ban out the the Phoenix, and like you said, the Bounty Hunter's <laughs> yeah. banned out. So I'd like to see it without the Bounty Hunter. This is like yeah. sub in some other support hero. How different the game would have mm. been. Mm. It wasn't like he didn't do like super loads of roaming yeah. in the early game, but yeah. yeah, he had an impact. And yeah, the track is really hard to like see the impact of. Obviously, we don't have like a number of how much track gold uh, CX earned that game, but you know it was a lot, right? So CX go with the same man from last line. Xenex go for two different bands. They go for the Bounty Hunter band and they go for the Sven band. Yeah. Don't want to deal I'm with trying to remember what Xenex band last game at this stage. I can't remember. No, I'm I, can't, afraid. I can't remember, uh, but it was something pretty pretty standard, I'm sure. Yeah. So this leaves open. Like, we talked about the Lion. Leaves the Lion open. Yeah. Vend, it leaves the Tide Hunter open. Go for it. The Spectre is still open. That's probably what they're deliberating on now. Yeah. Do we get the this is, Spectre? This is, this, is, this is a pick from Team Zengus who's going to sort of dictate their game. They do go for the Spectre. I think this is the right move. Yeah. It's just been so powerful, this patch. Um, especially just this tournament as well. Like, yeah. it's, it's definitely strong yeah. overall, This is This, is, this, this is why we see the Zeus band come out in this first phase between these two teams. Like, both these teams have been, they've been talking about, like going through the tournament, about how like, if you're second pick, you can, just, you can just pick Zeus Spectre in the first phase. It's really hard to deal with. Yeah. Unless you unless you really like know what you're doing and like I talked to CEX, they if, if they come up against the Spectre, they they know what they're gonna do. I am not sure about Xenex, but I think Xenex I think Xenex okay. know what they're gonna do. It's gonna be pretty much the same thing if they <laughs> come up against that. But both teams don't don't wanna do that. They don't wanna go down that route. They'd rather just ban out the Zeus and not have to deal with it. So we saw one game in the uh, in I think one of the playoff games. I go try lane against Spectre, mm. but they did shut down the Spectre, to be fair. Yeah. However, the Spectre then just got farmed anyway. Yeah. Here's, here's the thing. Again, we've talked about the Spectre getting that urn. Like, you shut him down early game, but if he gets that urn up and, like, one, one horn and gets, like, one, two kills, like, he's right back in the game. Yeah. All right, CEX, we saw them do the Jakiro Necrophos duel off lane. Dirty, dirty. Yeah. And they're, gonna, they're probably going to do it again. Probably. But Xenex, I really want them to pick up a Nyx Assassin here. Just because it's three intelligent heroes, including an OD who has huge amounts of intelligence, as we know that the mana burn, I believe, is called. Uh, it does more damage the more intelligence you've yeah. got. Um, and they've got space to have it in their lineup as well. They've got the carry specter, the mid death prophet, and then mm. they can have it in the off lane. You can play it as a support, but I don't think it's. I think it's done as effective. But they go with the prophet. All right. Split push. Yeah, and also it's another hero who can come in and help that safe lane. Oh yes. Turn around into like a four v. 4v2 or whatever. So I like this pick. Will the Necro come out is the question. We'll have to uh, wait and see. But there's some significant push on CEX now with the Shadow yeah. Shaman Jakiro. They could maybe yeah. even think about going aggro. Pretty strong heroes, depending on the carry anyway. Yeah, I'm wondering if... Uh, I, think it's, I think it's actually better to leave it as the dual lane. Like, you get, uh, get yeah. a bit more experience. Um, I mean, talking... Go back to the Nyx Assassin. The only issue, I think... The teams NX have is that Sudal plays the Nyx and the Earth Spirit for their team. Okay, so, so CX actually going for a Batrider, which I think is going to be the diff a different hero to a Necrophos. Yeah, I was thinking play. that in the last game, actually. Yeah. That Batrider would have been pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Still, they've got four inner heroes. I feel like this should be like abusable. Again, yeah. Nyx Assassin good, gets the Bat, but like you it mentioned, is the bat rider, yeah. where are they going to fit it in their lineup? Mm. Especially now when, when they have an HS Prophet here, like they've got their three core heroes. So, like having an Earth Spirit and an Assassin to support, maybe it can work, but at least they're laying very weak up against this Shakira as well. Yeah, indeed. So, final set of bans now. I, I guess we didn't actually say this in the opening, but CEX win this game. Yeah. They have won the grand final. Yeah, this is, this is it for Team Xenex. They've, they've got to put everything on the table. Yeah. No more secret strats, no more 
little ideas they got tucked mm. away for that, you know, dire moment. And you see, they're, they're confident that they could just stick with the same style of Dota, like adjust a little bit what went wrong in the last game, and they think they can like stick with the same same kind of style of Dota and take it to see the excellent. We've seen them do it before. Yep. I have I have high hopes for this team, mm. but Beast's PA is going to be banned out. On, yeah. And uh, the final lion somehow made its way all the way through to this mm. part of the draft, but fell at the final hurdle, and Team Xenix. They've got quite a long time to think about this. They yeah. sped through the first part of the draft. And we are expecting it's going to be their sort of five position support hero. Yeah, what's it, like the Witch Doctor still in the pool? I wonder if it went like a slightly more aggressive hero to like take the fight to the Jakku in a Batrider with, with the Earth Spirit. I mean, the Earth Spirit early on, like it's good when you're like ganking on one hero, but against two heroes, it doesn't offer as much. Yeah. Like you've got the rolling boulder, and then that's kind of it. He needs. He needs to get some levels up, and Spectra as well. He needs sort of a spectral dagger early on. Isn't that great? Obviously, the, the desolate can do a lot if heroes on their own. But again, if you have two heroes close to each other, the desolate doesn't do any damage. So, yep. Having the dual lane in the off lane for CX is really smart. But again, the nature's profit TP could be what changes this game. Yeah. I like the the Lena here maybe for Xenex. Gives you some deep push mm. with the dragon slave, some big nuke damage to try and kill off that one target. You, get, you have a setup from the Earth yeah. Spirit, the Nature's Prophet as well, with the Sprout. Uh, it could work pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to, like, again, there's, there's the aggressive route, something like Alina, then, then there's, there's something like the Witch Doctor as well. Go down like a more like a more defensive route, get the heal. Like, again, the paralyzing cast against two heroes, if they're close together to stop the Desolate damage, it's going to prop between them. Yeah. But Actually, it, we could go back for the Venge as well, good against the Batrider. Mm, yeah, it is, it is definitely good in right? And Actually, going down a more defensive route, thinking about, like, what about like an Abaddon as well? I, I, I do think it, it leaves it with very oh. few offensive options. They go for the Pudge. Nice. We've got, <laughs> We've got the issue. Go Pudge. Right. Okay. I'm excited now. Right. I don't. I don't think we've ever, we, we haven't seen this tournament. The issue go Pudge. I assume it's gonna be issue go Pudge. Is it, is it pudge. legendary? Is it? Uh, I mean, uh, it, infamous. Has some, infamous. Has is some, it? I'd say infamous here as well, <laughs> okay. but legendary. Um, if if we see the issue go Ember Spirit, then I mean that's another hero we can look for and. Anti-mage for Bisa. Oh, gosh. Okay, then. Yes. Okay, then. I was wondering if we were going to go down the route of a Juggernaut, like, keep yep. the push, but going down for the anti-mage, like, you've got, you've got Death Prophet, obviously with a high mana pool, really susceptible to getting mana voided. Yep. You've got, you know, magic mag is up against the Earth Spirit, but is the Earth Spirit Silence to be worried about? And, like, the, the Nature's Prophet is probably going to go for, like, maybe an Orchid, maybe a Hex. Yep. But, yeah, I mean, up against the Spectre, you can just like run away, you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. you can just blink away. The Spectre can't like CC on his own. He needs the support from the team. And that's only coming from the Earth Spirit right now. Like maybe the Pudge. Like yeah. you could, I, I think you can blink away from the Dismember like, if you're quick enough can as, you as the anti mage. It it it's it's got a little bit of an animation. It's I don't know. It's, it's going to be tricky. Well, we'll have to see. As here we are, yeah. this I guess the third game now in this grand final. CX going up against Xenex. Xenex on the line here. Tournament. It's going to be a close one. We've got yeah. a Pudge. I'm, I'm very excited. It's got a couple of new heroes, like I said, the Pudge. We haven't seen much anti this tournament. The Batrider as well. Yeah. I know popular in uh, some scenes, but... Yeah, Kundral, Kundral has played the Batrider a couple of times this tournament, I think, but I don't think we've seen it on stream. And we did see CEX fall to a to a Pudge against Zero Game Sense, but up at top, yeah. we've got... Ah, the Batrider. Yeah. He's got the Firefly. The free movement just to get himself out of danger, but... Looks like he didn't manage to get a ward down. Yeah, so that's, that's good movement from Xenex early on, stopping that ward coming out really early on. Oh, he's got the bone claw hook as well. It must be good. <laughs> but they're looking to just, just to secure themselves this rune for the Death Prophet. Um, so it's not going to be, I don't think it is going to be a dual lane for CEX. It yeah, it looks like they're just going to keep uh, the Batrider up top for now. I think they don't want to deal with just getting randomly hooked. Like the Jashiro gets hooked in once Ishigo hits level 2. Yep. And uh, like, there's not much turnaround potential. They're looking to get really aggressive here. What's the plan? Did you go pseudo? Are they going to snipe the courier? They're looking for a hook. What's the plan here? Ping's come out. The courier is coming out towards Rhyme. They're going. They're going. They're going to be able to find it. The rolling boulder. Can you get the slow on it? I don't know. One more right click. They need to find it. It's not going to happen. Denied. That was close. It would have been. I'm guessing it was just a salve. Yeah, just a salve. Oh, it's actually, actually empty. Maybe it's. Yeah, the salve's already been delivered to Rhyme. So it was just a salve. <laughs> that was pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Yeah. A nice attempt, but it's not going to work out. I don't think it's not going to lose too much, but I mean, Welp, Welp was here, like, babysitting it as well, so we didn't want to, like, commit too hard for it. 
I think if they dived on the tower, they would have just yeah, died yeah. there. So smart moves. Yeah. So once again, we're going to see the OD uh, Death Prophet matchup. Fairly even, I'd say. Yeah. But we're saying this. Welp is going to be helping out his mid lane and get that early start. And, but the Spirit Siphon is just so strong. The move speed slow, plus the health drain is going to force Welp all yeah. the way back and through a lot of his regen as well. That is going to force it onto cool, on cooldown. Uh, obviously, at rank one, you only get about one charge. It's a 45 second recharge time. So now we can't use it up against Ryan. Ryan can play a bit more aggressive. So. Yeah, well, we're still making an impact here just just by being here. Yeah. And we're gonna see like Ryan picking early lead five and four up against uh, Watson towards one, one and one now. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this punch. He puts down a central ward just to make sure he's not being spotted. Oh no, yeah, he, he is does, being, he's spotted being spotted out. He does find the ward. That's gonna be some nice bounty going his way. It's almost like the threat of punch. Yeah. Is can be he, just as strong. He does get he does get a lot of XP from that as well. He's nearly level two. So it's going to be Prophet versus Beezer. I mean, the harass is coming in, but it's not really stopping the anti-mage farming. Yes, Mute uh, is going to be getting some some farm though. I don't really expect to see the lanes. I mean, it's going to be up to the supports to really make the aggressive moves. The bat rider for CX is going to wait until he's got his blink dagger. Yeah. He can if he sees an opportunity. One of the good off laners, if possible, with getting aggressive. Some sticky napalms with the firefly. But anti-mage isn't going to be going anywhere, that's for sure. Spectre doesn't really want to go anywhere. So it's all up to sort of the Pudge Earth Spirit roaming around. Death Prophet, unless she gets like a really good rune like any yeah. rune, she's not really going to stray I think, I think we are going to see Ishigo hitting level 2 now. He's definitely very close. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure he is. There we go. Yeah, there there's we level go. 2. So the hook and the, the, pu the Pudge Rust. The Pudge. <laughs> Shout out to Rust. So, we, are we actually going to see Soodle rotating down to bottom lane? He did have an Invis rune all through mid. Can they, can they really kill the anti mage though? He's going to have his. No, they're going to go on the Shadow Shaman, it looks here at bottom. Question, yeah, the Rolling Bottom is going to get the loose loot. He tried to go for the side step. Is this our first blood? It is. Soodle gets it. The Hex ineffective against Mew242 yeah. as there was another hero. So, Xenix off to an early lead. Yeah, there's that. The Oove coming out like. Shadow Sheep does opt to go for the boots at level 1. Obviously, he's one of us. I think he is actually the joint slowest hero in the game at like 280 move speed or 285 move speed. Yeah. He might actually might be 5 move speed faster than Crystal Maiden and Invoker. So, uh, he's one of the slowest heroes in the game. Nothing to brag about, yeah. really, is it? So, you know, that, that who's going to do a lot. Ooh, <laughs> Sudo just placing the rocks again. What is this guy, seriously? Yeah. That Wait. long range liquid fire is going to cancel the clarity. Yeah, Mute's gonna have his fade boots up in a sec. It's gonna make his lane like he's gonna be able to harass a, a lot more. He like he's having a good time down here. He's, like he's eight and one. He's three and a half. He's he's disrupting these pulls and make it making it hard for Beast to. I mean, I say making it hard for Beast to farm. Beast is, Beast is doing just fine. Yeah, he's he, doing he fine. was he was a couple of CS behind Spectre, but he's an anti mage so. And up in yeah up in middle like Rhymes Rhymes dominating Watson's War after that that early rotation from Welp. I think when you get a few more levels in the Crypt Storm, it'll probably become a lot easier. Some more yeah. levels as well, you can really start applying pressure like he's going to do now. The right click's coming in. This is a lot of damage from Rhyme, though. Does he really want to do this? He really knows he's got his ally coming in. The rolling boulder, the slow, but now the Astral is going to stop. The right click's coming in. The Orb of Venom's not going to work. And the gaining damage. Rhyme now turns. It's a first kill. The second kill is going to be helped. Oh, he misses uphill. One more. There we go. Double kill for Rhyme. The punch hook is going to connect. He doesn't have an Astral anymore. But the right clicks, he's just stolen so much intelligence. Another kill. A Triple one for Rhyme there in the mid lane. Yeah, that's 44 intelligence stolen at four minutes. Like, that's completely insane. Like, Rhyme just gets off all the right clicks. Like, they have nothing to stop him just sitting there and auto attacking. And he's just stealing brain and more brain and more brain. Ooh, Crypt Swarm just misses from Watson's Water. That might not quite have been enough. They're going to try and go for this again. They're going to bait him in with the ultimate. Rhyme gets another kill. The Rolling Boulder denied. Kundra getting in front of him. Sudo, he wants one right click. It will be such a big bounty. He's not even going to be able it. to find it. Oh my goodness. They tried and tried. But this guy seems unkillable. OS Frog, please. But okay, okay. In the bottom lane, Redemption they kill, kill Beezer. But... We're addressing the bean, like we saw the game yesterday, Rhyme had this kind of start, but they just killed Beast right over again. But it's a different game now. Like here Rhyme's playing at OD, not a Viper. And he's gonna have his treads. He's level he's level six already. And we saw the ult out onto next onto onto the death rock. It was an intro, but still almost stacked on the bottom issue goes gonna get gone on by Welp. Yeah, it's pretty effective at stopping him, but he's gonna try and juke it around. Maybe look to for the deny. He's rotting himself away. Gotta be careful, doesn't get hit by too much and yeah, he's dead. Yeah. And that's the Beaster as well. Yeah. So it's gonna boost up his farm after his death just then. And this early game, okay. Rhyme is fat. 
What are they yeah. gonna? What, what? What is the comeback? Plan? I see a comeback plan. What is the, the the plan now? Do they just say, okay, guys, guys, let's calm down a little bit. It's okay. He's, he is ahead. That is true. But we have the better draft. We have the better team. Yeah, I mean, they really need to make one of these rotations work on him. Like, we saw, we, like, we saw the we saw the pudge at bottom can get the kill on Bisa. They, they really just need to get a good rotation on like. But we saw how much support Ryan got from his team. Like, even Kudru coming in from the off lane. Welp came in on Drake Hero. Cook was there on uh, Shadow Shaman as well. Uh, Haste on Sudo with a DD. He gets the kick. He needs the silence as well, but the TP comes out. Oh, not TP, the blink. Visa, he's still alive. Sudo dodges it. Uh, Dutch is stunned. Visa, they're still chasing. They want to try and find him, but they're going to be able to get it. Meep with the horn. The shackles not going to do too much at this stage of the game. They've got to watch out as uh, Ichigo going to try and get that kill. Nature's Prophet is the one that lands it. There's going to be three kills. Going the way of Xenex. Yes, the Earth Spirit dies, but his death is more than worth it. It was a lot of rotations in, that's yeah. for sure. But that's exactly what Xenex is as well. Like we see, we see again, like the Spectre hitting level six is such a big deal. Like he comes in, he gets a couple of kills. He doesn't have his earn yet, unfortunately, but he's gonna be able to have that up now, opting for the bracer first. But yeah, killing off the anti mage again is really important. And they've got level six on Watson's water. They're gonna push down the tower. Yeah, it should be pretty easy to grab. It's, uh, it's probably one of the yeah. It's called the safe lane, but more and more we see just like aggressive movements into the safe lane. Inverted quotes there. Uh, goes down. So a bit of bonus. Well, Uchi who is going to pick up the last hit on that one. Yeah. Bonus gold going the way of Xenex. So 7 for 5. Uh, so, you know, after that uh, iffy mid lane skirmish, I think they're they're pretty happy with how the things are going after that. But this OD is, is going to be a trouble. Yeah. Level 8 now. It's going to rush for Veil. But actually, it might, might just be the drum. Like, yeah. I think the drum either. Normally, we see, like, we see where I normally go drum into Veil. So we're probably going to see those two items from him again. Yeah, the two off laners as well from CX and Xenix are doing equally well. So once again, another fairly even game. Yeah, apart from obviously Ryan. Like, he's, <laughs> he's, he's really far ahead of Watson's Water on the Death Prophet right now. Yeah, yeah almost <laughs> double his net worth, actually. Oh my but goodness. we do see Mew242 putting in. Putting in another shift on, on Nature's Prophet, he is going to be like 200 net worth ahead of uh, of Beaster on the anti mage, and he's going to have his Midas up in about 200 gold. Like Midas phase boots before 10 minutes, like 3 0 2 actually on Mew. Like able to find some kills with rotations from Pseudo. Yeah. Do you think he go, what do you think the item build now? Is he just go straight for the Necro, or maybe sort of combat build drums? I mean, sometimes we see the phase orchid. drum, but like with a Midas, he might opt for the Orchid if he thinks he can get it before Beaster can pick up the, the, pick up the Manta, Manta style. Yeah. But. Whether he, I mean, obviously the Manta style is going to come out, and as soon as that does, like we're probably going to see a BKB from Ryan as well, probably one from Kundra later on. So the Orchid is an item that's going to help you early on, but later on it's going to do, it's going to be less effective. So whether he decides actually just to go for something. Trouble. That was an Invis. Well, guess the ice passed, and okay, an interesting astral. They're going to be able, they're going to win the lasso. There's no mana for lasso. He gets the kick. He gets to roll away. Sudo, is he going to be able to make it? Just go straight for the TP. But yeah. The hammer has dropped, the Sanity's Eclipse finds the kill. I'm, I'm sure they would have preferred not to have used yeah. it. That's 160 second cooldown, but it would have been probably the, the latter. The yeah, I think I think Ryan was trying to like cancel the roll or something, but again, he, he gives time for Sudo to like be like, right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw down the rock, I'm going to stun, I'm going to roll away, and he, he forces Ryan to drop the Sanity's Eclipse. It's not the biggest deal, but. Again, a a anything, any, any little like small victory you can get if you're gonna die is. is good. Yeah, I mean, like, if you're gonna die, like try and force the yeah. enemy, like create, make, make sure they're sort of on you for longer. Mm -hmm. Try and create, create space, get the damage out you can, or force them to use spells that they'd otherwise yeah. not like to do. Ichigo getting closer to that level six, so he's got level three hook now. That's pretty long range, and it's okay. Drums completed for Rhyme on that OD. Pisa, Treads. Still a fair bit off that Battle Fury, so we'll be looking at. Yeah, again, the, the, couple of, the couple of kills on Pisa, like, it really slows down the anti mage before you get that Battle Fury. Like, you want to be hitting creeps. Like, that's the thing is anti mage with most carries, but you really want to be hitting creeps all the time. Like, you don't want to stop to hit, like, hit some heroes unless you get the kill. Like, yeah, all of that hitting creeps, hitting creeps, hitting creeps. Smoke up from the OD. So moving forward with the Shaman, he's got the Hex ready, plus the Shackles with it. He's going to Astral up the uh, Death Prophet now. Guys, Carl's going to come through, lands perfectly for now, but Beautiful 2 saves his ally. There's no Tangos to eat through those sprouted trees. Kondor looking for a kill, maybe, or at least a lasso target, but Xenex, they back off smartly here. I don't think Kondor wants to go any further forward. That's a, is that a haste rune on the uh, Pudge? It yeah, is it indeed. is. Indeed. Is he going to be able to find? Is he going to be able to find anyone? The hook comes through. Oh, it's a miss. Yeah, it's unfortunate. They, they, I think they did spot him out there. Like you saw the ice bath come out. So yeah. he's just, he's just going to give it give it the Craig David and walk away. So <laughs> be all right. 
That's it, that's really level five. So, yeah. Two supports looking for their level again, six. Like, Beast has had time to hit some creeps now, so you see he's gonna he's gonna hit fly back up to the second on, second on the network. Ooh, mute does TP down, but Beast is gonna TP back to base. So yeah, that's, this is the thing with Antimage, right? He's he's just such a fast farmer that yeah. he, he comes online before all the other <laughs> enemy carries. Or at least that's the plan. Yeah, yeah. The plan is he's gonna be sort of online a little bit before Spectre. Like Spectre, obviously, can't flash armor. Flash armor's hard. Like rushing the radiance is a lot harder than rushing a battle fury. And we, we don't normally see the Radiance rush anymore in Spectre, it's just a bit too greedy. Definitely, and it's also the fact that you know, Spectre can have uh, impact in the end. Yeah. Yeah you, can, yeah, you can. Obviously, uh, we've already seen the Haunt rotation from Meep. Pick, picking up the urn as well is a really good item. That's what he's going to do for those drums in the end. Looking forward to this punch hook. Someone. Is it Ichigo? Is he a good looker? <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll have, to, we'll have to see. Like, uh, are we uh, are we meant to be keeping a tally of his hooks? Uh, was he one and one and one? No, two and one. He, he hit a, he hit a hook on Ryan. He hit a hook at bottom, but he missed a hook at top. Okay. We'll, we'll say he's two and one. We'll say okay, he's two, two and one. one. So right now, right now, it's sixty six percent. He's he's hit more than he's missed. So that's good. That's fine. That's props, fine. Props to Rishi go so far. Another thing we have to think about as well is like the hook. Like he can hook the person out of a lasso as well. That's Obviously, it's 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 a bit trickier than something like a bench swap. Does it? So it cancels it, does it? I'm, I'm sure it does. Like Lasso has yeah. the. Oh, it has a range. Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Kandrew is going to pick up the blink. Nice. So now they can look to like pick off a Spectre a, a bit easier and uh, look for some more ganks. But I mean, if you get the blink, you have to just go look for yeah. someone. But it's next. They're kind of grouping up at the moment. Not sure. Okay, so on the top line, it is just a Spectre. Uh, four enemy heroes. Yeah, they see that no one's far like CX. Even no one's farming mid. They instantly think that there's an invasion into their jungle. And Beast is going to sit right back in the trees while everyone else is playing way far back. That's yeah, a smart thing. I mean, yeah. you, don't, you really don't want to die again. But he might get caught, uh, caught out with him. Nah, he's not a blink. He's fine. It's double three blink as well. Although Pudge goes for the hook. Dodge. Beast is used to this stuff. Yeah. And now he's going to try and get aggressive with Ryan coming in. But the kick. Now the rolling boulder away. It should go. Backed up by Mew242. He might just churn. This is the uh, ultimate onto Beast. And there's the Horde, the Spectre Horde. But it's going to be saved now. Ryan with the Astral onto his ally. Gets the kill onto Pudge as well. There's the Mana Void. It's just not enough damage. But the hammer being dropped. Still only a one for one. Spectre's still alive. Going to earn himself up for now. What's the to take a lot of damage from those, uh, from the, the one of the wards. And Beast is still alive for now. They're gonna find him, but they're gonna see him. They get the vision with the sprout. Two more right clicks should be enough. That's gonna be a three for two trade off at the moment. They're looking for the fourth, maybe even the fifth. Can't, can't believe Meep survived all of that. And the TP, they're gonna be able to find this kill. OS Frog with the, uh, uh, the rolling boulder man. The Earth man gets the fifth kill. And, and Zenix, take a great fight. Look how low Meep went. Yeah, like, he must have gone to 10 health. Duke's in the trees. Again, the urn, he gets earned up, like, that's, a, that's just a great fight from Xenex, like, choosing to turn around. It looked like, for a second, it was going to be, like, a bit of a disaster. Like, obviously, there was more support than Ishigo fought behind Bisa um, in, in the form of Welp and Cook and Rhyme, but they just, take a, they just take a great fight. And, like, the Death Prophet's allowed to do her own thing in that fight as well. I feel like this is the first time this tournament where Earth Spirit has felt really strong. Just this team fight well, potential there. Well, I mean, Earth Spirit... You kind of don't see it as well, like a big part as well, like when the when the magnetize is up, if you silence any hero, yeah. any hero hit by magnetize gets silenced. It's something you like, it's really, it's a lot harder to see than just like, oh right, he's geomagnetic gripped. But I think he's going to go top, but he's going to silence up. And I don't know if they have to it's really good now, this is going to be blink away. It was a close one. Yeah. And TP but support. again, they're putting pressure on Bisa. You see Mute's, Mute's jumped ahead of him, and the Spectres and he jumped ahead of him in Network as well. Like There we go. This is this is what we see Zenex doing a lot more than now against Team CDX this this time around. As Welp, uh, uh, sorry, Welp goes down to a hook from Ishigo in the middle. Nice. And just remember you spent the yeah. cooldown on that is, is is minimal. Yeah, so I think that's that's true. Ooh, it, Prophet gets hit by that mana void, but the rolling boulder, okay, it's gonna be off the target for now. He's got his magnetize up again, the kick hits on two heroes, but there's the last two. They need to bring him down before the magnetize comes out. But oh, the hook, hook from Ishigo! Downtown! Underneath the uh, underneath the cliff, and that's a more than worthy trade. Yeah. Zenex will take a support for that carry. Man, nice, nice work there from Ichigo. So what's that now? Four and one. Four and one. I, I always want to give back. Five and one. Careful, he's just haunting all over the place, trying to dodge what he can at the moment. That, that actually means he gets out of there. And <laughs> Mew goes in the back lines and picks off Cook. He he's might pay his life for it. Jukin, 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 about. Uh, okay. 
Ryan's got way too and much And again, there. look at me. Look at me, he's lived again. <sighs> Kendra goes down to a Spectre, but again, Meep lives on a sliver of HP, and these these things add up like these little oh, things, shit. like 20 HP difference. Is like if if Meep dies there, it's worth it for Kendra to die. Like they slow down their Spectre as like like how many how many times has Beast died now? Four. Yeah, he's one and four, and he's he's still away off that battle fury. Like he'd love to have that battle fury already. He's Beast is used to having this battle fury at like Treads battle fury 12 minutes. That's the time that he wants. It's now 16 minutes. And he's only like halfway there. Oh, the invis on the Death Prophet is going to give vision for the hook. The slow as well will hit the rolling boulder. They probably need to get throughout the hook. There's no point. He can go for the yeah, slow. Anyway. Yeah. He needs to get those stats up. Yeah, I mean, he, he, I mean he's point blank. Are we counting that one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll count that one. You know, they're sometimes uh, trickier to land yeah. than the long ones just because the angles are a lot sharper. But they're going to get the tower here anyway. Goes away the Spectre. So more gold for Meep. He's right. probably... Yeah, I was going to say, Rhyme, now, we talk about how Xenex is doing real, but Rhyme is still top of that net worth. He's yeah. got the drums, he's got Veil, like, we're probably going to see the blink again from next, for BKB, similar sort of build. But it just feels like he can't play out with damage. He's like, I mean, at the same time, he's 8 and 1. That's like, he's doing, he's doing amazing. He's 3 quarters of his team's yeah. skills. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I can't do maths. Yeah, it is 3. It is, it is, you're right, it's 3 quarters. It's 3 quarters. Two-thirds. Two-thirds. Two Two-thirds, no, three-quarters. No, Two-thirds. Three Two-thirds. Oh. We can't do maths. Oh dear, oh dear. <coughs> move on, move on, move on. <laughs> All right, 12, 15. I can read numbers. Yeah. That's good enough. You try and do maths. It's hard. The pseudo going to get caught out by the ice. Bar plus, oh, even committing the macro pile. Yeah. Make sure, make sure. It's, it's a short cooldown. Like, again, it's, it's no nonsense. Uh, I mean, pseudo was, pseudo was doing pretty well as well. I think he was like... And one or something, maybe so. so. It's a big kill, and it means they're gonna get this tier one tower as well. But we'll unless uh, actually, there is a rotation in from you, he's gonna, he's gonna start going for that orchid as well. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, we're kind of forcing oh, okay. OD could be he's getting pretty low here at the moment. He's gonna go down in this bottom lane with the horn. Yeah, is that another hook? I don't know whether it hit, but it was a kill. We'll, we'll kind of shoot hit. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of it's pure damage. He did, he did as die well, in the so. trees, so yeah, yeah, he did die in the trees. So unless Ryan just wants, wants to, like a jog to the trees, but. Yeah, getting in, getting in. That's a big, big pick, big pick up actually. Yeah. Almost, almost bigger than the beat Bisa. As that closest Bisa to that Battle Fury. He must be getting it close. Yeah, yeah about 300 gold. They're I'm gonna, gonna go find on the silence him. on him. The ultimate comes out with the Magnetize. In comes the teleportation from the Prophet. They get the kick as well. Stop Swap getting the uh, Ice Path down, but Bisa does finally get himself out of there. The silence uh, did finally wear off. And he wants to use that ultimate, but they get a kill elsewhere. The wards do go down, so it's a one for one trade off. The wards were used very yeah. defensively, and these can be farmed up. 29, 28 gold a piece is. It's nothing to be sniffed at. And still, Xenex applying the pressure where they can, yeah. using the horn whenever it's off cooldown. Nature's Prophet being a global entity in this game. When we talk about like addressing the anti mage, like, me, he's got so lucky that he's not died yet this game. He's 3 0 and 10. Yeah, there's a big dagger on Rhyme as well. He kind of has to go BKB yeah. right next, though. Yeah, I, I think so. I think BKB def definitely is like. Obviously, we talked about the silences last game from the Earth, but in Death Prophet, it's the same case here. As well as the Orchid coming out from U242, it's going to be a big deal. Bisa is going to finish off his Battle Fury in this bottom lane, though. Okay, finally, finally, it's online. Now we can start accelerating, farming up his own jungle, but yeah. his jungle has been warded up a fair bit. Couple yeah, and, and, and again, like, Mew242, he, he's, he's getting close to the Orchid as well. Yeah, that's, and he is still far. Yeah, about 500 but gold away from, from the Orchid. He's got to skip the Vlads, right? You just go straight in for that Mantra at this stage of the game. At least with yeah. the Orchid. Yeah, most, most likely. There's too much silence coming out from Xenex. Like, I think that would be too greedy. Yeah. Unless he feels like he can just dodge them completely, but when, there, when there's three heroes who can silence you, and like, there's always the Spectre and the Native Prophet that can come in. I, th I think he's got to just go straight for the Manta. He'd love, he'd love to go for the Vlads, but yeah, I think he's going to go straight for the Manta this game. Smoke up now. Kondra on the back lines. Rhyme He's going to be sitting behind him, waiting for that lasso target just to blow them up. And it's right clicks plus his ultimate. Who are they going to be able to find? It's going to be no one. Yeah. Really good positioning again from Xenex. So, Smoke Gank is, is failed. I mean, yeah. It's they're giving up now, it's, it's about yeah. to wear off anyway, so... Denied a possible kill there. They desperately want to find these kills with the Batrider as well. He's so good at just picking off that single target. He doesn't have the uh, 
uh, four staff yet. Hence why I think the blink on OD yeah. is even better. Because he can initiate with him. Yeah, there's a Yorkid up from you, isn't it? So, this is a big item before. Where's your horn? Horn, horn. They just get rhymed, they yeah. blow up. And look at everyone's health bars just ticking down. This is due to the horn. The power of the Spectre. Is he going to go for more? In the top lane, there's going to be a lasso. And now also with the shackles. But still, Meeper alive. He's got a spectral dagger into the trees. It's not enough. And maybe he got a little bit too aggressive. But in comes Mew242. Trying to clean things up. He got the Orchid off. It's going to get him to kill elsewhere. Jakiro goes down. And now the Yules aggressively onto Control. They find that kill with the Spirit Siphon. And still, it's just Beaser alive. And okay. Good fight from Xenex. Yeah. Yes, they do finally lose their Spectre. However, I think a 4 one trade off Xenex yeah. will be like, okay. I'll take it, I'll take it. This does give Beast a confidence though. Like, we see he started with Vlad. It gives him a little bit of time to farm up this Vlad almost for free because he knows Xenix is going to push down this top tier too. So he's going to have a free time in bottom. Like, you can see the heroes here. The Exorcism is going to be committed. The tower is going to start going down. Like, Meep's dead for now. There's no way we can kill him in the next, like, minute. And looks like CX want to set up a defense as well. Now the ice part is stopping the creeps in oh, the traps. Oh, but Mew is looking bottom. But they've seen him with a ward. Oh yeah, they have. He's, he's got to get himself out there because heroes are possibly going to rotate in. In fact, yeah. Rhyme and Lisa, gonna... they're looking for the kill. They pop the drum charges. There's the blink as well, but... They're spotted by the tree. There's also Meep there. Yeah. Two uh, the foremost farmed heroes. Actually, that's not true. Spectre's only the fifth farmed. Boom. Didn't hit, but Kondral is now going to get caught out in the entangling claws of Pudge. Or at least it's Meat Hook anyway. Mew242 coming in, gets the silence onto Well. Jakiro, he's going to eventually go down. Yeah, the Orchid's going to be in. They're going to look for the second color contra. He goes into the tree line off the left hand side, but it's going to be enough yeah. with that Crypt Swarm. And again, this global game from Mew242. We are like, he's going to go top of a net worth now. We, we've talked about him like all throughout today. He's really putting him in a performance stand. 7 1 and 11. And what is what this time? Last game, we saw him go for the, the Octarine Core first. This time, not, not the same mistake. Going for the BKB. Yeah. No messing about. Yeah, no. So I mean, they've learned something from that game. Uh, he's going to be like, he had, a, he had a rough start to this game. He is back up to third on the net worth above Bisa and the Spectre. So he's having a much better game. Yeah. And, and once you get BKB, OD is yeah. pretty much useless. I mean, the nature's profit being this farm, like even even Sudor's now more farm than Control on the Earth Spirit. Like the gold graph has got to be in favor of Xenex. Like, yeah, we're going to see like an 8K gold leaf for Xenex. And, on the XP, I'm, 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 it's got to be something. Yeah, yeah, about the same for the yeah, XP. Exactly. So there's a size, there's a sizable lead for ZX. They're, they're going to be feeling confident in this game. And ZX being on the dire side now, they could start thinking about Roshan. That rider is one of the best heroes yeah. around the road pit, just because you get that flying vision. But anyway, I'm going to come back to this as we do see a smoke up from a couple of the support heroes. They're looking for the hook. They're going to be able to find it. They get it. It hits well. Long range. Now Sudo gets the kick onto Rhyme. So they find themselves the first kill. Batrider looking for the kill, but it's going to get set up flying into the air with the Cyclone. They do bring down the Pudge, but it's just a Pudge. The hammer's going to be a drop. Beam's still alive for now. Using the sick charge. The mech keeping him alive. We're chasing. They're trying to find him. They get their lasso. Visa with the right clicks. It should be enough. However, this allows Death Prophet to try and find some more kills. Rhyme's still alive for now. He blinks out. One of the better things about getting a blink with the OD. And now the BKB comes out. He's so close to bringing so many heroes down. Yeah, he's so low as well. Uh, Watson Water gets the kills. It's a 3 for 3 trade off the moment. Sudal, he's so low, does finally go down. It's Bisa and Rhyme still alive. That's the two cores on CEX. And I think this is the first time CEX yeah. have really had uh, a good fight going their way. Yeah, CEX coming out on top there. Like, Meep, Meep gets brought down so quickly like when he's stood in like, the back of fire, and that's a lot of gold for Bisa. He's going to shoot up to the top of the net worth. That's scary. That's yeah. pretty scary. Yeah, he's getting ever closer to the Manta. And like, once he gets a mantle, he's going to be so much harder to bring down. I mean, you're pretty much limited to the punch. Speaking of the punch, he grabs Beezer, but I yeah. think that's our answer. It's, it's he's hard. He's pinging out for Mute to try and TP in, but Mute's not alive. I guess the only way... I think the only way they actually get a kill now is either if he uses his mantle too early, or they have to follow up with the kick first. Yeah. And then the hook into the dismember and yeah, blow him up. We're going to see the mantra from Mute. Not going for the Radiance. Mantle, no. Yet. Hook. Dodged. I hear an Orchid. It's on to Rhyme though, but Beast is just sitting by him. He gets his way out the trees. This member is online. But straight away cancelled by that Mana Void and Ichigo in a dangerous position. And Xenex, they lose one. It could be a second. Now the kick comes through, but the pushback on the Flame Bank. Flaming Lasso kind trying to reach him. But Beast goes for the body blocks just to help secure the kill. They don't even need the Lasso. And two dead on Xenex. A big yeah, Ichigo was able to deny himself somehow. 
through, Did he? through <laughs> magic, yeah. Well, uses the rock uh, to deny himself, like. Skill, skill. Yeah, but uh, yeah, like, again, CX taking taking another victory. And, yeah, we haven't seen him take too many victories this game, so. It's the second in a row now, yeah. so. They, they are going to push the bottom tower, tower uh, coming, coming with surf boards. Yeah, oh, only very close to that BKB now. Yeah. Oh, flying high. Still has that lasso, remember? And he's finished the four stuff as well. That's still back in base, too. Beast is just like pull away on our teammate. That's pretty scary. I mean, is that okay. Finish Manta Star as well. Say this game goes yeah, 20, 25 minutes more. Would you favor? It's a, it, it's a tough one. I, f I think I favor. I think CEX with the OD and the anti mage combo are gonna are gonna are gonna take it. Like, yeah. There is this global strat from Xenex, but I mean the bat rider scales really well late game. I mean, obviously so so do all three heroes from Xenex, but yeah, I, th I think it, like the hex is coming out from Xenex is gonna be a big deal as well. But that's gonna be what's gonna allow them to they, yeah, they to take down Visa. And Bisa is going to have an invis oh, room. Invis room. They can go straight for this. Goes for the rock with the ultimate, but that seems to get cancelled. I'm not really sure what happened there. Did you? Did he just no, cancel I think, it? I think he must have cancelled it. Maybe he's, maybe they saw another hero before. Alright, we just want to back out. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. No one dies just here yeah. on Xenex's side or CEX's in, uh, in this case. It looks like they might be trying to chase after Ichigo, but he should be right. Yeah, Ryan is going to pick forward, actually. He's got the BKB now, so he's not really scared of anything. So I'm just gonna opt to go for the Maelstrom. Bit more split push, bit more right click damage. I think this is this is yeah. fair enough. They need to they need to be able to bring he wants down. To, that. He wants to he wants to stay ahead in like the farming game as well. He wants to keep up with the net worth of anti mage and rhyme and the death prophet and it's not even gonna let him do that all this he should go. Throws out the hook. He does have the FL ends now, so it is a it's a slightly longer range hook. CX were thinking of going on now, but you know, it, it was going to be uh, into areas they had, didn't have vision. But they've now put a couple of observer wards inside the enemy jungle, so they can feel fairly confident to pressure this top tower. Yeah, and especially now Beast has a Manta style. Like, there's no, there's only the stun from Pseudo, it's like the hard to see. Obviously, there's the dismember from Ishigo, but they have a lot of ways to deal with that and cancel it. So it comes through. This is, gets the creep. Stop the push, right? But the seven wards once again applied. They've already come off cooldown since he used them in the bottom yeah. lane. And this should net them this important T2. The hook comes through once again. Not going to quite hit the blink forward. Prime going to go forward. They managed to get super as well. They can burst him down, but there's this member going through the BKB. What's the water with his BKB up now? Using that ultimate, but the fight's already yeah, over. Yeah, TX is going to back off seeing that axis being committed. They lose soon. Once again, CX taking a favorable yeah. trade. Uh, two for two is gonna, looks like he's just going to do a, a little bit of jungling for now. And how is Spectre doing it? 1600 gold. Is it the Radiance or do you go for like the Defuser? I mean, the Radiance is still good. Like, both OD and the Anti Mage probably are not going to go for those MKBs. So, that mischance is a, big, is a big deal. Like, especially when you're like stealing intelligence of every hit and burning mana of every hit. Yeah, it stops so. the blink from the Batrider as well. Yeah. They're the ones initiating. I think that's yeah. the main difference here. It's, it's CX that are initiating yeah. these last few fights. And taking the advantage from that. So maybe Xenex, they need to think about maybe smoking up, getting some kills of their own by initiating. But it's so hard for them right now, while the OD has this long BKB and while, while Beast has a Manta start ready, like, yeah, yeah. the Silence is their main form of control from the Orchid, from Pseudal and the Earth Spirit, and from the Silence from Death Prophet. And when that can just be dispelled by BKB and I don't see a horde on top. I mean, fine, Kundra looks to be the target. Rhyme's gonna get orchided up by Mew242. He's still got that BKB. Oh, it's on cooldown! Oh, yeah, that's literally that first, just comes off cooldown as well. That first charge of BKB is, is a long cooldown, so they're gonna find that pick off just like margins, a couple more seconds, yeah. and he can BKB and TP out, and they have nothing to stop it. Apart from remember, but Ishigo's not there, so Welk's okay. actually gonna be found as well, so. Slight mistake. I'm not really yeah. sure what he was doing there. He saw a couple of his uh, allies get picked off there. And meanwhile, Mute's actually seen Cook at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, on the top, on the top lane. lane, but Cook's gonna get out of there. Bisa. Meanwhile, Bisa. Split pushing away. Got that Manta ready if he just get jumped on here. A touch. He actually managed to get the dismember. They need to get the kick. They need to get the silence. It's not gonna work, though. No. And now Bisa. Which well, Manta style, though. They could look to maybe turn on this. He's now silenced up, and it should go taking a fair bit of damage, but they're gonna continue. Are they gonna keep going? There's teleportation in from the Prophet, but they've kind of gone the wrong way. Bisa goes back up towards the enemy tower. He wants to try and finish that off, and looks like he's going to be able to just blink and TP away. And so. this, is, this, is, this is how hard it is to take down that anti-mage. Like, they need the damage from a Nature's Prophet or 
the Death Prophet or the Spectre there to kill him. Like, just having the magic damage from Ishigo and Sudo, like, it's not going to do enough when the spell shield's up from Bisa. Leap up to 3,600 gold. Another 200 hit off the Relic. And then it's just a recipe away until Radiance. And that could be a big turning point for Zenith, yeah. like you said. No MK bomb, no natural MK D yeah, carries I mean, if, CX. If we look at the health on, like, on Cook and Weld, like, it's not too high. They don't have... I mean, I mean, Cook's actually quite farm this game. He's got 6.8k net worth. Imagine he's got the, the Blink Dagger up, probably going for the Blink Cape. Oh, that yeah. It's pretty impressive, actually, but you do have pretty decent farming mechanisms with the damage. Yeah. Uh, he's probably got, like, a, they've actually got a fair bit of gold uh, thanks to the towers that they've been taking. There's only one six spell on that side. There's the lasso catching up. YouTube will two the full start forward, but Huntle doesn't have any backup now. And, uh, looks like a self sprout. Maybe a slight mistake coming from this member. They're going to be able to find the kill. So even yeah, with Kandru, the self sprout, they get the kill. going off on his own, thinking that Mewtwo is obviously on his own for a quick solo pick, but he's got support from Sudal and Ishigo, and it's going to be a, a free kill on the Batrider. And as I still look towards Roshan, but Beast is already split pushing top lane, so they have to they have to address the bean once again. It's so painful because like whenever you go for a push uh, as Xenix, um, you've already got to have one person ready to TP. But it maybe even needs to be more than one person. Yeah. It's got to be. But they do horse. have the advantage of a Spectre. Like, if the Spectre's got to the top lane, he's going to push the lane out. Yeah. We're going to commit the Ekkison for the Roshan, which I think is a smart idea. Yeah, I mean, why not? Yeah, so it's going to go down pretty quickly. There's going to be no response from CEX exit. Yeah. And this is what, like, this is what, like, a, a small mistake. Like, even someone like the Bat Rider dying, it just gives the opportunity for Xenex to take that Roshan. So. Even giving away one kill, whatever hero you are, is, is a big deal. If, if the hero is in the right position, like you saw he died around the Roshan pit, there's three heroes already there, they break in the Death Prophet. And Death Prophet now has the Octrain Portal fleet as well. As well as the GTB. Yeah. Very nice. So Beast is about 300 gold, 500 gold away from that. That heart of Jurassic. That's really going to tank him up. Yeah. He doesn't feel like he's forced to go for the BKB yet while there's just silences coming out from Xenex. Like, it's mostly the magic damage from Xenex as well. Yeah. So he feels like he can go for the heart and not go for something like the butterfly. Like, he's level 21 yeah. now. So he's going to have that max spell shield very shortly. Yeah, he's heading up to that, that, that 10 creeps a minute mark we like to see. Yeah, and it's this 30 to 40 minute period where the anti mage is the strongest. Yeah. And I do feel like if Xenex can take it a little bit later, they stand a better chance. I think that's probably why they're not forcing fights. They do have the Aegis now, so maybe they can go for a push. Take the rest of these T2 towers, if possible. Or get a pick off on uh, one of the maybe easier heroes to catch. Uh, that does not really include the OD, as he's got a BKB. However, they've got the high ground advantage to kick time through. It's two, and there's the grab with the hook. Lovely teamwork there. Now that it's time, they're even going to commit the Magnetize. Yeah. Why really not? well executed gang there from Xenex. The bot did come through. They're not chasing. Actually, they did chase before. They're going to look for the Jakira fact. They're just forgetting about him. They get the first support. The second support. And that's three dead now on the side of CX. And the pressure can come out. But Bisa doing what anti mages like to do is going to split push away. But he gets all up. He does have the Manta now. And Bisa's going to chase after Mewtwo for two. But there's the backup from Ichigo. But he just loses all his mana now. But Bisa falls back. But saying that, back towards that mid lane. The tower looks to be falling. So Xenex, maybe they would like to take more, but Bisa denies they'll be, them. They'll be happy with that. Like, they, get, they get the kills, they stop Bisa from doing too much damage to top lane, they take the tier 2 mid. And they keep the Aegis as well. Like, they get everything there for free, like, like 400 damage on them. Well, they get the uh, walk in. Oh, the Mana Void! Blowing up that Nature's Prophet, and Zulus just got to get himself out of there. That was a little unexpected. They should go find the hook. They're going to have vision. Oh, he messes. They should have just waited until the... Uh, the dagger connected, the yours is going to come through, but they've got no silence for now. Well, they did on the death but they didn't quite time that quite right. Bisa does have the TP, he got a blink up in one sec, he's just so hard to kill. The hook is going to land, land as he TP'd out. Now they got the damage, they've got the lockdown. Is he going to be able to blink? No. And that... And they spend a lot of time chasing in top, but Ishigo finally finds yeah. the hook he's looking for. That was beautiful. Yeah. He knew the blink range of anti mage so guess where he'll be, and got the hook as he was TPing out. This gives them a little opportunity of about 70 seconds where we have the Aegis as well. Unfortunately, the heroes are sort of positioned awkwardly on their half of the map. But and the lanes are as well. Yeah, the bottom lane is pushing into the other side. Like, Mutes can be up in 20 seconds. He can maybe start pushing it out, but... It looks like Beast is not looking for the buyback. Nah, 
he's not even, he's not be forced by back. But this is time he's not farming. Yeah. During that period of time that I talked about, he he is the strongest. Yeah. They can see why it took so many heroes. If only his allies were there to help back him up. But and Mewtwo for two gonna opt for the BKB now on Nature's Prophet, which is a really smart choice. Like we've talked about it all game. But the OD and it means the Mana Void can't catch him out as well. And like, like both, the both for support as well. Like Shadow Shame, we've talked about his CCs, and BKB stops that completely. And the Jakiro is completely magic damage. It stops the Jakiro as well. And this is a high CS in game. <laughs> 20k net worth has been breached by Beza. Yeah. I think the Aegis is literally about to time out now, but whoa. Xenix. Yeah. 10k ahead. There was there was a little dip when uh, <laughs> when CX had that strong period, but they've done some really smart rotations. We saw the one in the Radiant Jungle, we saw them kill Beza top as well, and that's what the net worth and I mean the XP keeps going their way as well. It's almost 14k in their favor. And this is like this is Right, he's getting caught out. It turns on the BKB now. This is really a good fight for Xenix to take, especially when the hammer gets dropped. They lose one. They're going to lose the second. The rolling boulder is going to be unsuccessful. Bisa chasing forward. Oh, did they actually manage to get the astral? It's going to be me, but he gets blown up. So, three kills now for CEX out of pretty much nowhere. I think we, Control we initiated there with the lasso and set one up. Yeah, we see them, like a fight taken by Xenix where we don't have we don't have five heroes there. Like, we don't have a DP and a Nature's Prophet. And CX can walk over them. Like, a B, when, if a BKB comes up from Ryan, we saw him when they killed him before. He had no chance to BKB. Yep. And that's what's really, really important. I need to get the CC off on him. Like, I wonder if Ishigo is going to go for a BKB of his own. And uh, maybe. But maybe. Because having, having, having like, that dismember, that disable through the BKB is going to be really important. Like, I mean, you've seen Beta. He's just thrown out a mana void to cancel, cancel that dismember. And like, they've got the long range. Ice Path and Welp, like the Flame Break from Thunder, we can just throw that out. He gets Blink, Last Zoodle, they're going to try and break it down as quickly as possible, caught in the Ice Path, and now he's dead! He's got buyback, so does uh, the Spectre, he can buy back on the morning if he really wants to. The same with uh, Profit, really. But it looks like CX is going to be uh, forced back for now. Yeah, they see the OD on the mid lane, so they don't have the confidence to push it out a bit, but they get a kill on Mewtwo for two, he's not being forced to buy back though, which means he is going to have a BKB up pretty soon. Anti-Mage, 3.8k, 4k now. Basher, I would assume, possibly the Butterfly. Yeah, well. I wonder if he's going to opt for the Basher or go for the MKB. I think he'd prefer to go for the Basher, but depends how much he feels this Radiant Blitz trap is going to affect his game. Which yeah, is now, now online. So Spectre's still got, like, he's got such a high ceiling. Um, she can. She's still like, well, probably like three major items at the moment. Yeah. Um, still got another three slots to go. Whereas anti major starting to get uh, maxed out. Yeah. Obviously, there's still like the moon shard, the boots of travel yeah. to be picked yeah. up. So he's got another. He's got another couple item slots, but it's gonna start wearing out. Yeah. And Ryan actually goes. Rashan Ryan goes for the mantle, not for the hex of that ultimate orb. Like he wants to be able to get rid of that silence without fo being forced to use his BKB. Yeah, I mean, so, it's, it's like we've, we've seen a period of time when OD like first came into the meta where people went like SLYs yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I mean, attack speed's really the name of the game now, and the move speed's also really nice. It helps you like stop get kited, it helps you keep up with a Spectre. And the ultimate orb component tanks you up a little bit. Yeah, good nice Gives you some in intelligence yeah. as well. But the smoke now from Xenix, yeah. looking to maybe look for two finishes as well. And a Shiva's just completed on rolling forward, but looks like CX are uh, fairly aware of that. They didn't have any vision in the area, but I guess they just assume some lanes aren't being pushed out, and you're a bit like, I wonder why. Yeah. It's normally because the enemy is smoked up. And look at CX's position here. They're, oh. they're playing really close to each other. A Spectre buys a BKB as well. I really like I really like this choice as well. Like we, We've talked about it enough. The OD, yeah. all the disables, and even the mana boys. Like, it means now he can he can BKB while the ODs BKB and just mana up on the OD. So that's three BKBs on Xenex. Yeah. Maybe it's time for them to start looking for fights. They've got long durations. Um, a lot of time, oh, the OD won't be very useful during that. The Batrider can lasso through right, so he goes the magic for the, community. Does go for the butterfly on Visa. I feel like with the heart, the butterfly is it's a lot of like EHP he's got now. Also, like something I can be about the ghosts. They can, they can be dodged by can the butterfly. Oh, nice. Oh, well. I'm, 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 I'm pretty certain. Well, they are physical change. damage, yeah. so I don't see why not. But just forced to stop the only solutions. Already lost half his mana here. Is... Pushing up on the mine round. 
So kind of a little bit of a lull. Team's not wanting to fight too much. But CX are grouping up in this middle lane. The last out tower there. Once again, Zuru gets grabbed. There is Invis. What's a water now? Rhyme gets the mantle off. Slightly no silence for now. And now the Hawk comes in. They've already lost Super though, but everyone CX starting to take a lot of damage. The BKB now used on BP. He's chasing after the support heroes and defensive Astral on his ally. But we are going to see the first. Which is set, so the second casualty now. The third of that Jakiro. They might try and chase after Rhyme if they could find him, but he's got a blink in three seconds. Well, four seconds, three seconds, two. Yeah, he's fine. But once again, they Xenix using those BKBs and they get a good fight, but they don't find the two important targets. They don't find targets. the two cores, yeah. So that is something that CX can take from this, and X is gonna come come down fairly shortly. In fact, ending now. Yeah, Beast is gonna help middle lane once in a TP base. They wanna at least force some buyback, because however strong these two heroes on CX's side are, and they're not super strong as Beast. Yeah, he's, just, he's fine, he's fine. So it's not Rhyme doesn't have a BKB here yet. Yeah, does have a man's side of Coming out, a uh, Visa. He just runs on void. He wants to try and catch up. B242 with the BKB comes out. He's gonna have to TP himself out of there. In fact, just too much damage now. The aggressive yours is what's the one he forced to use that BKB chance once again to try and get away. This is not looking so good for Zenix now. They've already lost two heroes. They gotta get themselves the hell out of there. It's Kundal. He's got the lasso. He's got the blink coming off cooldown. Obviously, he'd like to get Death Prophet. Looks like uh, he didn't have vision of them. Or was he looking for me? No, he, he didn't have vision of Death Prophet, I don't think, but. Two buybacks forced out by CEX, like really smart as well. Because like they start the fight and then their heroes buy back. So there's no chance for Xenix to back off and his buyback to be wasted. And they find two kills. And they're gonna find this mid tier two as well. And also it's it's not even like yes, they're important buybacks, but it's not like they're it's a buyback on Beast Roll, right? It's not the two important buybacks. Still not. Hudge is gonna be forced back. Mute Hudge is forced a buyback. I, I think this means that Mute is able to save his buyback. Like the threat of a hook. Killing, killing like either Kundral or, or Welp is, is too high. And CX is going to back off. Roshan is alive. He is indeed. He is being picked out by me 242 though. They're going to go in and try and take this thing. Even commit the Serpent once. They, I mean, why not? Really quickly. And Prophet, if they wanted to contest, would be forced to buy back. Yeah. They're not going to bother. I, I don't know. I guess they're a little bit scared. Like, they could even try and take the fight. The Horn in. Is he going to steal it? Steals with Aegis. Even though he doesn't even steal it because he takes Roshan. They get the gold for that. Yes, the Aegis will now be used, but this is denying him CX. This is a good fight. Prophet's going to respawn in one second. He's going to be able to join his newly respawn beef as well. Rhyme tries to save himself and he will for now, but the Raiders will probably end up taking him down. Beast on lockdown for now. He used those at the mana void. The hammer being dropped as uh, Rhyme does go down. That's the two cores that Xenex were looking to kill off for now. And Meep makes the biggest play of the series so far, choosing to haunt in like. Their lives are on the line. If he if he messes it up, like he's dead, he's forced to buy back. It, it could be their tournament lives, but they they go for the risky play and it pays off dividends. This time they get the two cores in Beta and Rhyme, and yeah, I mean just the guts to to make that play is is, is what we expect from me to be honest. He's never one to back down. Nice, and the fact they even get Roshan as well. And then they're gonna force a buyback here as well. Yeah, nice. Beta buyback forced. Do they get back now? I, I guess they get back. Yeah, it's four versus three, so. Buyback. Gonna delay Beast's next item, and if there is another team fight, if he does go down, mm. that's one of CX's cores that can't come back into the fight. So CX has to play like a bit more cautious now. I feel or Beast has to play like a bit more cautious, just because of the, the, the threat of this. I mean, Zenex have really good tower pressure heroes as well. If he's got no buyback and he's dead for like, he'll be dead for like 120 seconds nearly. Like he's closing on closing on level 25. So the exorcism and obviously the nature's promise potential is really high. How are actually gonna, gonna kind of look for Beast in his bottom lane, but Wolf is sat behind him. Something else. I think they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Yeah, and Beast is gonna TP away to the to the top lane. Get the farm there. So Earth Spirit, or what did he recently? It looks like he just bought Arcane Boots recently. Yeah, he might be going for his Guardian Greaves, maybe just a Mech. Yeah, probably the Greaves. I mean, the Arcane Boots are really good to have against. Uh, uh, anti mage yeah. anyway. Like he jumps on you, but drains all his mana, but then you just pop that and roll away. But it does mean you have a slightly larger mana pool if he mana voids you, so it's it's like swinging around about but obviously he wants to have that mana to cast his spells, so it's important. I feel like Sudan needs kind of a defense side. I mean, like we are committing the lasso on him a lot. I'd so, like to see something like a Lotus mm. or if he can afford it, a Lincoln's. Yeah. I think the Lincoln's is, is like a bit too far out of his price yeah. range, but even something like a glimmer cape is gonna help a lot and Meeb's <laughs> going for the basher. Like, so he knows his BKB is up on Rhyme. That's that's the hero he can kill. He can't really do much about Bisa, but the Basher gives him a 
maybe he gets a lucky back on Beats of Beats of Quay and makes a difference. Like this is like the only item he can go up against the anti mage. But there's the mischance. There is the mischance, yes. I mean he's gonna he's gonna try and finish off the abyssal blade on me, but then then you've got the Spectre Horn insta into the instant abyssal blade. Yeah, and then Pudge can get the hook, yeah. get the uh, dismember. Yeah, but nature's profit TP yeah. again. Yeah, I like it, I like it. But it looks like Radiant pushing out up on this top blade at the moment. Yeah, so next are gonna be smoked up. Mute is, Mute is gonna head to the bottom lane now. I think he realizes that most of CEX are here at top. Like he, he doesn't want to show on bottom in case he gets ganked by Kundral, but he's definitely gonna throw some summons out. I hear a, was that, no, that wasn't a lasso. I thought I heard a lasso. There's a hook missing. But, oh, the point is gonna be used, but ineffective because they needed the hook. In fact, they're gonna join in the end anyway. Brian in a lot of trouble. He gets locked down and he's going dead. Well, going dead, that doesn't make any sense. He's going down, he is dead. He does have buyback, yeah. however. And again, Xenix realized, like, CX is for them. They've got Hundred on the bottom lane, they've got Beaster and Cook at top, and Rival World with mid. And they play the numbers game. Like, instantly, the Nature's Prophet TP's in, the Spectre's there, they've already got actually going to Vicinity, and they've for they forced the OD buyback as well. They want to get back to top quickly, because yeah. they're about to lose their T3. It should go, nah. It's too painful. They even got the Summers just to secure the T3 tower, but meanwhile, they catch out the Rhyme. Uh, not Beast, not Rhyme, Beast. He's going to get Glimmer caped out by his ally for now. They're rolling forward. They need to try and catch him. He's still got the Magnum size on. Oh, just wears out. Orchid it up. He doesn't have the Manta coming off full down in nine more seconds. The kick comes through. They need the silence. Where is it? What's also goes for the silence. In fact, onto the Shallow Shaman. Maybe not the ideal target to fight. That's some EKB coming out from Rhyme as he joins the fight after the buyback. Remember, if he goes down, this is huge. They're chasing after him. That BKB already wearing off. It must be a five second BKB. He's silenced up. They're trying to kill him off. He's got a little bit of life. He's dead. No buyback. He's up in 10, 110 seconds even. And now they continue. The chase. Control trying to firefly his way out of here. And what's some water? He's actually in the flames at the moment, but he can just heal up pretty, pretty, uh, pretty well there. And that's going to be BKB, but the physical damage going through the BKB of that Bat Rider. As Bisa, he's going to try and initiate here. He's got the Mammoth Boy committed. It's huge. He gets to kill the Ice Ball. This Ice Path even is not going to be too effective here. It's definitely healing up. All oh, the spirits can come in at the perfect time. So he's now back on full health. The Silence still on Bisa. He doesn't have the Mantra anymore. He doesn't have BKB in his inventory as he's just going to get chased after now. He's taking out for the front at the moment. Gets the... Oh, he's going to be on the TP out of there. They have the vision, but no stun. Oh, what a chase. What a fight for Xenix. Come out on top. The score is now 43 to 33. And Rhyme's still dead for 60 seconds. They don't have the exorcism. Mew242 does buy back. Like, he tries to buy back, make the big play and get the Orchid on Visa, but it doesn't quite work out. And having that buyback on the coordinate is a big deal. Kundral and Welp's buybacks are actually going to come up now, but Beast is still a cooldown for two minutes. So Xenix could make the all-in play. Just know they have the numbers advantage with the buybacks and just try and win the game off that. It's risky. I don't feel like yeah. they have to do it because they are ahead at the moment, but it's an option that they can take. Yeah, I feel like just keep calm, keep doing what we're doing. Like, they're trying to force out this Manta from Beezer by throwing the Orchid on him. Like, because they know it gives them, gives them a window where it's on cooldown. There's the silence, looking for the Manta. He's still silenced up. He gets silenced up once again. Silent, uh, stunned up as well. The BKB from U2.2 is going to wear on Polly totally Shotley. He uses that ultimate. They're not going to be able to find the kill. There's Shadow Shot on buybacks, but now some But that's the melee barracks dead. And wants some water. Got that ultimate. And once again, they're going to try and look for the range. They get that and move straight into the mid lane. OD up in two more seconds along with the Jakiro. Do they continue fight? Do they get back? The BKB from me. He's just going to chase after the Bat Rider for now. But here comes Rhyme. He TPs in. And that BKB put the hook. Oh, wasn't Rhyme, but well, guess what? Big man avoid. Death Prophet's still alive. He doesn't kill anyone in the end. In fact, Punch does go down to the Anti Mage after that. Death Prophet's still running away, healing up with that Octarine Call. The Ghost doing some good work. And Anti Mage goes to the right, but what's a water? Ghost to the left. Running down the mid lane. They can still look to chase in the, be the Blinks. Both Bisa and Rhyme looking for this kill, but the Ghost are going to come in. She's going to get fully healed up, and now the Silence as well. Well, not quite fully healed up. The Asshole in a locker in place does get their Shivas off. Okay. I don't think she's getting out of this one, but she is creating a lot of time and a lot of space for her team. And she does still have buyback. And if we look at the CEX base right now, like, their Midrax is getting pummeled, their tier fours are getting pummeled. They have to go back. Like, they get this death profit kill, but they're going to get nothing from it. They're not even going to force that buyback. Still but on top. In, in good news for them, Beast's buyback is going to be up in 30 seconds. What a back and forth fight at the moment. Uh, back and forth game, even, but it is just slowly. Still yeah, still going to be the net worth lead for Xenex at about 14k now and closing on a 20k experience lead. Yeah, it's just, I guess, 
I'm not sure how impactful this Jakiro pick has been. I mean, it's been good with the ice path, the setup with the. I think up against like. Up wow, against Ubi's. Okay. Look at this. 5k gold. 5k gold. I think he's he's got to just fly out a hex. I'm, I think Welp's just gonna. He's gonna fall by a hex from nowhere. That could be huge, actually. Yeah. Really, really big. But because Zenix don't know it's coming. That's the advantage of falling all this gold. Yeah, they're like, ah, look at this, Takiro, he's got nothing. Yeah. He's so and then poor. suddenly, he's got a hex out of nowhere. Or yeah. pseudo Invis rune. Oh, oh. <laughs> the blink just in time. Yes, they're going to force stuff away. Rive is going to turn in. I'm just using the ultimate, but the hex is going to come through. But this is almost a bait as it comes to me. He's going to focus on Rhyme. Rhyme gets the glimmer kicked off now. They have no vision. He's still got that BKB. He's going to go down now, and I think they're going to be able to find this kill. Sewell is still alive. Met Met comes through using that magnetized to try and finish off Hundro. And still, Ichigo is alive. He's just going to turn on the rock. Gets the kill and still survives. 150 Meanwhile, HP. Uh, Bisa in top lane. He's going to start hitting Arax. He's going to give a range Rax. They need to defend if they can survive. Oh, he's his melee barracks alive. But fortification not quite off cooldown yet. So Bisa does get some, uh, I guess, a uh, I think consolation actually, prize. CX are okay with that trade. It depends. Mute 242 is pushing bottom. Does Watson's water, like, he keep you back to base. Spectre has the BTs. Now, if they can group up while Rhyme's dead and his buyback's still on cooldown for two minutes and they take this bottom rack, then that's a good trade. Yeah, they actually are going to try to look for Beast, it looks like, though. Well, Beast is looking for them in middle lane. Yeah, it should go in some trouble, but he's going to be backed up by his allies. Beast has got to be careful. Double Orchid up, well, double silence up at the moment. Still silence up, but he's going to get used up into the air. They need more to try and catch him out, but there's the silence coming in from Watson on Water. They got the lockdown that they need and a well worthy trade. There is buyback on Beast, but. Yeah. They, they stack them silences. He instantly buys back. He instantly yeah. buys back. They, he back those, they stack, stack yeah. those silences so well. Yeah, and Welp, Welp does bust out with full hex. Okay, but Watson's Water has exorcism up, and there's 20 seconds. There is, there is a glyph, though, so they're going to have we're gonna have four members of Team CEX up. Come on, just make sure. Okay, well, it's just going to be around 20 seconds to the horn. They can't fight. Watson Water might go down here at the moment. He does have that BKB online if he wants to use it. He is just going to turn and fight Kundal. He's dead. Meanwhile, Cook, he jumped in, but alas, he's probably going to pay with his life there. Meanwhile, the yeah, okay, Mew 2 is dead. That's a big kill. He's got no buyback. He's dead for 100. Is he no buyback? Oh, he has no buyback. He has no buyback for two minutes. Down. Two more minutes. CEX hold. They do hold. But it costs another buyback on Visa. And now they're, they're going to try to force out, like, maybe they know this buyback's not called out for Mew 2 2. And he's a key member of a team. Like, he's dead for 100 seconds. Actually, we're going to go towards Roshan. Yeah, I think this is... This is they, that's an no advantage that the cool down they and, need. Yeah, they need the Aegis on Visa. But Spectre Horn is up! We'll have to wait and yeah. see. Can he do it again? Oh my goodness, if he does it again, this will be ridiculous. They have? They know. They know. Is he? Is he? He's got no space. He's dropping the drums. Dropping he's going to go for this. The Horn comes in. Oh, it's a little bit too early. He really... He just had to guess. But they are going to stop it. He's going to Missile Blade on Rhyme. Rhyme? The Manta Style is not sure which is the wrong one, and now the Abyssal Blade was used onto Meep. But well, the Manta Style is down for Visa. Silence comes out the hook! Perfectly lands, and now Ichigo lock and lock and down. And picks right up the Aegis again. Oh, 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 and he takes it as well, so that's going to be Aegis and a Roshan kill going his way. Beast is still alive for now, but he's silenced the kick. Coming Beast is dead with no buyback for five minutes. Again, Meep makes the play in the Roshan oh. pit. And these, like, these two plays have completely changed the game for Team Xenex. Like, those two individual plays themselves have, have just just won them this game. Yeah, and... Uh, barring oh, a, barring a miracle defense from CEX. Bottom lane, is going to... Oh, was, was he getting... No, it was, uh, was Condrell, even. Yeah, it's the Spectre BOTs in the bottom lane, but... Senex looks like they're going to retreat for now. Now, here comes Watson's Water with the Exorcism. Water, yeah. Mewtwo for two's up in 15 seconds. Sudo's actually buying the BTs, and Ishigo's goes buying the BTs. They're going all in on this push. 80 seconds without Bisa. Here comes this should Sudo be and a, Ishigo. This should be a one fight, but they are fighting up high ground. They are fighting against... Who has to pop the wards defensively, but they're going to get cleaned up. Yes, he's doing everything he can. Stun silence onto Rhyme. He's going to be forced to use that BKB. They're forced to take a fight. They don't really want to. And there's the Abyssal Blade locking him down. Lots of physical damage. Those ghosts, they're swarming onto him. And the sort of semi four stuff with the... Uh, the Astral is going to mean he ends up in a very strange place. But, but he does blink away. 
Oh, he does get, oh, he gets away. I was like, he's dead. No, he gets away. But they do lose a basic good hook once again from Ichigo. Locking down Kundra. Kundra's like, what do I do here? I've got the lasso, but I've got Blink in one more second. But that's the second set of ranks going to go for Matt. Vortex, that's Megas. And now Ryan, he is going to die this time. It looks like Glimmer caked up for now. There's the Orchid. There he's dead. GG's going to be GG's called for and Zenex take game two. Insane I mean, series. Meep. <laughs> like, what, can, what can we say? Twice look he takes at, the at ages. The, look at the man right now. <laughs> I mean, those, like those two plays, if they don't happen, Xenix, Xenix maybe lose the game, but he, get, he gets the kill. He gets a kill and the Aegis twice, and they're able to turn it around. That was fantastic. Like, and, and again, we see Xenix, like, if they don't change up too much, they're confident enough in their ability that they can take the game, like, even up against the Beta Anti Mage as well. Yeah. They did such a good job of dealing with him, and not to mention also. Even remember Ryan, what was he got four kills? Yeah. Three, again, three Ryan, minutes? Again, right, Ryan, Ryan was sort of fed in the early game, but Xenex makes some good rotations, they shut him down, like you saw again, like Ryan was really fed, but they addressed the bean. Addressed the bean. So we are here and it's currently two one two at CEX. Obviously they came up with a winner bracket advantage from going through the upper brackets and obviously coming to here to face Xenex yet again for the the, the classic UK Dota LAN finals. El Clasico. It's, they haven't disappointed, have they? No, yeah, it's, so far it's been pretty good. We did see the Pudge pulled out last game. That was very exciting. The Ichigo Pudge did a lot of work, and it was pretty damn big. I, I really did appreciate, as well, Meep, that game. Obviously, I was uh, observing oh, yeah. for that last game, if you're wondering where I was. Obviously, I'm not Faudal, so uh, <laughs> uh, obviously, I'm Russ, and with me is Umbrella, and we are going to be casting this game when they get through uh, the draft. So looking at Xanax going into this next game, obviously, the pressure's still on, because if they lose this, that's it. It's all over. Yeah. CX will be taking the finals, but they could take it. They could get it to 2-2. And then we'll have a, a proper grand finals. A proper grand finals. And, and that's... Um, Something I think they, they should be feeling very confident. They managed to deal with mm. the OD, which has been very powerful. They got themselves yeah. a Spectre and did very well with that. Mm. And they managed to deal with Anti-Mage, which has sometimes been very, very hard to deal with. Not just an Anti-Mage, a Beast of Anti-Mage, which did a, a very well on the farm. But I've got to say, they... Okay, I thought there were some moments when it could have gone either way. There was... I, I, actually, I'm not going to lie. Oh, in the draft alone, I favoured CEX. I was thinking that they're the ones who's going to win it, and it's going to actually pay off. But looking at uh, how it works on, the actual gameplay itself, Meep with the Roche Pits, those were the deciding factors. Stealing the so Aegis, good, going yeah. through with it, and actually making so many plays. And I've just got to give credit to Meep yet again. So uh, apart from that, any other standout players? I, I think they all play pretty, pretty yeah. cool. I, like I said, I wasn't convinced on the Jakiro pick. Mm. I, it was interesting, and it, it kind of synergized, I guess, with their lineup fairly well. But See, they've used this pick before, though, with uh, coming up with the Undying in the off lane. Then they have this kind of, it's cheesy, like uh, the one carry just gets a lot of harass. And I mean, what could you do when that happens? It's just a case of that carry losing their regen, getting slowly whittled down, and they will get killed. Um, and if there, any sort of like heroes you'd like to see in this okay, so game? Okay, so Invoker has been banned out a lot. Obviously, the uh, Rhyme Invoker is something that, well, I mean, obviously, they've got lots of players that could play Invoker, but yeah. is one is very, uh, very comfortable on. Yeah. So, but I'm, it's whether it gets through the pick and bans yet again. So I don't think there's any chance it's going to get through true. for either side, to be perfectly well, we, honest. We fought this with uh, the Spectre as well, but it gets to a stage where, obviously, like round third pick, for example, the Spectre, if it's open, you can go for it because, yeah. as, I, I mean, at the end of the day, you talk about the heroes which you have to ban, you talk about heroes that you want to be picking, you have to let something through. So it's the lesser of two evils, making it agree, work, and then, yeah, getting through that. But how these teams have been playing, obviously they've uh, played each other, not just obviously <laughs> at this land, they've played each other many, many times, so they know. And there's a lot of things about, uh, for example, ward placement as well. You know, you study the same team's moves, you know what, what they like to play, you know what they're comfortable with. And looking at the, uh, this game going into it, we're going to want to see Xanax pull something big now. Yeah, I believe in them. I, I do believe that they could do it. We're obviously not sure about the full series. I'm hoping for <laughs> this could be, obviously, I'm just going off statistics. CEX are normally the ones who come out on top. They're normally the yeah. ones who come up with the land win. But let's look into this draft now. So we are going to see some very, very standard bands here. So it's going to be uh, CEX with the B 
Beastmaster yeah. ban and Xenix with the Doom. So Xenix ban out Doom because let's face it, they uh, CX have been running a lot, a lot of well positioned for Doom. And I'll tell you what, he loves that purge creep. I, I was talking to him about it. And I was saying that's totally the right move. Keep the purge creep all game. They had a Sven purge of Warcry, yeah. CLA into the armor. What else do you need to do with a Sven? You got to trust kite him. You ban that out. Uh, uh, well, you, you just keep him slowed. <coughs> so looking at Spectre being the second ban out, we don't want to see that again. Hey. No Spectre. It seems, so Team Senex have first pick here, hence why I think mm. they felt that they could not ban, they not ban Invoke. Hope maybe to pick it up, but alas, it is, it is denied from them. But I'm, I'm interested to see. I think a lot of teams' drafts have evolved around the Spectre, mm. and now it's not there. They could maybe look for. There's still something that's been very popular this tournament has been the global draft, the global stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Zeus, for profit, example, is free. Yeah. Zeus. So I would not be surprised to see either of, like probably those two here is picked up. We first game and second game we saw Zeus banned out. Mm -hmm. It's available to them now, but without the Spectre. Ah, spirit. There we go. Yeah. So that is obviously your hero for Sudo. And I mean, he could do everything. We talk about this every time. Uh, good all-round hero and obviously very good spells. Depending on how you play, you can have some mistakes and obviously you can catch him. You can block the role, try and play around him like that. But I think this is still the right shout. This could open up the Zeus Nature's Profit pick for CEX. If they wanted to go, yeah, that's committing with your draft, though, isn't it? So, yeah, but I, I think that we've seen time and time before they've people have committed with these sort of things, and True. it's worked and out so well. Like, how do you counter it? It's very tricky, but I'm I'm sure Team Xenix are aware of that with picking the Earth Spirit first. Mm. Like with that. with uh, uh, the Nature's Prophet before, he was killed a few times. So it was a case of uh, in uh, obviously not this series uh, against when it was Rise versus um, uh, uh, Team Zedex. They had the Nature's Prophet, and obviously they dealt with it with a Spectre and Co. So obviously with that being bad out, but they go for the OD, which is obviously we saw it last game. It didn't lead to the uh, victory. However, it did a lot of work. I don't yeah. think that was the issue. No, no, I agree. Yeah. I agree. And obviously, he is one of the strongest heroes at the moment. So why not go for it? And they will take oh. the death prophet. And denying him from Team Xenix, who have played it both games, giving it to Watson's I, Water. I thought Xenix would pick up the death prophet. And it's very surprising to see OD. Well, it's not very surprising. It's a little surprising to see the OD and death prophet picked mm. up straight away. But OD can head over to that safe lane, get some safe farm that way. And then you've still got that strong death prophet in the mid lane. A little bit of synergy as well. You've thrown out Crimson constant. Like, I mean, obviously, death prophet's not going to be that star for mana. But it's, it's you know, true. Just, yeah, it's, true. it's just an added nice bonus. But with OD, I think it's just, yeah, ridiculously strong. So we're probably going to be seeing the uh, OD on the safe and obviously Death Prophet there, middle. But looking at the next pick up from Team Xenix. Okay, so uh, support-wise, you've got still so much. Actually, no, look, uh, so talking about their uh, uh, other heroes they like to do, if they wanted to have the position for Earth Spirit, they could have taken a face of void, but actually oh, they will go with the Nyx. Yes. So if you see an OD, you think Nyx, obviously getting that mana burn, doing so much damage, and two intelligent heroes as well. So you're getting more value for your money. I've been waiting all tournament for this hero to be picked up against heroes like the OD and Death Prophet, the Invoker, etc., etc. And it finally comes out. My dream has come true. Well, another uh, added bonus to the next Assassin with the Death Prophet. Obviously, you have Exorcism out. Uh, the Spike Carapace on the... Uh, we're, we're not Exorcism. It's just like a guaranteed stun <laughs> if... Uh, yeah, easy. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, Team ZX would love to pick up the Zeus now because that combo so well with the next Assassin. But mm. straight away... CX are going to deny that from them. Another thing I want to point out is the Death Prophet. I think one of the best ways, and maybe one of the only ways, to counter the Earth Spirit is silences. Because he's not going to be farmed enough to get a BKB, a Mantle. Yep. The Yules, maybe like that. he might be able to get, but that's still, you're looking yeah. past the 20 minute mark. So yeah, shots down as a photon is early, and that's a lot of what Earth Spirit can provide for you. So they will ban out the Bounty Hunter. We did see uh, the Welt Bounty Hunter. Uh, what, uh, game one. Yeah, game one. That's it. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and they will ban out the Sven. So, again, oh. Sven and Spectre, two of the favorite uh, cause of the, uh, this whole game. But they're the Death Prophet Oracle. This is uh, obviously the duo which we've been seeing. Death Prophet doesn't need to all attack. You can just constantly put the uh, heals onto Death Prophet. Top her up. They've covered that up with the double heal effect from the ultimate, as well as obviously just guaranteeing that you'll have that duration alive with the Death Prophet's yep. exorcism up. That can do so much. But looking at uh, the Oracle, you think another hero for Nyx, potentially free food. Yeah, def definitely, definitely. Um, uh, Oracle, it's going to be a tricky game for Oracle. I think it's a good pick because mm. uh, it, uh, it's probably the only time you really want to pick it is when, with a Death Prophet or maybe another hero that has a lot of healing, like yeah. uh, something like a Necrophos. That could work well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see your point. 
But um, the next band's out from Team Xanax was a Tide Hunter. We did see the Country Tide do quite a bit of work. But looking at other potential things they could take, uh, Faces Void still in, if they wanted to uh, obviously avoid yeah. off laner. Um, looking at, I mean, that, see, the things when I say, the uh, reason why I say things like this, it's like the other yeah, Chronosphere, they go out, catch a couple of heroes in the Chronosphere. That means that the OD can actually just stand back, get those hits off, build up the intelligence, then drop the Silence Eclipse. Because sometimes you're forced to throw the Silence Eclipse earlier. You don't want to do it. You want to yeah, try and get those hits out, but it's just a case of, okay, well, I'm going to die if I hold any longer. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's just making those choices. So Xenex taking a time thinking about this third pickup now. I think this is definitely going to be a Nyx Assassin as the offlane uh, mm -hmm. uh, roaming Earth Spirit. So they're still looking for their position one and two plus probably a position wind five. Ranger and there's, there's your Wind Ranger. Oh. I'm not sure about Jesus this. I feel like wind Add Ranger straight into so the strong. Void. So yeah, yeah that is uh, going to be what they go for there. I mean, like we, we talk about how much the Void can uh, do. Um, something I didn't really mention, time dilation, Earth Spirit. He's a hero with obviously, you know, you want to try and get his cooldowns going and constantly getting spells off in the fight. If his cooldowns are locked, that's yeah. completely out the window. It's basically like a pseudo, pseudo silence, really. Yeah, exactly. And it's a long duration one of that, as well as slowing your movement speed. So that's yeah. pretty nice. So, um, yeah, Wind Ranger, I'm 50-50. I'm it could work out well. It's a lot of land in the shackles, though. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong badly. And obviously, Wind Rangers for Silencer. the single target damage. Okay, Silencer. Oh. All right. Nice. What, what do you think of that one, man? And wow. how would you want to see it round as well? I'm actually an advocate of the carry Silencer. I yeah. don't think it will be. I think it'll be a position five. But actually, I'm. that's where you normally see it. Like, occasionally carry, but you normally see it. However, they could, like, run in mid or something. With this Silencer. Okay, o OD is going to buy BKB anyway. Death Prophet, uh, obviously Yules, etc. But Faceless Void, he's obviously going to be probably going uh, the Treads, Vlads, then pick up the BKB after. Obviously, you want to try and get Blink Dagger as well, ideally. I think he'll go Diffusal Blade this game. Yeah, Diffusal, obviously, yeah, you can yeah, get the Purge as well there. Um, but if he dies a couple of times, Faceless Void's uh, mana pool is pretty limited. <laughs> a few deaths, you start looking into, okay, well, I need to get an item to deal with the fact that I can't do my Chrono. Obviously, this is assuming that Scienter is there for the kills. And let's face it, it may not go that way. Looking at the draft, I do favor CEXs quite a lot. Yeah. I, I think, think the thing is, so they got this silencer, so not only can it be used defensively, but defensively, Face of Void jumps in, you use your R, your global silence, and then he's like, ah, oh, crap, I can't get my ultimate off, he's in a dodgy position. Yeah. But also, you can use it aggressively. Wind Ranger likes to get picked off, Nyx Assassin likes to get picks off. But if they, you know, what you do is you just combo it up with the ultimate, so no one can just sa save them. There's no OD Astral, there's no. Nothing like that, no defensive chronosphere. I think with the uh, lineups as well, Team Xanax is, it's, it's still potentially a good lineup, but theirs is a lot harder to execute than CEX's, and that's, that's pretty important in games like this. I would 100% agree with that. Um, these teams are skilled enough, they've got enough communication to be able to pull off these harder. Hmm. But it's it's kind of like when things start to go a little bit wrong. That's where these slightly more complicated drafts, not with like a sort of super clear, clear game plan, that's when they start to get a little bit trickier. Lich. And oh lich. My that's goodness. the Lich Void. That's the Lich Void. You make it really hard to kill him. Obviously, the uh, Ice Armor against the wi uh, Wind Rangers Focus Fire and stuff like that, that's pretty nice as well. I couple that up with the Ultimate in the Chronosphere. You get those bouncing around. I mean, you only need two targets, and then that's two kills because obviously the Lich Hole. And yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, it's a good, well rounded draft now. This is a. F I love this draft from CX. One so. thing, though, disables, lacking. You think, okay, you've got Void Bash and Chrono, and obviously imprisonment to cancel TPs and stuff like that, but you've got nothing really for the guaranteed stuns. Whereas, ca counter that with Earth Spirits with all his uh, uh, disables, it's Nyx Assassin with a stun, Wind Ranger with the shackle. There's Silencer with silence. Well, <laughs> silence, yeah, yeah, that's true. So, I mean, yeah, it, uh, it's going to be interesting. So looking at this next pick, okay. So they've already uh, seen the Animage obviously banned out. Now uh, looking at OD, like picking into it, okay, you might be saying there's three in heroes, but then you're going in and then suddenly you really need your Manta by this point because obviously you're the death prop for the silence, etc. So of, mm, they do ban the Animage, but I'm not sure they would have gone for it anyway. What would you like to see out here? Look, let's see what we've got Hello. left in. This is really tricky. It's hard to say at this point. Oh, okay. I wouldn't have expected that, but they are going in. Could be a lot of push. He's a good necro carrier, which I think is probably why they're making the So we are going to have Bisa.
playing the Outward Devourer, and we will have the um, Death Prophet played by Rhyme in the middle. And it's going to be a case of this game, very important game, obviously. If CEX win, that's it. They're going to be taking the series. And uh, Xanax, they have had multiple second place finishes, but we are going to be going through this game now and seeing what happens here. So uh, let's just uh, move through the uh, starting team. So Control obviously playing the Void here. We are going to be looking around. And can we get those uh, last hits up, please, Faldo? Oh, yeah, also, <laughs> shout out to Faldo, our brilliant uh, obs for this game. Obviously, I did do the last one, so we are been alternating them. And we are going to have a Rhyme on the death from <laughs> And Rhyme has immediately called out the cameraman, so you know who to who and not watch. And uh, he has now called out his land percent win rate. Anyway. Moving past this, because he does like to go on about that, and we've got to move past it at this point. It's almost sad him saying it so much. So we will look at the, uh, we will look at obviously them standing around for this uh, top rune. And I gotta say, whose lineup do you prefer? I think I was saying that I prefer CX. Do you agree with me there? Hundred percent. It's just so easy to execute. Their team fight is insane. They can push down towers. They even kind of counter Xenex's lineup with mm. the armor from. The Lich is brilliant against a lot of the physical damage coming in from Xenex's side. The pure, uh, the False Promise is really good against Shackles. Conjure again, all the time by Pseudo. So yeah, again. CEX are my, uh, I think my favorites in terms of the draft. But Xenex, they have this silence that I think they need to play around it. They need to get ganks with the Nyx and the Wind Ranger. Mm. And if they can do that, they can put themselves in a good position in this game. So, okay, I... I I kind of hope Xenex or Nyx Assassin, he's going to be taking quite a bit of damage here. Let's see if there's going to be potential. First Blood Mewtwo for two will go down. First Blood to Whelp there, and that is CEX getting that advantage. Obviously, that is that Spirit Cypher, and Rhyme just taking that early. Just being able to get that slow out, really important. And it's, uh, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but still, it's Whelp getting the First Blood. A lot of gold going towards your sport. Yeah, so already a good start for CEX here, but look at Pseudo. Mm. He's got the roll. But you've got to remember, face this void. He's got that time, that time jump if he needs to. Okay, Kundral is going to take quite a lot of uh, damage. Obviously, you have these glaives to the harass. There's going to be pseudo rolling in. Kundral's still got that time to uh, walk away, and he's going to be fine. Obviously, he has Tango's two fairy fires. No real threat of uh, him dying there. But, right. In, if Xenex can do this, this is a different sort of lineup. There is that ward blocking out there. That very nice to see uh, Welp's placement. Obviously, he's oh. also got to try to still. Oh, not quite. So Mute is a going to be able to get it. But that would have been very nice. If obviously as well as getting first blood, him, he steal his creeps. That's just adding insult to injury. Yeah. So, again, this is just that the the what you expect. You have the iron talent on your off lane. You go into this camp. Obviously, ever since this edition. You, uh, it's all about trying to get maximize your farm, your safe farm as well, because you go out to the offlane, you're probably going to be getting killed. Wind Ranger takes quite a bit of damage, so let's just uh, check out what's going on middle in a second. And yeah, he's just uh, taking those crypt swans out from uh, Rhyme, and they're both building towards their boss. Sav now being forced out from the Wind Ranger. Yeah, I'm interested to see how this Lich uh, Faceless Void combo works out. How much farm Faceless Void is going to get? Are they actually going to go straight on to Cook if they can try and bring him down? The right click's coming in from Ichigo. It's a lot of damage. They know there's no point throwing it onto Kondal just because he's just going to you know, backtrack it all with the, uh, the two-second damage re recall, I guess. Cook will get the D ward out. Very important. Obviously, uh, getting the extra tango goodness from it as well. And um, next we'll just be grabbing the illusion room. Not really the room which allows allow him to do much more, but there are uh, we are going to see Ichigo just uh, be farming up this uh, cycle, which has been stacked and obviously just using it to eliminate their creeps now. Looking at last hits, Death Problem is currently leading the way with 14, and then you have uh, 13 on the uh, OD as well. So this is this is what you want to see if you see yet, right? Yeah, first blood, more last hits. Mm. Even got a couple of CS and some OK levels on the faces void. You're okay with this for sure. Um, whether, whether you're, I don't think Xenix should be too phased. I think OD, I mean Death Prophet is a, a great lane. I think Wind Ranger will pick up in a bit. Sure, we've out. Country's taking quite a bit of damage, but. They're just kind of staying their own way. And uh, Ichigo drops an XD because he's just like, you just got a shockwave, mate. It's a little bit of extra damage. Creeps on my side. Was that the first game where the, the, the neutral. Uh, the, yeah, came which in and led to a kill. No, well, the, the deny. Oh, sorry, you're talking about this. Yeah, it's the first game of the series. Yes, that was very big. Oh, that was the uh, game where everyone was going in to try and put this work to get first part, which wasn't happening. There was people being careful. And obviously, this hasn't so much happened this game because it's a very early first play. And we even see Lich go for the early point in the armor. Not taking the blast, yeah. 
meat. He's going to have to be back out. There's a nice little bash from Tundra. Just uh, slap him on the rear as he tries to run away. And Meep is going to just be farming. As you say, get that Necro 3 up. That's going to be uh, what makes all the difference. Yeah, this is... This, the lanes are going so well for CEX already. There's the Lycan sign for behind as well as that Wind Ranger. Okay, so... What do you do if you're Xanax and you start to lose on the farm wars? That's a shackle thrown out, unfortunately, for what's it will not latch onto anything. So just a bit of a waste of time. That's super being patient. See if this patience pay, uh, pays off. Obviously, again, this is what we were talking about when we see the uh, Asper just rotate, try and help out his uh, off lanes to see what, what, how much they could do. Kundra's just working here now. There's some uh, glaze being thrown out now. Yeah, I, th I think the thing you need to do, that ideally what you want to do is rotate the supports around, but what dual lanes do is they kind of lock in the lanes. Because mm. if one of the supports leaves, like on either side, leaves the carry, then they're kind of susceptible to getting killed. Yeah, but that point you've already well. stole some XP as well, so you've weakened your lane, which then left sort of thing. So, looking at... I'm scared that CEX are going to roll away, run away with this. When they hit the level 6 marks, what is the really the answer to like the void coming and getting the chrono? You put the exorcism going, and obviously, well, uh, Odie's good. Don't get me wrong, but obviously, you still need some items. You want to be looking at the uh, treads, drums, veil. It seems to be the, the standard which most people go for. Obviously, there's personal preference on what order you might be getting this stuff, and um, you'll be going for things like blink daggers and whatnot as well. I think, I think Xenix, they can't team fight. I mean, look at this, look at CX's lineup. You're not gonna go five v five at least for the next the next like half an hour. Right. I think their idea is just to split push, try and get some CS, Lycan can push, and if a fight does break out, back off with the ultimate. Maybe get some pick off. I mean, this global silence. Get some pick offs. Maybe Lycan is taking some damage down in this bottom lane, and it's gonna be a trade of one for one. But it's your support for the carry on the side of Xenix, and now Kondral running himself away. But the move speed slowed from the time dilation. Oh. Too strong. Nine HP. Ouch, that was out. very, very close. And it's uh, Lich for a Lycan. He had a Fairy Fire as well, true. So obviously, unless that last war attack was enough. So that's just patience from uh, Control B now to just know that he's not going to be, you know, go going to need to use the Fairy Fire. But kind of a little bit close there, I would say. Yeah, but yeah, he gets out and can't really. <laughs> yeah, can't fault him for that. No, definitely. Uh, Rhyme is going to be now using this exercise with the push. And obviously, he's going to be healing now up very soon. That's going to be a Shackle. The Siphon, he has to back oh, away from now. Sula's coming in as well. They stand that exit up. So again, another Soul Siphon there is just backing out. Fairy Fire used by Watson's Water. And the tower's pretty low, but that's now going to be Phase Boots delivered, as well as a double damage rune being picked up here. Yeah, you can finish off that tower in a bit. And, yeah, man, look at it. 43 CS versus the 24 of the Wind Ranger. Is They're really, a really domination. far ahead. And again, you, you look at both Siphon carries. Beta, 45, and then you've got the 27 on to... Uh, you put on the like, and so uh, I don't know. It's, it's tricky, it's tricky. Yeah, it's and like I said, Xenix, I think you just got to accept that this is going to happen, not fret over it too much. They'll get farm later on, and try and avoid the team fights, and maybe they can sort of set themselves up for a good league. Meep did some really cheeky plays last game, so <laughs> whether he can do these snatches and of, th th they really changed the pace of the game, so a lot of pressure on him to uh, perform just as good. Uh, this time. Looking at the next assassin up top, he's seeing quite a bit of damage, but obviously he's uh, he's okay with that sp spike carapace. Um, well, currently using through the last of his regen, now salvaging himself up. There's going to be uh, OD getting that drum out very, very soon. Let's just uh, take a quick look at what's going on in the middle to see how this exchanges. So Watson's War has currently just got a lane to himself. The down bot, we do see kind of have to jump away from the creeps, as obviously they Look at that stack. Number. Yeah. And a very poor lit geometry at the moment. He's just got a TP on him. Uh, Nearly he, got boots, though. He is allowing, though. Look, 13 CS now on Conroll. Mm. Not rivaling the Lycan, but... Pseudo. Oh, Off again. the mark. That's unfortunate. And um, it's a case of these rolls which don't actually achieve anything. Kundra goes forward, time dilation. It's going to be science up now. Uh, can they focus him up? Obviously, that's going to be a double science. And he obviously goes to jump, but the science has already kicked in. And the last word yeah. there being really good. And uh, he's on four intelligence. Only, only four eight minutes. But, you know, anything's good. Yeah, no, I, that was really well comboed up by Xenex. It's the only way they're going to be able to find that kill anyway, mm. if they s sort of set it up like that. 
uh, having the silences set up at the right time, the kick and then the pull. The Rhymes rock. waiting, mute 2 for 2 just like, oh Jesus, what's going on here? There's suddenly a ghost in the side and he will die. Unfortunately, Spike Carapus uh, will not uh, be enough to change the face of it there. The stun is so short as well. Yeah, level 1 we are looking at and they are going to be taking that tier 1 top. So using that axism, just pushing it, you just want to min-max uh, your usage from all this. And so far, Xenix is going to be struggling. Okay, it's only 2-3, but kills aren't really that important when you talk about momentum. You talk about how much last hits they got. 61 and 60, then the next one down is 40 and 38. So they're, it's, it's, it's a small lead at the moment, small lead, but it can become bigger very fast. I mean, if you think about it, Beza had free farm, right? And Rhyme has the same number of CS yeah. in a contested lane. Well, clearly he wasn't contested well enough, but mm. however you want to look at it, it's, it's pretty good. That's why one of, he's probably one of the leading mid laners in the UK. I'm curious to see what the science is going to buy, because we talked about uh, maybe the science is going a bit greedy. has got that 900 gold. Um, like, it would, in terms of items, well, he's scared wards at the moment, so it is going to be obviously, the, he is supporting, but he could be more greedy in trying to just uh, force out the uh, Asper to help out more. So Rhyme is going to just be taking the stack. Obviously, Cook's going to help out with the glass, but this is important. They've got drums on Rhyme. Again, just important that Iron's Wolves will be here just to scout out so they know what's going on. And he's going to be low amount, but he's just waiting for that 10 minute rune, which can top it out. So he's just being efficient and jungling whilst this is going on. Wolves just at them just to keep on watching as soon as pretty close. That's going to be the last word. Stun comes out and he rolls in, but the Chrono only catches on it. Jacob, that's still important enough. Rhyme, pretty low, but Kundral's still taking a fight over there. And they are going to just be running one way. Can they finish off Rhyme? They are going to be able to snare him up with well, but me, he's got to come here. If he wants this, he's going to be in siphoned up. Going for the cook instead. He's now backing out, realizing I'm taking a lot of damage. The Crypt Swarm is able to dodge, but now Kundral's there. Doesn't get the bash, so he's okay. The Time Walk is there, but unfortunately, Meep's still running. And once this happens, they will get a kill onto the Death Rod with Mute 2 2 able to come in and finish him off. Now, this is going to be a trouble as Kundral will try and go for Mute, but Mute has got Spike Carapace. So the Orb of Venom, unfortunately, not enough there to really keep on chasing. So it ends up being a, actually a good trade for Xenex there as this position 5 silencer for what is a very farmed death on the top of the network. Oh, no, she's dead. Yeah, that, I thought for a moment that she was just going to get away with it. Like, obviously, you have uh, Ryan just getting out that far, making the life dive in that deep, and it was almost a clean getaway, but unfortunately, Mute Doof will do on the next assassin, comes along and gets the kill. And there's still these stacks there as well. Yeah, they, they didn't actually get uh, fully taken. Obviously, they did take some of the smaller creeps, but it was a lot of time. You didn't have that much mana to clear them. Arcane's now up on the pseudo. That's always nice to have. But still, they're applying some pressure in this bottom lane. Four CX's heroes down here, and I'm with four of the Radiant heroes, so maybe we'll have another clash. But the thing is, Rhyme, as Rhyme moved to the bottom lane, uh, well, he was at the top lane, and then he went to the bottom lane. This allowed space for the Wind Ranger to actually get some semi decent farm up now. Watson with phase 1400. Could get that the point bank. booster and obviously builds what's that like Agfall could just save and get the Blink Dagger if they. Depends if you uh, prioritize getting that uh, Blink Shackle. And uh, I'm just going to have to back out. I also use that time walk. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed. The win ring is now just a K behind. And considering the uh, fairly, fairly poor start. <laughs> Uh, she had. Now he's been a global science as there is a bit of an engagement. Meep now just continuing to uh, take those creeps as he realizes he's dead. So he's like, right, I might as well at least get some last hits. Ryan with the exorcism wants to try and run down Mute. It doesn't have uh, anything because he's science up. And now he's going to get another kill there as he goes oh, for another kill goodness. with Ichigo with the ciphers. That's slow. He is just unstoppable. That triple kill for him. What a and spell. that's 1.8k. <laughs> yeah, what a spell indeed. It's the mobile charges, it throws you. It's like, keep fighting, keep fighting. Go on, try and catch up to me. And they, and unfortunately, that's yeah, oh my. Well, the global silence unfortunately came out just the wrong moment. I'm guessing she popped the exorcism just before that global and didn't really help out in the end. 1.9k gold into death rod. So far, this game is really going their way. So they've got to wait for the next uh, cooldown on exorcism. But again, what is their answer to it? Currently, Nothing really. Oh, there's a sentry drop. They realize now Meat continues to run his sides up as well. Again, the siphon from Slow is there. He's going to turn, still trying to go in if he can. The rock, unfortunately, from Sudo is a little bit off the mark. He hasn't been quite as accurate with these uh, rolling pores and kicks as he was in the last game, I'm sure. Just needs another, a little bit of a warm up. I mean, he's been playing Zero for the time in a row now. Maybe to CX, they're keen to what might be coming their way. 
Okay, uh, Death Prophet's now got 2.2k. What do you want to see her uh, be building up? Do you want to see her go that Yules? Yeah, I don't do see why not. Like, it purges off the silence, which mm. is fantastic. This game is there's two forms of silence. There's what's more, it's going to push down this top lane with the focus oh, fire. Is he, is he actually good for a maelstrom here? Yeah, okay, um, old kind of, yeah, old school, but. I think it's also the wrong school for this game. I'm, I'm, I'm maybe, I'm, I'm, I may be wrong, and we'll, we'll see how it plays out. But uh, I really think he's going to need the extra stats. Yes, there is ice armor. That is true. But I, I think they've got to need the, uh, obviously, the cooldown, the stats, and looking into uh, trying to end. Because, like, let's face it, you know the Beast is going to buy a BKB. That's sooner rather than later. Rhyme, uh, well, he may be going for a BKB later into the game, but at the moment that's not the case. And for the um, for the Wind Ranger, I think the importance of having a Blink Aghanims now to uh, control and preempt their initiation from what's the Faces Void, etc., is too important. Maybe I'm overvaluing that, though. I mean, yeah, I'm sure we'll see how it plays out. Maybe it will be the biggest mistake of his uh, Dota career. <laughs> and looking at uh, what, what's going on with the items for control, he is going for that Vlad, so we are uh, right there with the going a rather standard build. And uh, Lycan, obviously a fantastic hero for taking down Roshan, but it's just going to be denied to him as CX moving into the Roshan pit. Use that exorcism. I find this, uh, I, well, I think it's a great move. I'm not sure how Xenix is going to be able to deal no, with it. That's a rotation play. It's going they're, down way too quickly. Sudo, what can he do? He can kick a rock in, but it's going to slow it down by a really small amount. No, this is too risky. Sudo, don't do it. He's just going to die. He's fed for nothing. You ain't no meme. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately for him, his attempt at stealing it is stopped. He's stopped by the first enemy hero obstacle, so he just rolls, hits that person. He's just like, oh, I have to now walk in. What? What's going on? And now he uh, dies. So unfortunately, that's that's pretty bad. OD will be getting the. Uh, oh, he's going for the Atos over the Veil then. Okay. Hmm. So there's obviously some uh, polarizing uh, the thoughts about this. The amount of stats that the uh, Atos uh, over a Veil provides. Obviously, you have uh, plus armor. You talk about the uh, the build up of a Veil as well. You can build the whole of Veil from the side shop. Obviously, doesn't mean. Well, I mean, he was the same thing, but uh, looking at the uh, starting item of a Null being used as well, it's just little things like that. But saying that, the Atos is still very good. Um, you also have the evasion. Uh, oh, the cripple. Uh, yes. So is obviously. Forty percent or something. Yeah, forty percent. Uh, well, accuracy. So it's. Um, it's it's different. Obviously, it was only added, but I can't remember when that patch was. But yeah. So. Uh, Maybe that's his thought of taking it, obviously, over the uh, Atos, uh, sorry, no, over the Veil, because you have got a win runner with Evasion. The one thing, though, it doesn't slow down the Lycan when he's in ultimate form. True. Which makes it a bit weird. It does, however, slow the Wind Ranger mm -hmm. when she uses Wind Ranger, so that's pretty handy there. There's shackle. a Shackle. Oh, fantastic catch. The only one tree. And there's the Maelstrom damage. Okay, that's nice. So, obviously, him there having you that. Go. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, that, that, <laughs> I, I do a bit there. That kill was thanks to the Maelstrom. You wouldn't have been able to get it otherwise. So, what's his water with? The mission. We are going to have a quick pause here, but uh, yeah, very nice to see uh, him able to get that off. And it was close. He nearly got the time walk off, very but obviously indeed. Jack will be in a really long, uh, really long duration. As that's just the benefits of them getting a uh, pause. Looking at the graphs, though, we are currently 4k XP towards the EX and gold-wise, just under 5k. And um, well, it's kind of what you expect. CEX are in the lead, not a massive amount, and I mean a couple of bad team fights that's easily gone the other way. But we need to see if that can move that way. Mute 242 is going for the Agonim. Straight into it as well. Normally no we blinks. Might, yeah, yeah, normally you see the blink dagger go. And even in the ether lens before the Ags, but mm. decide it is really good. The borrow ability, great for defending high ground. Slider so has why. got a uh, stuff wizard, so he could be building into a four star, for example. But um, I think that would be a wise choice as well, trying to just you know stay away from the uh, void, etc. It gives you some much needed movability, and I do like his build because uh, that first spell is uh, kind of uh, kind of garbo. Yeah, it's situationally it yeah. can be very good. I think something like against Invoker, really high, lots of spell cut, like if you got. Uh, hero that has cast a lot of spell, you know, low cooldowns, but I guess the Oracle would be pretty good against the Oracle, but you're right, you're right just getting the extra, there's a lot of new damage, and speaking of Ichigo, he's in some trouble though, but there's the move speed slow due to the last word, but he's got nowhere to run. Control. Yeah, and they actually, because he dies to, uh, late, he dies to Rhyme, so Rhyme getting extra gold. So, maybe if they were trying to be efficient, or oh, BC got to be going for a kill here, can he get away in time? No, unfortunately Rhyme TP, so he gets a double kill. 
and uh, was they would on a cooldown. Sorry. Uh, yes. No. No. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yes. No. Maybe. I don't know. Yes. Oh, it yes, was. It yes. Was. Okay. Right. Fair enough. Thank you. And uh, we will be seeing the lichen picking up the uh, necro book very soon, and Aegis will be reclaimed in two minutes. So, Vlad's Necro. It's good. Yeah. Obviously, they're going to be pushing a lot. Xenex is going for the sort of like the pushing, like, like the sort of items to help them split push. Yeah. Which I think is the right decision to make sure. It's like, like we've seen, ZX is just so powerful. Okay, and we've got 1.3k gold on the Death Prophet. He's obviously going to be building towards his. Oh, actually, there's going to be a delivery, and that is, yeah, so we are going to probably be seeing that PKB come out. Me242 just grind the scout out. They have got the smoke behind. That's the Lich that being revealed. That TB Council is coming pretty close. That's now a global side's being used, so they want to get something for it. Rhyme getting attacked by Mew242. He's now going to get focused up. That's the time dilation onto him, and now Mew, I'm afraid, he's going to die. The Caravans has been used, but it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, out from Oracle to Rhyme. Maybe it's just because he wants to go in now. Mew242 is going to go down, and unfortunately, well, the Windrunner has to run away, and they are going to be taking a tier 2. And this game is a really dominating performance by CEX at the moment. They are not messing around here. They really want to get uh, just a clear victory here. Beep, now seeing there's an opening. He's going to try and finish off this tower top. And Bisa will be there to stop him, and obviously that's going to be the imprisonment. And I haven't even mentioned the plus damage to summon units thanks to uh, Bisa. He kills all this stuff so quickly, they get the deny. So very nice to see. And unfortunately, the like of the uh, anything there. There's now the Blink Dagger out onto him as well. This game is just kind of crumbling away for Xenex at the moment. They've just not been able to take the little trades that might keep them in the game a little bit longer. And, but yeah, this we'll be looking at 4 to 12. Yeah, kills aren't everything, but kills and the fact they haven't really got much towers. Okay, they have got two towers on to, uh, well, Xenix have taken two towers, but one of them three in is here too. But that one was a deny as well, so even the gold's not really going their uh, way. I mean, yeah, it gives you a little bit of access to their jungle, but this mid, uh, the mid one is so good just for getting around the map, and that's still up. Same with the bottom one next to Roshan. Yeah, important towers. I, I know it's a weird thing to say, but yeah, Aegis now being inspired from the AD. Hasn't died yet, Rhyme. Uh, uh, sorry, Rhyme, Bad Bisa. Uh, there's been a lot of pressure on him in a lot of games as uh, Shut Down Bisa has been the name of the game for Xanax. And I mean, Rhyme's got seven kills. They are really. Okay, there's not really that much you do uh, when you get siphoned by Death Prophet and you're being run down in Crypt Swarm, and then you're like, well, I'm already out of position, I'm going to die for it. And then this keeps happening, they take towers. It's, it's, it's also quite demoralizing to be run down by this uh, ghost lady. And it's hard for us to say what they should be doing because there's not much that Xenex can do at the moment. They yeah. they have to just find these little pockets of their, like pockets on the map to farm up. There's uh, the, sort of the Nyx now is kind of irrelevant because he's he can't solo kill anyone at the moment. Maybe when he gets that angle accepted, he'll be a lot better. But it's, it's, it's sort of trying to eke out what's what's available to Xenex. Um, obviously, they're not farming quite as efficiently as CEX because they've got. More map control. Cook has really been a true five in all of these uh, games. He's just happy with just his boots. If it's tranquils, lovely. If not, whatever. And then that is just wards. And so obviously, uh, you don't really expect any items out from the Lich. You're, I wouldn't say you shouldn't expect. You don't really need. Oh, Conjure up top. Unfortunately, whiffs the chrono, so we won't get anything. And that middle, we have seen the yours come up already. Ram's taking a bit of damage. Got to be careful, but he's going to be getting bowled up. And those spirits are on the bar. And there's the PKB. How really, do you bring really this cool. man that down now? I'm not sure. Let's see if they can do it down. It's going to be a shackle. They're going to try and focus him down. And that's the Maelstrom now procking away. And that's how you do it, apparently. They will take him down. Obviously, Global Science means the enemy team can't come in. Welp can't throw out the ultimate. He needs to be looking into getting the Guardian Greaves so he can uh, purge the uh, Science. And Albisa in trouble needs to get for him as well. The Lich you know, uh, Lichol has been thrown out. Stop from me will not be on the target. And that's really disappointing. Meep now goes to run down the Oracle. Then they finish off the Beast with the rest of the team. Will Meep be out again? Control comes in from the side. He's already used his Chrono. So they will get two kills there, and that's two cores, and that's really important. Now they're going to go for this tower middle, and it looks like Xanax are starting to try and get some control over this game. Wow, that was fantastic for them. Um, now I'm going to have to just eat my words. <laughs> so how do you kill him? Uh, a shackle apparently is going to do it. Yeah, that's all, all it needs in this case. And, uh, well, that's Nyx nearly having his agonims. Faceless Voids nearly got a blink dagger. So Contra having the blink. I, I'm, I'm not, we didn't quite see uh, what happened with the uh, Chrono up top, but obviously it was a case of he went for a Chrono, someone was probably taking out the D-line, and it didn't work out. If 
CX had a chrono in that fight. Completely different fight. I'm not sure where he was. It looks like he kind of joined the fight a little bit late anyway. Yeah, he was top, being so the top lane, yeah. so maybe would have made a difference anyway. True, if he was late to it. And there's uh, Mechon's Oracle. Lycan has the Necro 3. And check out that respawn timer. 10 more seconds, but still there's that bottom T1 power for CX. Just gives him really quick access into that Roshan pit. With the blink on the OD, he can just blink in there as well. It's, it's a possibility for Xenex, but it's going to, I think, they're not going to take it unless they've got kills or they're mm. sure CX aren't around. We will see the Necros being up around for 40 more seconds. Okay, so they want to try and take team fights. Meep's going to be looking to uh, take the tower and then try and join. They have now got the Aglan on Wind Ranger. I would like to see a blink, but I think you also need to BKP. Because uh, there's a lot, there's obviously the silence, the blast, etc. And uh, he's got to be careful. And the orb hits from the Hour Devourer. Yeah, you're right. It's, there's still things to go through BKB, such as Death Prophet's Ultimate, the Chronosphere as well. But the thing like Chain Frost bouncing around, the damage from OD, you're right. Yeah, I think a BKB is a must. You has really got the Aghanims, and obviously there's a D Ward now out there. So the site guy is very important as well, though. They're also trying to. Prioritize it. The Wolves scout end. This is just me being efficient with uh, seeing everything. The blink on face void is going to be big, as well as the uh, Spirit having that met very, very soon. Moving through the enemy sort of top lane at the moment. These Wolves, pesky, scouting out the movements from CX. It's kind of like a Beastmaster in that yeah, respect. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really frustrating. Obviously, there is uh, Wolves on the other side, as well as this. Oh, and there's the central placement. So they will be like, hey, they know where we are. So, again, really important. You don't want to be caught out of position. You want to know where the enemy is. Sudo's just waiting in the tree line now. He's about to have that mech so he can be teaming back. Picking that up. And it looks like CX is going to want to go for a Rax here. Yeah, I mean, they're going to take the T2. I don't think there's uh, any situation where Xenix has to defend this. It's such a, yeah. a clumped up area. Condor could just blink with his newly purchased blink. He could just jump in, get a Chronosphere. And Maybe the first off. just. Uh, no, they do want to switch again. Obviously, Lycans have some walls pushing middle, and they could go for more. Yeah, that's going to be the house. But this is what we're talking about. They could be going for that pressure up onto the high ground now. Rival TV back, so it looks like they realize, okay, we've got to be careful. So you can't just let a Lycan get away with this push. So just take buildings. That's going to be a yours, buys a bit of time off this cooldown, but unfortunately can't do anything more to stop that. There is a fight down here, they've already used the armor as well as the Chrono catching three. Nice Chrono from Gaia Control, and now Waters War is in a lot of trouble. Look at buybacks, no buyback on the uh, Nyx, and that's going to be a win range. Soodle to save going. the day. Oh dear, Sudo coming back in. Kundal could have to time walk. He will time walk. Now Sudo's going to be very low, but able to spin away. He's not going to die there. Actually, get the last uh, nuke from the Oracle will just be healing up. So. Very close, and I thought they were going to lose more. I thought that fight was going to go a lot worse. CX don't lose much, and they only uh, managed to take the next. But they probably died. Yeah, I think that's fine for Xenex. They got the mid lane. Um, tower, they even yeah. got the bottom tower as well, so that's more gold, more map control for them. Especially with the lineup that is uh, focused around, or has a couple of heroes that focus around pushing. And XP and net worth uh, is actually not that bad. Really not much in it. Two and a half K to both XP and gold is it's really that not that much stuff. 26 minutes into the game. Mm. Ichigo does have that four stuff as well, so that's uh, very important. Like when you think about uh, how much he's getting caught, or well, not necessarily how much he's getting caught, but how much he's going to be caught and how much he needs to do to try and work around this. So, next item up for Wind Ranger 1.5 K gold onto her. Watson sees uh, he's landed some shackles which have led to kills. Very important. You gotta make sure that keeps going on. So, um, tower wise and roche wise, what are we thinking? They could be looking to take it out. Might use the exorcism to take this down. They might not even need to use the exorcism. If yeah, OD is that. really good at taking down the They are gonna be clear okay, really quickly. Zanex not having much of an Oh, we're actually gonna have a pause here from Ichigo. So, um, we'll hopefully only have a short pause here. Is I, I, I don't know. Ears. Yeah, something about ears. I'm assuming this means they can't hear. Oh, oh, their ears are hurting because of. Uh, well, okay. Same. I'm <laughs> in enduring grow strong. That is great life advice there from Bisa. Just endure. But uh, yeah, apparently Ichigo cannot endure. So they are. We are going to have a short break. Uh, well, and then they're going to be 
hopefully coming back into this very soon with this pause. So anyway, the game, how, how do you think it's going so far, man? Well, obviously CX had a great start. They're, uh, <laughs> Ryan once again having a great mid lane, dominating, getting a few Seven, kills. Two, three, active, yeah. ever, but, you know, it's starting to drop off a little bit. Lycan's got a fair bit of farm. He's got the Necro 3. Wind Ranger yeah. has caught up uh, in a decent amount. <laughs> oh, we point out the Lycan and the OD have exactly the same Ooh, amount of net worth. Spooky. That's uh, a little bit uh, an odd one. But we will. Uh, yay! Hooray! Thanks to. Uh, shout out to uh, Ichigo's ears for the pause there, and we will be going back to the game now. So, back to uh, business as usual. And again, then, there's no real movements there. The Wolf will scout them out, so they will know they're in the pit now. But too little, too late, as this is just under half health. If they could put some pressure on, they should realize by this point that there's no chance of them getting up to in, so maybe just look to try and threaten the high ground. But there's so many TPs. Who's taking the Aegis? It's going to be Rhyme, so he'll be picking that up. 3.3k gold on him. If he wants to look to get an Octary next, he could be getting that. And, um... Yeah, the potential for a Rax is there. Oh, so BKB nearly complete for the OD. It's another, yeah, there we go. He can pick up the recipe now and uh, ferry that out to him on the Courier. So, Pseudo becoming less effective now with that BKB up. However, he does have the mech, which is great for helping his team out. Greaves coming shortly. What does Death Prophet go? Yeah, you were talking about the Octarine. The other option, I guess, is the Shivas. Yeah, or Scythe if they feel that they need the single target locked down. But, okay, you can, like, scythe the like and before he ulties, there's the BKB on Bisa. But, uh, yeah, you can, you can scythe the like before he ulties, but apart from that, uh, I mean, Wind Ranger could may have some big effect, and obviously it's still nice with the suit as well. 2k gold onto the Wind Ranger, so if we're seeing that blink, we should be seeing the suit. Could also just say, okay, guys, you're really down if I'm going to have to get a Chrysalis out and uh, try and go down that road. I think Xenix are okay to sit back in a moment, to be honest. Look at Sewer's position. This is uh, the norm for him. He just scouts in the trees. He's like deep, deep in the jungle and he's just chilling. Yeah. It'd be nice if he could get level 11 for level 2 magnetized. Yeah, but would be nice. AC for Lycan should be coming in fairly shortly. And. Control again being scared by the wolves. Nicely done by Meep. You gotta know where these people are moving and then you can just work around it. Like, they're just trying to farm up the map and they. Uh, okay, you, know, you said CEX had a really nice start, but look at Lycan, he's near enough the same net worth as the OD and the uh, Death Prophet. If they could just keep this sort of mirroring up and just keep the gold going well and avoid, uh, like a game of avoidance, they could be looking at extending the game, try and get into the later game and uh, make some make some plays there with the more items and just being able to outfarm your enemy. Well, they're saying that you're fighting into uh, avoid OD Death Prophet, that's going to be hard as it is, and then you're like uh, the effectively Wind Ranger and like it against them. Uh, I'm, I'm not convinced it's going to work out if the game goes ridiculously late, but the Guardian Greaves now on Oracle, that's so important for the Global Science yeah. because, oh, and there's now the Diffusal on the uh, Faceless as well, so they are, they're pretty much ready for this next fight because that's two targets now with no Global Science. Obviously, they've got BKB on other targets as well, so... The global is just not going to have effect. It's just, You're yeah, right. four targets. It's just the Lich. And let's face it, Lich, Lich could throw out his ult after it, or if he, even if he dies, what's the global science going on? False promise, yeah. if they really want to purge it off. Yeah. Or, yeah. or even the Q, I guess, as well. Yeah, 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 you could be looking Zed. at Fortune Zen. But um, <laughs> it's, it's going to be extremely hard for the Xenix now. Obviously, Atos being used on the Lycan. That's straight in for him, but not the end of the world. And... The high ground is calling. CEX, this is potentially the deciding game now. And if they win it, that's it. Another grand final win for them, maybe. Obviously, it's again, Zenix maybe coming second. So let's see if they can pull it together and try and come back into this game now. So obviously, CEX did have that one game advantage, though. So it is just effectively 1-1 in that stage, but it is obviously CEX coming for the upper bracket. So they do have that on their side. Courier delivering out. That's going to be an assault grass for Death Prophet. Interesting. I like it. I like it. I'll counteract the AC that's coming out on the Lycan. Helps him yeah. push minus five armor to towers, meaning that her ultimate does a lot more. But Lycan doing Lycan things. And it's just split pushing. It's going to try. I think. Oh, Ryan taking a lot of damage. Shackle will latch, but there seems to be a prisoner. The Kondra has now gone out. They have used their science already. Kondra doesn't even have to worry about it at this point. And Mew in trouble. He's now going to step up, try and get away. They've now got Beast just going hardcore with BKB. Obviously, still with the like push top. This Rax has now been fortified. There's going to be a TP back. 
in, but there we are. Ryan was just standing there. Side on right, so he immediately BKBs. There is that uh, like up at the top of the down to worry about. Mew 2 for 2. Gonna be dying. Yes, the spirit finishes off, and this rack is gonna go down. That's gonna be TV back through like, and he comes straight in with his only form. Once again, Simon Dub, glitch all eat as well. But now that well, it's gonna be shackled. He's dead, and they are actually taking a lot more. Remember, Ryan is the gauges carrier. Can they finish him off? He's still so fast. They pull stuff to beat to try and get him in there. Pseudo now turn up as well. He's got no mana. They need to turn all turn and all attack, and they have got water to water to do more damage. Mew is taking so much from this. And unfortunately, he's got to try and stun him up. There we go. There's the stun. And Astral. again, Beastle with the Astral. That's really nice there. Sula's now going to die. And there's the power shot to finish it. But that's only Aegis. All that effort for an Aegis. They do have a buyback on the Aspir if it's needed. But Beastle wants to keep chasing. Wants to see if he can find any more. And he blinks forward. Can get an imprisonment. There's the Atos once and forward. Got absolutely no mana. And he is imprisoned. He's just waiting. He does some damage on the rats whilst he's waiting. And they have got Mew 2 for 2 ready to burrow down. Obviously, he does have that Agonyx. But that was a double kill because he knew it from the Astral anyway. Astral damage being enough there to get the kill. And they are going to be getting a Arax. Obviously, long stun. There's going to be a buyback from the Earth Spirit. And they do have a buyback from the uh, uh, Wind Ranger as well. But now, Tuck to take some attack with a silence. Is he enough? No, he's not able to get away. Rhyme taking damage. He's able to back out. But there's a BKB used. And Mewtwo is just standing. He's one more hit away. Is Rhyme able to get one more hit off? Crypt Swamp. As he was borrowing, that's going to be right enough. Pseudo gets the stun. Beast. Beast has got nowhere left to go. He could have himself if the silence runs out. But unfortunately, it's not quite there. Oh. Yes, it is. He's going to be able to blink as well. So he should be able to escape on 10 HP. See you later. He blinks off the high ground. Can they chase him down? Yes, that curse nice. of the side. We talk about it not being that useful, but Ichigo <laughs> able to get out. Level 3 and 760 gold going his way, and they're able to get some important return. They did get that tower down to half health, however, but they did lose a full set of racks middle. Is that a full and, set? Uh, was it a full set? Can we check on the mid lane? I can't quite see the... Yeah, it is yeah, a okay, full it set is, of racks. It is. Yeah. It is. Just to double check, I fought for a second, you know. Good there was a ward on top of it. And it looked uh, like there I see, possibly yes. And there's no buyback from Nyx, and there's no buybacks from Earth Spirit. Very... Very important stuff that they uh, use that in those fights. That next, was, next fight could be looking at potentially good game, depending on how it goes. That was pretty crazy in Jordan. I thought Zenex had a really good high ground defense. Meep was pushing the top lane, got some decent damage, taking it down to half HP. Came back at the right time as well. The Zenex did a great job of forcing CEX back. The the blink in from Bisa and his ultimate was ineffective. He used it on the side of the who had already thrown out all his spells anyway. Um, the global didn't do too much, but it kind of stopped a lot of the damage coming out during that Chronosphere. And then they sort of forced them back, but they couldn't quite bring down... Was it they had the ages? Was it um, Rhyme? Rhyme had yeah. the ages. So they didn't quite bring him down. Beast came back into the fight, saved him, and then Xanax were too far out of their base. Uh, or they were quite far out of their base and sort of picked off a little bit one by one. If Kundral gets a Aghanims now, I mean, okay, some people do doubt the uh, usefulness of the Aghanims, but like as a uh, uh, full time or whatever, it's got uh, a lot of use to it. I mean, uh, uh, shout out to my boy Gangles for doubting the Aghanims, but I think it's going to be big if he did go for that, because obviously the 60 second, as well as only increasing his pool, it does go to 60 seconds, and that is so important for these continued fights. They Set could just do so much. How is Scepter not good on faces fully? Well, no, no, that's true, <laughs> yeah. It does have moments for, um, you know, people doubt. People doubt it. Or maybe they doubt when they buy it, you know? It's a case of you don't want to go for a first item if you can get something, especially by this blink yeah. refusal. I agree it's not the first item, but I still think it's an excellent item to get sort of at this stage of the game. You can constantly fight with it. The extra, the extra duration is huge as well. Like an extra three, four hits coming out from someone like Visa is... Mm -hmm. Is, you know, could be the difference between a kill or not. Cypher fight's been very important, and there's going to be a deeper lens for the longest impales in the world from Mute. It to is ridiculous and so good for high ground game. defense. Oh, there, that's not going to be a stun. They obviously are just going to be backing out. No, never mind, there's a shackle, so Control is going to be focused down, and that's an important kill. 65 seconds, he can't buy back, but they're not obviously going to be looking into uh, really going in for their high ground. But Roshan is now going to be coming back up as well. Ichigo does support that out, so that's important, but everyone TPs away. Just going their own way there. And there's the Ether Lens we were talking about. Yeah, it's ridiculous for defending high ground. Can we check out the grass second foul? Let's see what's going on with the XP and the gold. So we are going to see just over 7,500 XP towards CX. And the gold, 10k. That's that's a significant lead. I think that's safe to say. But it could still yep. come back. Yeah, as we've seen, Xenix very good at defending high ground. And they did a pretty damn good job of it earlier on, con considering their uh, deficit. 
in the gold department. So they will move into each other. That's a stun free. That's going to be a lynch out as well. And the global science has been popped. Ryan, ah, there's going to be no stun because he will be KB. So will Pisa. Once his war with a focus fire. Well has to ulti himself. And that's going to be the size of it. As Meep just getting all attacked down by Pisa. Will he be able to get away? No, he's getting stared up. He'll die as well. That's two people dead. And Xanax are absolutely crumbling at this point. Three people dead. There is a buyback available on the win runner. But Sudo exceptionally low as well. Ryan's still signing up for. Uh, well, he's going to be healed up from spirits. Hitchco trying to run away. There is a force available as well. But the, even the. Actually, the Lycan gets a return kill onto the Lich there. So, you know, that's nice. It's creeped to get somewhere. And that will be the oh. science of getting caught there. Unfortunately, the Beast are fighting you because, yeah, under the ward, you are now being scouted and routed. They are now going to go in for a second set of racks. Three buybacks uh, available on Xenex, everyone yeah. apart from the Nyx. And I think they're going to have to ex extend at least two of these. Okay, so that's the Blink forward with the Hex. Who was in trouble? That's going to be a kill. And unfortunately, oh, no. he doesn't have a buyback. They've really got a buyback on Winner and I'm like it. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I, I can't see it. I can't see a way back in. Lycan will buy back. Wind Ranger doesn't still have one available. They're not doing it. Obviously, there's no Necros, no ults. There's no, there's no anything. There's no way for them to really stop it. Beep's going just controlled as well. Now, Misa, they've got the Chrono back. There's the Chrono just waiting for Beep to come out. And they're just like, yeah, go to town on it. They both beat Beep, so they can't be stunned. So, Mew is just absolutely useless. He's, he's, he's got nothing he can do. Buybacks from the sides of Byron from the Wind Ranger. This is the last desperate effort, but it's just not enough now. CEX have really controlled this game. No Chrono on them, but they don't need it. Once it's war, got it. And that's GG. Well played. Nice. Well work played for CEX. CEX. They really deserve that win there. A convincing win and a convincing series. So, man, final thoughts of that game, or well, final thoughts of the series, I should say, as well. Well, for that game, I think, I honestly think it was an outdraft in the end. Mm. They did just, uh, Xanax tried to do something a little bit different, but with the Death Prophet and the only two extremely strong heroes that, that actually CX are very comfortable on as well, throw in a Faces Void as well, it just worked out really well. The team fight, there's no way that Xenex could team fight into them, and that always makes the game very hard. Well, I've got to say, commiserations to Aussie team Xenex. They did, did do a good run. They obviously had to come back through the lower bracket to fight them again. And they did take a game off them, and obviously, as I said, they did have a winner bracket advantage. Uh, CEX had a winner bracket adva uh, advantage, I should say. And looking at how those games went, I think, obviously, they could be pretty pleased with how they played overall, but naturally, they're going to be disappointed with those finals, especially the, the last game there. They did have a really, really nice game, too, though. That was fantastic. I yeah. very much enjoyed casting that. And we could uh, have a look at some replays, I believe. Yeah, that'd be great. great. Yeah, let's go have a look. Might be able to give us an idea of where things maybe went a little yeah. bit wrong. So, first blood there. Well, that was a very <laughs> short one, but yeah, that was the first blood. And this was where I doubt with the Maelstrom leading straight to the kill. Literally, as I was saying it, very much for the kill for Kundral. Yeah, um, we're at what point of this? Yeah, CX, they're 4 12 up at this stage. They did that. Oh, they got them. Then they need to. Uh, that would death, death profit. profit. Yeah. Death profit even, uh. yeah, this was a really nice career from Kundra catching three, and obviously one of them just on the side there. And the, these fights, they all add up. Obviously, at this Look point, Look at the CX, time dilation with the yes. slow from the uh, Atos. It's actually so dumb because you're just like crawling away, really. And. Yeah, like, well, what could you say at this point? Like, Kundra was able to just go in with the Chrono, start the fight up. Okay, Sue didn't die there, which is actually pretty surprising. But again, like, every time you could cut to one of these uh, moments, it's just Death Prophet with the Exism. They're having a team fight, they're winning the team fight, they're taking an objective. It's just making sure Kundra, like, goes forward, catches someone with the Chrono. And then from that, they're normally able to win the fight. And I felt really bad for uh, Mute there on the next, because when they're all BKB'd, what do you do? Yeah, nothing. Yeah, there's really not much you can provide. And you can't really walk away either, because they've obviously got a reveal for you. And again, just being focused up and finished off. I guess this shows you a bit of the flaw of the Nyx. The, yeah, he is really good against these high intelligence heroes, but his skill set, uh, his other skills, don't really, unless he's out looking for kills and your team ahead is ahead and being active, there was some like, nice, what's the point? Yeah, there were some nice stuns before the BKBs, and there were some nice stuns after the BKBs ran out. But I mean, look at that. Like, Beast blinks in, saves his teammate. Obviously, there was an Aegis anyway, but then there was the uh, Power Shot, which did get him. But that, you know, that delayed, forced the Windrunner to get out of position, which then allowed Beast to go in, get this kill, obviously. He was very, very low, 150 HP, dies to the imprisonment, and then goes in for here. So there's going to be the Rax, which was. Nice stun. See that range from that stun. I mean, obviously, they were losing at this point and they weren't able to get much more, but it's just annoying, isn't it, really, having to face that? I think at the end it was CEX picking good heroes, getting BKBs, and then fighting. Mm.
uh, in my opinion. Xenix couldn't really deal it's with that. It's just holding the control, the exorcism. And I mean, bits like this, they go for a fight, Mute goes for the stun, there's the BKB we were talking about, and then there's BKB on Beastler as well, and suddenly you're being controlled. Welp was getting focused out, and he's just like, well, I'll eat myself because you wasted time trying to kill me. Meep goes all this focus in to try and kill a Lich, realizes it, and then he just dies. So that's just absolutely crazy. But again, good series, and thanks to both our teams. Obviously, congratulations to CEX able to take another LAN victory. Yeah. They keep doing it. Honestly, yeah, well played to both teams. And mm. I've had a blast this tournament. It's been really high level Dota. And honestly, coming into this, normally at the beginning of the tournament, people are like, you know, this team is going to win, this team's going to win. This will be the order of rankings or whatever. There were some uh, mix ups. Some yeah, there's some upsets. Oh, upsets. As always with UK Dota, obviously, we're a, uh, well, it's a, it's a smallish uh, scene, yeah. obviously. But um, there is a large variety of skills. So obviously, on the group stages, you go through these days and then you have some relative stomps you go into like the 20 minute games and you're kind of camping in your pool but obviously it's a BYOC land so you know uh, people turn up they just go oh we'll sign up on the day we'll, we'll go yeah. we've got five people who play Dota let's have some fun with it and then you have the people like obviously our finalists here <laughs> who are still uh, just being able to have uh, fun with it and it works round. And one last point I just want to say you know mm -hmm. come down to these lands. Yes they it are really fantastic, good. fantastic no matter what your skill level is. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. Even if it's watching, playing, etc., you can always have fun. And the people are great. They might talk the talk online, but you, yeah. you see them in the real life, and they are nice people. They're super friendly. Yeah. Um, and, oh, yeah, I've got to say, because he's not here with us, uh, shout out to Fowler as well for casting and obviously doing the uh, observing for that last game. Good, good stuff. Yeah, yeah, good job, Fowler. Proud of you, man. And uh, I think we're going to throw back over to the stage now, if everything's ready. All right, thank you very much, guys. Uh, congratulations to CEX, commiserations to Xenex, but can we please have a round of applause for both teams in the grand finals of the Dota 2 here at Insomnia 57. Well done. And of course, we will get to prizes and giant checks in just a second, but CEX, let's go ahead and have a quick chat. Game number two, Xenex performed incredibly well and managed to peg you back. And I think what they were trying to do there, I mean, obviously they're trying to win the grand final, but they really put out a statement of intent to say, actually, we can match you blow for blow. What was going through your head in game two when you were getting pegged back by them? Um, I think at one point we were quite strong the first like five, 10 minutes, and then we lost control of the game. That movement was really strong. We weren't able to counter it. And yeah, we just lost control of the game. And yeah, that was that. Did you change anything up in the final game to counteract what Xenex was trying to do? Um, it was different. We had second pick, so the whole drafting is uh, very odd. Um, so we just need to prioritize different heroes. We played together, and we managed to win the game. And what would you say was the moment in the last game or in the series where you went, actually, this is the decisive advantage. This is where we push in and win. At what moment did you realize we, we're about to win the championship here at I-57? Um, probably when all their buildings were dying, Beast was BKBing and just foreshotting people, committing to them. They couldn't do anything to him. I, I had no idea what I was doing. I've played the hero I played three times before. I got carried by my, uh, by my Beast of player, so yeah, thank God. Well, congratulations. You guys go home with, of course, the lion's share of the prize money. Commiserations to Xenex, but they won't be going home empty-handed either. Guys, congratulations once more to CEX. Let's give it up for them. Now, next up on the eSports stage, we've concluded with Dota 2. We will be continuing on the hour at 3 o'clock with the League of Legends Grand Finals. There are finals all day today on the eSports stage, all the way up until midnight, or if the schedule is to be believed, possibly until 3 or 4 a.m. We'll see you after this break, guys. Stay tuned.